Hello.
Who do you think's gonna actually? Ah, you know, we'll talk about that afterwards. I was gonna say, who do you think's gonna win? But oh, let's do that. I'll, I'll talk about it now. I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it now. Um, <laughs> the one that doesn't have Beckett on it. No, I'm, I think, I think, I think Aim Labs is free. He's gonna win. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, um, same as team, yeah. Just, mm. just in general, they're not so disciplined yesterday. Yeah, they do look very. Apart from maybe, Beck. No, I'm joking. Ah, uh, yeah. In general, they just looked very, very disciplined, especially on Breeze. Quick thirty, no sweep. I just want to see if um, if Beckett carries over on that. Do this today. Sorry about that. Yeah, um, yeah. It's it's interesting when the groups come together in it because it's um, it's like a Marvel Avengers in it. You know, you get to see all the really powerful yes. people play each other. <laughs> it's like, well, which one's actually the best? And like, I think the way the group games between both groups played out was so different that these playoff ones are going to be really interesting to watch because. Mm. The style of play in general from both groups was kind of different. Yeah, yeah, I think so, 100%. Yeah. Oh, it looks like Aimlabs is free have banned Bind and Pretty and Pink have banned Breeze. Oh, yeah, they've got the bands on. Yeah, they've got... They've, uh... Aimlabs are free have chosen Fracture. It would look like. And now I think it's a pick from Pitty in Pink. Next. Breeze and Bind being banned. I, I can see sad. why, yeah. I can see why they banned Breeze. <laughs> yeah. And Kenny's team uh, gave them oh, gave yeah. them a reason. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, maybe they're a little bit strong on Breeze. I mean, who knows? Maybe if they played Breeze, they could have done better without a chamber. It's true. It's true. As long as, as long as we don't see split, I think I'm happy. The map's just too slow, you know. I agree. It's like it's such, it's such a boring map if you don't run yeah. it down mid the entire game. Mm. Yeah, literally. But uh, I'm I'm assuming that hopefully I think Sainer's team is pretty quick anyway when they play. So hopefully, yeah. Really matter. Um, we did play the mini screen before, and oh yeah, wow, they were good. Yeah, <laughs> on split, we got twenty one three. Oh, you were that team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Looks like Pretty yeah. and Pink are opting for Haven now. Cool. That's going to be interesting. I don't think we've seen a Haven yet, have we? No, no. I don't even know if anyone screamed it. I think that is actually like a pure new This map. is the first Haven so far. Yeah. Icebox and Pearl Ban. Uh, ooh, so we are going to split. Oh. <laughs> No. Oh, you hate to see it, but uh, there it is. At least we get Haven. Haven's gonna be exciting. It will. Very excited to see Haven. I like first time Haven so far. I think this is gonna be a banger map. Yeah, I don't is. think either team have prepared for a Haven game, so mm. it just comes down to who plays better in general. Who's, yeah, yeah, who's the better true. IGL? Who are the better players? Mm. Yeah, it's pure pure winging it right off the cuff. So we're going to see attack and defending sides. So pretty pink chose attack for fracture first, which okay, so that puts them on defense instantly. I don't really know. Would would you say fracture's more T side or C two? Because I legitimately I'm not sure. Um, well, personally, mm. I think it's it comes down to how you take map control. Yeah. Like if you have good map control, it's T sided. Yeah. If you don't, you're gonna to have to get a ton of wins on defense. That's just me, I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I definitely think for, for like, post-plot, like, that's, that's the only thing I can really think of, is, like, the post-plot on A, on Fracture, it's kind of, like, really easy to pull off. Like, just, like, Molly in that, that corner yeah. spot. So I can for see sure. that make it T-side. Uh, that's pretty much my only take on it. All right, so It depends got... how you play it, though. Um... Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I mean, a lot of teams actually push on defense on Fracture as well, right? So then you just, yeah, just it's, roll. Yeah, it's always good to get some, get a few... Picks being aggro and backing off, or taking space arcade or something. Yeah, yeah. What is arcade is one of those spots where you need to have control of. So that's why breach is so good there. 
Yeah. Or breach in a main is very good too. Mm. Oh, it yeah, can give you control yeah. of that orb. Um, so then what else we got? So we got it was free to attack with Haven, which makes sense. And then I guess they just won the fifty or pretty big won the fifty fifty for split. Because I assume both teams want to play CC first, but I don't know. Yeah, it looks like pretty and pink. One maybe it was a coin flip. Yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing so. Alright, so first might be in fracture. Um Sucks that we're not seeing any ascent. Would have been nice. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's so much to watch, definitely. One of the most exciting maps in the game to watch. Mm, mm. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, that bind. I mean, the bind, bind, bind shotguns are infuriating to play against, but it's really funny to watch. So I mean, I love watching a bind. One hundred percent. Like, <laughs> I don't blame them for banning bind vaults. It would have been funny. It would have been so funny. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Saying they're saying no breeze, that means no 13 no. off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why no breeze? If <laughs> um, was a demon on that map, that was crazy. Genuinely, his, his luck's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Key's team was like, almost half the team has basically been swapped out today, right? So it's, it's really going to be a Pretty much game. Skills, I'd say, is a very, very methodical player. Yeah, yeah. And I want to see... I have yet to see what type of player Key is. Mm. Yeah, Mainly because yeah, I don't really pay attention. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've always seen... I think he's a pretty good IGL, right? So I, I'd assume that there's there's pretty good strats between him and he's also pre- like he's a quite he's quite a good player as well. I just don't know how yeah. he plays. Just, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah, because we haven't seen even the play this tour, so it's going to be interesting to see how they do this one. For sure. I really want to see Jack on something like Solvo or Breach. Yeah, what does does Jack main initiate? Yeah? I'm actually not sure what they. I think I've seen him play it before. I'm not sure if he mains it, but I've seen him play it before. Yeah, I do he's Brim as well. I think uh, Key. What I know of Key is that he plays Sky. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna assume Beckett is still on do this. Um, yeah, yeah, I think he's been on like chat like every uh, every game. I wanna do a quick guess of what everyone would play. Like, I Nothing. assume Fire Shrine probably on Viper. Gotta be, yeah. Sena on... maybe initiator. Yeah, he he does he likes breach, doesn't he? I think. Yeah, Vict and Remember? Sena, I think will run double initiator. Sena on breach, Vict on Kale. Yeah. Then yeah, Waffle, one hundred percent. Sentinel, one hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, type is good on fracture, so we'd probably see that. Or even if yeah, he doesn't know list. cipher, he might go killjoy. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I've seen Wayful on killjoy too much. I assume he's great at it, but yeah, and then Leo maybe cipher as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely right. I think Marvy is a duelist player. Yeah. And then, yeah, I guess Key Jack would do things. I think, isn't doesn't J2A do initiate? I, I remember him playing Fade. So then maybe Jack I would believe split. so. And then Key. Unless I'm he does Key smokes, because. Yeah, I'm assuming both can Double initiator on this map is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So if yeah, they but... don't run double initiator, I assume it's going to be like a Sage and smokes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming they play double this year as well. I think enough of them play this year on that team. Definitely get away with it. All right, listen, we're almost going to go in here. Almost into agent select. Let's see if we were right. (laughs) Kiki Twitch plugs in the chat. (laughs) 
a LinkedIn plug. I respect it. Very <laughs> <laughs> trying to grind. He's got yeah. the grind set. That's that's fucking based. <laughs> So we'll just do a little bit of a ready check and hopefully we can get in. Thought I'd pug myself too. Nice. That's about it. <laughs> Gotta get duos so overwatch, yeah. Because definitely I I need a duo. <laughs> I'm struggling in here. Yeah, yeah, I haven't played it since the first season. <laughs> um yeah, I don't blame you. Roadhog is a big issue in season two, and uh, <laughs> it's driving me insane. <laughs> Looks like we're waiting on Key's team. Looks like it. Okay, they're ready. Cool. Both teams Based. are ready. Huge. <laughs> Looks like we're going in now. Oof. Caster's a starting game. There we go. We pressed it. We pressed the go button, guys. Going in. All right, no little fracture game to start. Wow, fire instantly fire on the kill not... <laughs> Fire is not playing Viper. Interesting. So that means. Oh right, yeah, of course. Because yeah, Wayfall's uh, Wayfall's Astra, of course. Yeah. yeah. We go about how good his Astra was. I think Astra's ninety percent right on that team pick. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Double initiate. Uh... Obviously, quite important to this map. Yeah, it's got to be across the board. I can't believe Leo is covering the raids. That's interesting. When oh, what for it decide to go on the brim instead of the Astra? Interesting. Hmm. This Astra's clean. I'm not sure what's the actual meta smoke for this map. I mean, I know I play Brim on it just because it's quite simple, but I also don't know if Astra is the. The pick. I guess he don't have post plant, so. Mm, yeah, I think Asher is decent. Mm. Yeah, I can see but both. I, I do think Brim is probably the better pick here. Mm. This is Molly and his ulti are pretty cracked on the side, so. Especially if you like to play post plant lineups. Mm. Uh, his yeah. Molly can be really useful. Exactly. So it's like Geek's team having a bit more of a think about it than uh, mm -hmm. uh, Sainer's team. It's the lack of prep. This is what it's going to do to you. I think Leo. she's still running the double initiate, though, which I think is quite important. And mm. they decided to go for an Astra instead, so I want to see how they use that for map control. Yeah, 40%. I mean, they have... They are attacking first, so I want to see how they distribute their stars Yeah. on both sides, yeah. see how they decide to call them. I assume there's going to be quite a few fakes from this team. Yeah, yeah, you'd hope so. Definitely uh, with maps, uh, sorry, Fractures is able, ability to rotate, you could definitely get away with it. Sure. There's a lot of fakes. Hmm. Like, yeah. the Astra just enables fakes quite well by the cross map stars being yeah. able to smoke from halfway across the map. Yeah, 100%. Also, will let. So much. You know? For sure, also, will let Jack lurk quite easily. Ooh. He doesn't Very need slow. to be near his team to smoke. Mm. Yeah. I use yeah, his abilities, you can just go do his own thing. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that. It's very true. Yeah, we just see also we will we might be able to see another set of um Astra Sucks plus uh you know phase uh phase <laughs> raise uh, grenade or killjoy molly. Get some I hope we do some molly as well actually. Mm. I'm praying we do something else. So I think we saw a lot of that yesterday. Was the Astra suck into uh, KO grenade? I haven't quite a few times on that split map. Um, I, I don't which... think I was able to watch that, but yeah, I think that I think that might have actually been, but it was. I guess it was Piano doing it yesterday, so we need to see yeah. if they can they can keep it going through this team comp. Yeah, I wonder if we're gonna see any raise nade and fade seas combos. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, because yeah, they got a possibility on the. Team. It's on the bingo as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Confirmation there. But yeah, I think 
Yeah, I think this is the first time we're going to see Sane's team going to try for it, because we saw a lot of times they tried for it in uh, in the split map yesterday. It was a lot of the uh, season need, but it just never landed. So, yeah, there's a the first time for everything. Exactly. I think it's easier on Fracture as well, right? Because there's that plot of B. It's like a huge area for the seas to hit. Yeah. And then that's, that's the classic place for it. <laughs> Here we go. We're into game. Very exciting. Game one. <clears throat> game one between Sane Team. Aim Love is free and. Um... So team we got going on here. Oh, yeah, Key and Jack's team. The Ooh, new members. Let's see what we're doing. It looks like we've already got. <laughs> Rest in peace, Leo. <laughs> well, that's thing a... where the XC or what? Okay. <laughs> Indeed, us already. That's unlucky. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ammo effect. Literally. Nice little tech pools are started off there. Uh, you know, not getting ahead of ourselves, you know, at least we can see people walk around a little bit. Check out the uh check out the prep. It's something. Take a look at the killjoy out. We it's can like, uh... Yeah, it looks pretty Looking standard. Like oh right, so it covers I think this uh, would work like well. Arcade. If they had uh, if they had an Astro, it would work even better with this out. Yeah, 100%. The turret doing chip damage while the Astro so pulls them into the molly. Yeah. They are probably 100% dead when they walk into that. <laughs> yeah, 100%. I mean, that's, that's, that's the bonus of the KO though, right? Mm -hmm. So you catch that down. It's a KO, KO or Fade. It's a... Uh... Yeah, it's a tough choice because both have so much impact. Especially when you have killed your setups. Okay, it just feels so good. If you can land that knife, you can just walk on into sight, you know? 100%. I think that's why. That's where. Um, that's where Pretty and Pink are gonna go. Right here. Yeah. 100%. They're okay, gonna be able to disable this killjoy before anything major happens. And it looks like Beckett wants to get aggressive, eh, main? With yeah. the fade and breach. Frenzy in hand, trying to make This could happen. be really good. Looks like they went one for one though. Yeah, nice little trade to start off. Nothing too much happening. Pretty and Pink Jeez, lose the Astro, but Game Lab is free also lose their initiator, which is gonna make retake a little bit harder. And I mean even bigger, it's Sana that's been dropped and you know 40 years to their team. Let's just go for Oh Wolfel with a nice classic shots style. <laughs> Spike planted. And the killjoy setup gets two people to under half HP. Huge, uh, huge start. I mean, they got the plant down for them, but they are all looking pretty weak. So three, sorry, four v three retake, and two are suppressed. And the key is on one health here. I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to get it done. This is gonna be a hard retake unless key does that to everyone. Oh my god, he's done it. that. Cool. Oh, but Warfel gets him down. Two v two. Beckett going for the defuse. Oh, they've got the it back from a four v two to a so low though. Beckett just needs to drop both, both so low. Half HP Mammy on one tap, the other one on half. He's just jiggling him. Like he's not giving him a chance, just take to wait What a him. round, a 4v2 turned into a 2v1. That was absolutely insane from the attackers. That was, that was, it was insane. Key lost. with a really clean shots there. 100%. Could get some really nice taps there, stalling them out. Beckett maybe getting a little bit a little bit lost in the source trying to defuse <laughs> or get off. <laughs> Bro forgot those two alive and tried to go for the one of the ones. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it was very winnable, but it was just time that had him there. Yeah. Especially yeah. considering Marvi was one HP to that frenzy. Yeah, Marvi went went crazy, they're just jiggling him out. Looks like they wanna get aggressive again on aiming. Yeah, a lot of fights in the same aim. It is an eco, so I think what they're trying to do is just get a little bit of damage, and get them to do some weapons, and they're good. The leaves go crazy. Looks like they drop Leo. That's a free Spectre if Killjoy dies here. Pixie not picking it up, just getting dropped instead. It's unfortunate. There. Yeah. Some good damage done so far though. 
Yeah, they've got a little bit. I think J2 is going to play pretty safe anyway, though. Yeah, he has to play respond. safe. For yeah. sure. This is going to be a pretty hard retake. I guess they're just going to try and get some damage done. Maybe get a kill or two here. Looks like they might have some more info that they could be towards dish after that reveal CT. Yeah. Fire oh, jumped straight in. Instantly <laughs> dropped. <laughs> I hate to see. I mean, no initiate is. It's pretty. It's pretty tough. It's pretty much just a jump in situation. Yeah. <laughs> fire had do. enough. He saw there's no yeah. initiate and decided he didn't want to do this anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What if I'm seven HP? Just trying Looks to like he just, kill. Yeah, he just wants to. Oh, the oh never mind. I might have pushed him out through the wall. I'm actually not sure. But got dropped either way. He's starting Stay strong. Out of my way. Yeah. On this first map. Let's see if they can bring in the bonus right there. Team. Yeah, it would be absolutely huge. And maybe Becca now with a proper gun in hand can take that if I Oh yeah, I just realized yeah, of course right they're sending the uh raise and fades down that A. I think they're trying to get the combo off. One hundred percent. Yeah. There's no other reason to <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, just keep <laughs> swinging this A. That's a blast hike. That's a blast hike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that was a misclick. And it looks like they want to get aggressive here again. I mean, it's smart play from the uh, the opposing breach to just keep stunning it because they obviously know they're trying yeah, for it. Yeah, for sure. But they've it was a lot of stars. They've just left that space now. Uh, I don't think cool. I don't think they're aware that they have this full space of a main. Yeah. Oh, they yeah, are aware. They're teams. backing up now. Both teams are a bit scared of it. Both Looks like Leo is about to die to the turret. That's, That's another turret one for kill. the bingo. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> I, just... I guess the vulnerability just caught him off guard though. Uh, just got dropped a turret and a lot of damage after you get vulnerable. Bit tough. Oh. I also think he might have forgot he had a left click so decided not to shoot at the turret. Yeah, ooh, force of press. Oh, huge man. That is oh. huge. I'm about to say no swings out anyway, what a mad lad. Everyone get dropped on either side. Some Vic has through. the info on where Jack is. 2v2, yeah. One molly on the bomb. It's a bit possible. He thinks he. Oh, I'm not able Ooh. to get one. This might be a bonus. Sucks in hand. It's going to make this tough for Wolf to get done. He is a clutch master, though. Ooh, SJ's playing it perfectly. It's it's done. The <laughs> the bonus has oh, been won by them. Huge from them. And He's Wolf will die to the spike too. He loses his weapon. Wow. That is that is bad. That's massive, massive from pretty big. Really well played. I mean, Sainz team looking a little bit, a little, a little bit lost. I mean, they're bringing it close. In all fairness, they're bringing it close every round. Yeah, for sure. But their economy is now in shambles. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe we see some stingers. Oh, only the one stinger. I think I've seen a lot of teams. Pretty much any save. There's like at least like three stingers. On the saving yeah, team I think a the, sheriff, a sheriff on a save nowadays is a throw. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're not sprinting at them with a stinger, you're doing something wrong. Literally, you can just five man rush something with a stinger, and the worst that happens is you lose mm. all your people, but you probably get two. Exactly, yeah, literally. There's a seize on Taki. Get stopped to destroy. Looks like they're going to. Oh, they didn't need to. Dropped. Oh. I love the team flash. <laughs> Almost had a right. mystic situation going on there. Yeah, 100%. But, uh, they're just gonna pull out. Everyone pops yeah, you, so everyone's a bit scared. They realize that's not a fight that's worth taking for them right now. Yeah. Definitely not with their gun advantage, right? Yeah, this is the kind of fight. And when they have long range, numbers. yeah, just just win the fights. I trust Mavi finds another one. I think he did. He continue pushing arcade. Found Vixie. Plus yeah, I think so. And uh, oh, rotate it was A. Yeah, this should be a pretty easy plan and hold here. Whole team alive, they might not even drop anyone here. Lots I think Wolfo is gonna hear this, so he might get some chip damage off from the Molly, but it's not gonna be enough. Yeah. <coughs> oh, but they plant in the corner anyway, yeah. so it's okay. That's all oh, oh. nice shot. fire. Respectable. Good little stinger over there. It's a long range stinger, everyone talks about. This is why you use the stinger and not the shot. Exactly, yep. See Wolfo? <laughs> <laughs> if that was a stinger, he gets bumped. <laughs> yeah, so. That reminds me of yesterday I, uh, on the split game. Oh, yeah. 
I ran Stinger because it was an eco, and I jumping Stingered around the corner and got two of them. <laughs> oh my god. It just goes to show the Stinger is just, just a superior weapon right now. The god is crazy. Alright, but now we get another buy from the same team, hopefully trying to get one on the board. Looks like they can all buy, but if they do this round, their economy might be in shambles. Once again, Beckett swinging again. He finally gets a pickup. He gets two. He gets two. He gets three. three. Beckett, I'm crazy. I'm making up for losing those other ones. Who is playing on Beckett's PC right now? <laughs> it looks like he is disciplined enough not to push in further here. Yeah. He is not too greedy for the ace, which is a good thing. Yeah, definitely. Definitely with their economy as well. They don't want to lose any weapons here, or it could be really. Ooh, Jacklis is going to find him though. Peaks him out first. Beckett just backs off completely, which is good. He's just going to hold the angle instead. Oh, never mind. Oh no, he was just sending his boombot. Yeah, it's not boombot. Looks like Jack he might be playing to save his weapon here. Oh, or or aggress A with the Killjoy. But if Killjoy's going to hear each other, just trying to yeah. leave some space. What he doesn't know is a Killjoy is going to catch Jack here, <laughs> whether or not he likes it. Oh, the Killjoy wants to push towards spawn, oh, oh, and he oh, does, yeah. he does oh. win the Killjoy duel. Really nicely done. I assume we're going to see a Killjoy diff in chat after the round ends. <laughs> Ten seconds left. And at this point, they're just going to go for any damage they can on the other team. Yeah. Whilst keeping yeah, their weapons, good. because they have plenty of money, the enemies don't. Yeah, it's true. Any gun you get here is huge. In the uh, coming rounds. Nothing found. First round on the board for Sadist Team. Maybe this is a, this is the snowball effect. In all fairness, completely off Beckett's back as well. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> so I'm going to no. see if we can do that again, otherwise uh, it might be tough. No, I don't like giving Beckett credit. But he did, he did do a lot that round. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Massive swings. I mean, it's crazy that he basically just swung the whole team when they were to get that <laughs> triple though. You have to give credit to his teammates too. The two that were with him there that set him up really, really well. Yeah. To get those picks. So, dropping spike and spawn is, so I guess they just look for a little bit of a default. Should we run them? I mean, play a bit a little they bit slower. They do have five, five shrines to press, so if they wanted to push in there, they could, but I don't think that's their game plan. I think oh, they were I waiting for it. You suck, he still, he got still gets one! What? They just traded a duelist for the smoker. That's crazy. That's gonna make pushing sides a lot harder for, for Jack's team. That was such a nice suck from Jack as well. It was really nice. It completely <laughs> prepped for him, and then just <laughs> whiffed the shot. It's a shame the RNG was, yeah, exactly. uh, was insane. <laughs> Becky just spinning around and tapped him. Looks like Sainer's gonna in. push this. That was yeah. a really good decision. Nicely done from Sainer. Completely stole this attack. Leo getting the drop though. I don't know if they're gonna go for it though. Smoke block Looks like the fade is hard. trying to stall them. And he's doing quite a good job. Yeah, 30 seconds, 30 seconds left. left. It doesn't look they're going to rotate, so they're just going to wait on the smoke and then fly in. I'll be two the fact that they've the cut sound right now as well, it's going to cause a rotate from Sainer's team to mm. go to B in case they rotate. Yeah, they just got to push off Sainer. Oh, they got two ults. That is a really huge ult. ult. Now they have oh, info on nice. Sainer and they get the first pick to get inside. Let's ult just to make space. That's the plan. They have swinging woeful. Spike planted. See Leo needs to calm down here. Yeah. Fire's always yeah, not going to get stopped. There's nothing they can do about that, I think. They're too no. far out to actually push it. But there's a little spot in the ult where the KO can just stay inside. There is. So at least he's still inside. Well, the fire, fire gets him though. anyway. That's so clear. I think Fire knows it. He's walking on pretty confidently. He knows they're both off. But it's the puppet spot here is going to make it real tough. 26 HP. Fire, really they're going to have to drop the man. If he gets yeah, sprayed, he's gonna yeah, he's, he's dead. Yeah. That was a great round from Key's team. Really nicely done. Even that after getting a main hold. Okay, 
Where they cut noise and just sat in here, I think that was really nice from them. Yeah. It meant Brim and Brim or Killjoy had to rotate just in case they had rotated to P. Yeah. I mean, I think it's the, the timing is another thing that you like is really nicely done there, right? Because a lot of times you can get stalled from a push and then you only have like 20 seconds left. So the enemy knows you can't rotate because they had like, what, 30, 35 seconds? It was possible. For sure. And I think Key was kind of reading them quite well. Mm. Oh, yeah. I think he knew Killjoy would have to rotate and the amount of time it would take before he had to pop that out. Yeah. Which I think was really well played from him. Yeah, Key's team looking really strong here. It's just the swap over. Obviously, it's done wonders for him because they are looking powerful. Oh, two flankers coming in. They've completely pushed up A. I think they know this because they push A pretty much every round. Key's going to swing into it. Going to find one. Both by both. Back in the trench. Well, they go one for one. Oh, oh two for one now. Yeah. Overcooking think... a little bit there. <laughs> Who let this guy cook? <laughs> I mean, if he just him. dropped back to A main, he would have had a better time there. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, just got the trade, but. He has no one to set him up there either, so. Mm. Looks like Key's team wanna go towards A now after getting those that those two picks towards mm. A side. Yeah, definitely. I mean they know those two are their A main players. And Brim right. wants to rotate towards B as well. Oh, they've been sold and the J2 has completely sold it. Oh, they sold top of that. Did you see him? I think that's still better for Key's team to be honest. Mm. Oh yeah, definitely. That's gonna keep yeah. these three players here rotated on mm. I mean, J2 is just like, I'll, I'll just go, bro, I'll just go run on the site. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, he wants to wait for the Killjoy Util to disable and then he wants to walk in behind them. Well, it looks Sainan... like the Killjoy Util saw him anyway. Yeah, I think I think Sane and, and J2 actually like barely miss each other. They walk yeah. over on the map. <laughs> Twice. That was crazy. Very unlucky about the spike getting planted here. We got, we got Kaewall. Able to stop the same as old would be huge, but it doesn't look like it's gonna go through. I don't think they need to use it though. <laughs> He's just walking off. <laughs> it was a half buy from Sainer's team, so I think oh, they didn't want to use the KO in this scenario. Oh, like oh, the blast pack kill. You know, that's not on the bingo card, but it's huge. I think it should be. Yeah, it's a little, uh, an honorary bingo there. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice stuff from Leo. Good hold. Green flags are really nice. He's done six one. Yes, you're right. So now it's the full bike coming through. So what else we got coming on? I mean, most about half the ults are about to be online as well as the ones which are currently are. So it might be a pretty big round here. Looks like Beckett does have his results. I think he is going to get really aggressive to a spot yep. where he could use that. Yeah, now, no. Fire Shrine has the info that there's at least one person behind him. Well, not Fire Shrine, that's the other Killjoy. Yeah, <laughs> J2A, yeah. <laughs> J2A has the info that at least one is behind him. So he's going for the flash, flash again. It worked out for him before he's gone for it again. He beats him out. There was no world where J2A lived there. He's got two people behind him and Sena yeah. pushing him from the front. <laughs> Pretty stuck. So just a whole bunch of trades on that entry, but they can't get on the side. I mean, the, the defending team doesn't even know it. They've they've just automatically rotated. They're gonna read them here. It looks like Key wants to keep making noise on A. Yeah, but they are but, not stalled by. I think they know. I think the, the attacker team has rotated too many times. And the fact and, that no one oh, is near A, I don't think Sainer's team would even know what Key is doing. I don't think they can even hear it. So it wouldn't matter too much for them. Yeah, they're gonna hear this now. There we go. And, Blue Fox coming and, in. Oh, he's got oh big no, he got. Nice spacing by Marvy there. And it's actually, I was going to get dropped anyway though. Marvie great ult. Oh, keep a great flank. 2v2. Got defused Jack. Another actually, flash, so as long as oh, they pick together here, they can win. It's back in 1v2. I mean, we've seen him do this before and he couldn't close it out. Hopefully, he can get it done this time. They're just going to play over the key with more utility to pull out of his pocket. Becky still had full ult. Oh, but he gets peaked from main. As long as he gets his kill, it is so doable. It's huge. He needs to get it to half, though. He's got to half. He can make it done. No. Nice try, Beckett. Well, well played from Keith. Very well played. That really was a great nice stall with his, all his util there. Yeah. I think if Beckett had used his utility a lot sooner, the retake would have been more doable. 
Yeah, yeah. If he, he wasn't still had so a... pressed to get that half at that point, yeah, he could have done some more. He really likes yeah. it up, almost got it done for both sides. Looks like we're getting a timeout from Sane's team, which is probably well needed considering it's seven-one right now. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of attack timeout. I mean, yeah, because they popped on a vault. You say you got to uh, got to remember. Put in a pretty yeah, bad and I think. I think that KO ult messed over Beckett really hard, too. Yeah, if I mean, he... it was great spacing for him. I mean, you see, like, that yeah. he sidestepped, so they couldn't ult, and then he ulted back. Oh, it's great. Just a complete shutdown really made that retake even harder for saying this right team there. there. Yeah, right yeah there. the KO was so powerful in those situations. Right I'm not sure what the like, tennis can do. What What are you thinking? Like, any Any thoughts on the strats should come out with? It looks like the ping is calling for either an arcade push right or there. holding for arcade control. I need a drop. Dark, dark. Yeah. Just look. The B team's actually looking to go over there though. For the yeah, sorry, I think, team. Yeah, I think the biggest issue is that Sainz team don't really have the arcade control. Coming back. Oh, J Sweet is looking every round. Yeah, they're actually read it, but feels like the uh, lack of weaponry there kind of got to Woeful could get it done. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate, but I think in rounds going forward, if he keeps playing for arcade control, he will have a better time here. Yeah, I mean they read it perfectly. Woeful was there, ready and waiting. For sure. This is gonna be a pretty this... tough retake with their weaponry available. One hundred percent. They have Sheriffs and a Stinger. Yeah. This is going to be hard unless they hit all the headshots. Yeah, exactly. You have a nice stun, it's going to block out a few of them as well. They now do have info on key though. Yeah, But I true. don't think they know there's three more people here in main. <laughs> Great Stinger play from fire. The Leo Stinger classic. Still main. full weapon am I right? <laughs> exactly. You should run up. Oh, and the Stinger dies to the turret. No, say no. Really? <laughs> that Two that one, one has game? to be a tilter. Let's <laughs> see how many we can get. <laughs> no, I think those are uh, those like the first <laughs> two of the tournament as well. <laughs> I think there was one yesterday as well. Oh. That was two more. Well, there might have even been two yesterday. It's the. <laughs> it's it's a dead. <laughs> Torah match MVP. Yeah, literally. All right, so here we go. We've got to buy, buy from Sanya's team after timeout. So this is what they're prepping for. So they there we go. There you go. They're for that arcade, arcade control. control. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Jay Sweet said just waiting with his turret. He's playing space really well with Skilljoy. Really, really well. I think he knows Selling. someone's gonna push from Dish as well. But it just comes down to him winning this fight. But Warful decides to back off, which I think is a really just... smart move. Yeah, I mean they forced him to rope, which is what they want, I think. And now they have complete control of that other side. Yeah, but they have no one playing for the <laughs> bottom half of the map. Yeah, yeah exactly. They've moved everyone. I guess they're just going to play full retake. But with the lack of. Actually, no, sorry. They do actually have they, a lot of always, so they could go for it. They through. do, yeah. Yeah. Very right. Both teams Still, just right, is two orbs away from her ult. But I think the Brimstone will save his ult for that. Yeah. That's fair enough. Oh, Save his wings. How big is cool? Oh, of God. I'll keep just walking on the side. I don't know if just lack of communication there. And Beckett with a tiny little bit of a whip. Oh, Vic T. He didn't see him. He's standing on top of his head. <laughs> Vic with a huge pick to start this retake. Two huge picks. Waffle is going crazy. Waffle got another one. This is making it look a lot more possible. A little fade out coming out as well. Fire finding on J2A as well. Not letting him lurk anymore. It's all on Jackless. Jack, Jack, caught, too. Jack catches him going on the. Jackals, I mean, they're not on it still, so he is okay. He's tagging now. He's going to have to get a good spray here. He's landed. Those oh got one. my god. He's got two. Jack wins oh. that. There is no way. <laughs> There's no shot. Oh, that's a Game Labs is his team. free in shambles. Oh my god. Oh, that's got to hurt. Really nicely done from Jackalus there. That was so well played. Massive hold.
Absolutely massive. Um, I actually have no words for what I just saw. It, it feels like, I mean, it's pretty and pink, just like they even threw away multiple members. <laughs> and they you still know, bring it back. To all the time. Trying to just get dropped by, like, Woeful found two huge picks as well. They still pulled it back. It's crazy. This it team's seems like as they strong. lose more and more, there seems to be more miscommunication from Aim Lab this way. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it there. They don't look so structured anymore. But I think it's just nerves, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Say now with a really clean shot. I'm sure I'll get the spike as well. Make it a little bit possible. If you can get key here too. Back in the end. Will you make the space to the Might actually be find Victor as well if he shoots it up. He gets it. He does. Oh, he does. Fire with a good pick there. Mm. They are reading J Toy's lurks now. Yeah. Like, they know. That J2A knows no one ever plays inside dish. Yeah. So if exactly. they go there, they can at least catch him off guard and angle. He's not going to yeah. expect them to be in. Yeah, it's it's made so many rounds for the uh, free and pink team. For Finally sure. starting to read it, which is great. But it's just can they get back into it? Like, I mean, the half's almost done. <laughs> it's almost it's, done. It's it might job. have to be a 10 2 half. They might have to pause into a 10 2 half. Nice oh, Woeful with a really nice shot. This is possible, they have two always as well. As long as they can get one or two. Like Fire needs to get there though, oh, if he gets no. drops. It's all on Woeful. Woeful of the Deeg. I've seen Woeful win done. these. He does. A little tag, Leo. But it's not this time. Leo great on the clutch. Fish is down. Last round in the half. <laughs> this is it, final round. How much money has the defender got? Okay, they've got a full buy. So hopefully, looking for a 10-2 here. It looks like Key's team are probably going to use all their ults as well. Which yeah, might make this a lot ult. harder for right the team. It might have to be an 11-1. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they've got like, so much util and uh, power to play with. Right there. No, they're going for the push once again. Nothing happening. The attackers reading it again. They're just is this just gonna be a straight B hit. I think they know whenever uh, whenever there's a really <laughs> whenever there's a push like that, they know there's three people playing them. Yeah. They can always just go to the different oh. the other side. Lucky flash. They killed the turret though. That's step one. But I don't think they may expect three man flank. No, it's very showing. This this is going to be the round. This this flank. And there it is. Cool Joey. It doesn't look like they're going to go in off it. Though. No, Every it's always huge, pops huge here. KO ult for this retake. <laughs> Every skate pops in. He's just round the site. He's, <laughs> he's taking the forward advantage. He's dropped one Leo also having the finding that kill Joy ult coming through. Everyone's but they do the have the, they do have the brimstone ult to break that. I think that is true. He hasn't popped it though. Wolf just gone for the diffuse instead, saying a great shot. They still want to get the diffuse through though. Oh, it's half. Okay, they should have this in the bug. It is yeah, nicely done. Really nice Peter. round from saying this team, especially with the ultimate deficit. They brought it back. Yeah, one hundred percent. Switching sides. Uh, there it is. Two ten half. Oof. They're going to have to put in a lot of work to bring this back. Yeah. But it's <laughs> certainly doable. <laughs> yeah, Looks like he did crazy. a little bit of cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of old top there. <laughs> anything good about that. When, when that much stuff happens. Anything you have, you use. Yeah, exactly. Some of it's going to hit your own team. I do think saying this team might have a better time on attack in general though. Maybe attacking is better for them. Mm. Maybe they're just an attacking team. Yeah, definitely. I mean considering Sainer's on the uh, on the breach as well, you feel like he could probably call out more strats being on the tag. I think it'll be easier to set up Beckett to get those entries as well. Oh here we go. J2 well, that kill all Joy all Molly is damage. huge. He yeah. has the spike. If he can hold this against Beckett as well, that's two on him though, he's got but one. He peeks into two people. But we've dropped out the half, a lot of attacker team, really low here, like one bullet or two bullets from the... And there's two people down from 
pretty in pink good. too. Right there. He could, could do this, this retake hard. Spike yeah, planted. he's swinging three of their team, doesn't find Sane on the cross, and luckily Jackless in great position, Jack gets one. Finds Sane now, which could be huge for Pretty in Pink. So, so, he's trying to walk in, I mean, he's trying to get some space here, great grenade from Leo, he's going to get one. Leo is one HP now, but it doesn't matter because he catches Beckett fire. and Key catches a wolf. Oh, he's got, he's got two mollies on it? Oh, he hasn't got any mollies on it, they didn't plant for his mollies. Had to get dropped instantly. That, that was a lucky so place. Man. He had he had so the mollies, mollies down. Mollies. Yeah, both mollies were down. Oh, that's just the plant. Well, that's that's the miscommunication that you're on about there. It just comes down to them being. I think they may be tilted, so they're not communicating as much. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Two ten half could definitely do that to your mental. And yeah. in this late into the game, they have no choice but to force this around too. One hundred percent. Yep, stingers are coming out. Warfield looks like he could buy spec and full shield. Yeah, it looks like he's going for the half. Oh, it's just a B, B rush. I'm saying this to him. You go from a no strats here as a W key onto site. I feel like Neo has found this out now. Considering no one was A main in the KO. And I've got no one on dish. Yeah. So they're probably gonna call a full rotate soon. Yeah, Killjoy well, is probably not finding there either. Spikes kind of. Yeah, it's gonna be trying for a full retake. The half by. It's gonna be tough on both sides. We can see how good the U2 usage is. Victy getting dropped really low. Beckett does still have his grenade. Which could save this round, I think. Seas coming in. Oh, they could get the need to follow up. It's a huge Seas. They're walking on. Oh, it's all going to be done around the bomb here. Beckett going in. Getting dropped. He still point two. Get on. Mavi gets trades everywhere. And it all comes down down to fire once again. To win this round, but it's, oh. it's too difficult. It's a 1v3. Trades just not going the way of Sadist Doom. It's crazy. It feels like every round we have these these big blowouts. Everyone dropping neutral and trading each other. And Keys team just comes out on top every single time. Just feels like they have that team play. Just... They do have a better team play. Okay, this this map is only going one way, and that's um probably a loss. Yeah, yeah what a oh, same team. Mow him down. Let's just let's take this and let's go to the next map. Yeah, it's very true. And let's hope they reset their mental for the next map. Definitely, definitely, still possible. There are still two maps left, so it's never over yet. Very, very true. So Leo's got Sheriff in hand. <laughs> He's getting dropped on. It's a 45. It. Huge flash. Marvi catches Vic, but Sena trades it right back. So they still have the number advantage. They could win this round. And they catch T. This is looking extremely winnable. I guess because both teams forced last round. Everyone's kind of just on the same guns. Aish, why need you made his way into spawn and oh, no, no the whiff, the whiff. Really unlucky from fire there. That could that have been so it. Sane is gonna get dropped here. J2 is some great positioning, great aim for sure. Once again, yeah, he's doing pretty and think of a four v two yeah. back into a two v two. Crazy. <laughs> they just keep doing this time and time again. <laughs> a Jacks on the flank. I don't even know if Becker's gonna spend it. He is actually looking that way. So he's got, he saw it, didn't see his shoulder. He can see it. He but see it Jack sees Beckett. He spotted him. He's spreading for the bomb. Beckett's not ready for it. Wolf they both Jack. have info on each other, but one is half HP and the other is. Swing through Jack. Let's and Jack punch it out. Is the end of the match. Again. That was a three two. I don't even know how many rounds Jack clutched. It feels like too many. <laughs> he's, just, he's just got that dog in him. He is, absolutely. Demon, oh, a Jackless on the team now. Then again, when is it not? This is Jack we're talking. <laughs> I mean, Pretty Pink looking like a favourite after that one. I don't know if I'm like speaking too quickly, but he slams in his team. Jack in here. Absolute demon. <laughs> okay, there you go. I don't think that's what they wanted to hear, but. <laughs> Get into the manager of fun and you'll win. I don't know.
<laughs> we're just like, oh yeah, I just woke up five minutes ago and uh, it's playing with my feet for half the round. Yeah, but, hey, we want. <laughs> Actually, true. I think All we right. get we get Jack in for an interview. Uh, do we do interviews in between, or we're just going to go to the next map straight away? Okay. Like, best of Unless three, we're going next just... map straight away, I don't know if we're having a break between them. Yeah, I'm not sure what. Uh, uh, more production saying here. <laughs> we'll see now for you, but yeah, great game. Just to round it off, anyway. Huge map, massive from Pretty Pink. Um, that was insane. Just looked unstoppable. Um, absolutely crazy. I'm really good to see. I mean, the next one's Haven as well, which is really exciting. I think for everyone in the tournament wants to see that. For sure, it's the first Haven game of the tournament, and it's going to be mm. really exciting. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely banger. Same as teams on attack as well. So hopefully they can actually get some rounds in instead of two. Um, hopefully. You can see them on their side a little bit. Okay, cool. So it looks like we are going to go on break for five, ten minutes. And then, uh, then yeah, then I guess we'll be back for the second game. I want to ask for a quick Jack interview. <clears throat> Yeah, let's get Jack in here. Yeah, yeah. So we get Jack in the for a break. Could just be able to check. Uh, you you can hit him up. Looks like something is up right now with the swapping teams. I mean, swapping sites. Um, yeah, I think. Looks like they chose attack, right? It's in this team. So, so yeah, I don't this, this, remember this who picked attack. Um, yeah, I've got it up on the side here. Imlab um, is free on attack, which yeah. means everyone should be swapping sites right now, yeah. except for Sena and Beckett and Fireshine. Yeah, it looks like half of them's gone in. There he is. Hi guys. Hello, how are Hello. you doing, Jack? How are you feeling after that game? That uh, was good, it was good. I was a bit, uh, was a bit apprehensive. I didn't really know what to expect because obviously I haven't, uh, haven't played in a match yet since mm. my, because I was, uh, being subbed out by, by piano, but it's turned yeah. out good so far. Yeah. Yeah, that's that an has to be a great <laughs> first map for you. Yeah, I mean, it's all good. like I, I was a bit of a body shot Barry that match because I <laughs> that was basically my warm up. So I mean, it happens. Whatever works I mean, to win, you know. Worked, apparently. I mean, you clutch and... like four rounds or something. I mean, <laughs> if that's what you need yeah, to do, no, then that just sucks. But I can suck. <laughs> I can suck with the best of them. That's all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> what if I told you, Jack of us had that doubt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we were all pretty. I guess pretty much everyone's pretty unsure of like how how it would go swapping, you know, yeah. basically the top two players out, but it apparently yeah. turned out extremely well. He yeah. absolutely smashed them. It was um, <clears throat> well, yeah, that was that was one of my um questions. Is I mean, piano piano set the bar pretty flipping high. I think it's fair to yeah, say. definitely yeah. <laughs> something for me. I was like fuck, uh, but it's all good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's, uh, she's, she uh, set out how we, we meant to go on, I guess. Exactly. Yeah, what are your away. predictions for this Haven game? How do you think you guys are going to do? Predictions? Um, I mean, for me, like, for me personally, I mean, I, I only had one scrim with, um, with the team because obviously, I mean, we were trying to prioritize the people who were playing first, which was skills and 
and uh, yeah. piano because you know mm. if you don't get out of groups and <laughs> doesn't matter how you know how good uh, I play. Very so true. um yeah I don't know it's hard it's hard to say I, I think um I think we have like people who are very very good at their individual roles though I think we can pretty much make any any map work we got we got a couple that were perma banning but we won't reveal but <clears throat> Yeah, I think it's going to be an interesting map, considering we haven't seen Haven so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from anyone, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll let yeah. you see what we're cooking. Yeah. We will see what you're cooking. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to like uh, say how good it's crazy because your team looks so coordinated. You know, you would never say that your team looked like they were just fresh out of the bag. I don't know if that was Key's eye chilling or your eye chilling. I know both of you. I think do pretty well. Of... Yeah, we kind of Key was eye chilling for the most part. Uh, mm. We kind of kept it, kept it pretty free flowing though. I think mm. uh, didn't have like a hard IGL. I'd say um, like we, like me and Key would sort of uh, share bits. He did most of it though. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I think that's a really important thing to have. It's to not restrict your teammates from not yeah. doing what they want to do. We just played very reactively, <laughs> like what we saw in front of us. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. Cook stuff, off on, cook stuff up on the fly, built up a game mm. plan over over time. It's kind of impromptu, but. Mm. It was the right yeah, it looked, yeah, it looked really good. Yeah, definitely like J2E's lurks as well. Making space yeah. was was crazy. I don't know if he came up with that himself or uh, that, sorry, say again. J2E's lurks and uh, the space he made. I don't know if he came up with that by himself or you guys like had pre planned that, but yeah, yeah well, really effective. Yeah. He uh yeah, he he inserted some key key moments in, in there for us, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Especially in the last last round where he was uh in him were, were trying to clutch up. But yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, you all played this super, super well. And, uh, yeah, I think you did. Yeah. yeah, good luck in your next game. Good luck in the series. Fingers crossed. See you in a bit. And have a nice right. few minute break. Goodbye. Cool. Yeah, of course. All right. Already. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess we'll go and break for five minutes and come back at uh, two. Yes, we will be back. Already. All right, ladies and gentlemen. See you guys then.
Hey, yeah, very interesting. Have to win this one. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. I mean, it's interesting to choose it, right? If both teams haven't really prepped for it, then then Key must be feeling something, you know? For sure. Let's see if Jack continues to have those clutch genes in him this map. Looks like Sena wants to go for the chamber. Mm. It's definitely a comfort pick for him. So maybe he can actually uh, drop 30 Ooh, like he's in scrims. Like, Sena being put on agent where he can be aggressive, even if it's like not duelist, I think is great for him. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, Back I thought like, Kale would be like more of his... The, yeah. More of his Which sleeve, I do know? like. Beckett did look really good on that jet yesterday. Yeah. I hate yeah, to I'm say not... it, but yeah, I mean, I guess maybe they were trying too hard to try and get that that phase, phase yeah. re... a fade race even. I find still comeback. opting for the kill join, which I like, agent. but this time it's Leo on the kill join instead of J two A. Yeah, yeah, J two A was clean on that. Yeah, actually looking pretty similar to earlier. Waffle is just on that omen instead of the brim, which I think could be pretty good if Waffle ever wants to get aggressive, he can do. Yeah, I think Haven's more of an Astro map though, right? Definitely. Waffle's Astro is clean. I haven't seen I'm Waffle surprised. on Astro yet, I don't think. I remember that was, that was his like that was his MVP pick in uh, BCT one or two. But in all things, that was pre enough Astro. 
I think Astro might be insane. That's very true. Maybe but, he's I mean, just he's, not he's... comfortable on this new Astro yet. Yeah. You feel like it's a it's, it's a particular set of skills, and he's definitely got it within him. So I am surprised. But I who knows? Maybe really maybe like... his omen's crazy. <laughs> mm-hmm. I really do also like the silver instead of the fade on this map. Mm. I think it works a lot better, but I could yeah. Remember. Yeah, no, I love single Haven. I think it's really, really good. Definitely you got lineups as well. One hundred percent be the way. Has Alrighty. to have spent at least a hundred hours in the average on this Discord and in custom games. <laughs> but I don't give them the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Leo with a little bit of VM in the old shot before the game even starts. Yeah. <laughs> out. Like they're going for a aggressive play on a long gear with the breach going and supporting on the shot. They really want to get this bingo card. <laughs> <laughs> they do is try for every round. They have the triple oh, here. Really I, don't think up. Fi- I don't think Fi is aware that there's going to be three here. No, he's going to run into him. No, he's got one. I'm going to get two, but lucky. That is huge, though. Fire gets key. When a, yeah. The seed one player on the team gone in pistol, which is huge. That is absolutely massive. The rest of the team, well, they're looking towards garage, but now they're coming back. I guess now they know they've dropped key, they can uh, try to make some space onto A. I think Fire called is two on A, and I think they're confident in their ability to take down these two on that playing on A. Yeah. Because they yeah. do have the info that Fade is half HP. That's true as well. The others are just walking it in, not making any noise. Looks like Jack trying to keep B on lock right now, and Leo's just jump peeking to see if anyone's out coming out of the garage. Oh. Sena does get the pick. Oh, here we he go. He gets two. That is Sena, great. Sena on form now. Two here we great go. entry picks to get onto A side. This is what we like to see. And Jack yeah. is able to hear that trip, so he knows if he goes out here, everyone's going to be looking at him. Yeah, it's going to be pretty tough for the defending team. Jack's this is a really him. hard retake. Try and get something done, leave a little tire up top. So they do have the info on Jack now, Ooh. and he is now half HP because of those shock Big shot drop. Big shot grace with Fish Mop. Leo jumps, jumps the headshot, and Sena gets his third in the round. They just drop some. What an interesting smoke. Really nicely done. You know, I've just been, uh, I've just been... Been confirmed by the by the Twitch chat that Omen actually is the meta pick on uh, on Haven. So you know what? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> you know what? Also, Omen is pretty good on this map. Of course, I love playing Omen on, on Haven as well. Um, I only only thought it due to uh, the previous pro play, but uh, I'm not an Astra player, so I'm not too sure. I'm more of a more of a Silver guy, so I want to see what Vic can mm-hmm. do this map. Yeah, you know what she needs to. I mean, the the shock that's already looking extremely strong. Oh, that first round where he got checked to half HP, that was huge. Yeah, gun advantage. I think the defending team, yeah, haven't gone for it. He's got a shorty, and he's camping in that uh, that little ratty corner on A. That corner not too much is... else. Just pistols for the rest of that them. corner is way better than inside of that little corridor. Yeah, I yeah, no, no one expects you there. Mm. No one's gonna clear that, but they will also, they will always clear right now. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. How to rats properly? Looks like they want to opt for going towards A. I think Fire's seen Jack getting aggressive there, so they're going to try and punish this. But do they know he's opted to go towards Sue? They do, and he's now blind. Oh. Beckett. Get Jack can't get anything done there. Spike planted. Yeah, I always feel like Haven's Haven's hard to retake. If you, I think with the flank coming in, you just like you're walking through basically like two real small chokes or a drop, bro. Right? Sure. I think A site is also one of the hardest sites to retake in general. Yeah. Turret out. Yeah, definitely. Especially if you have something watching flank. Mm. Just 
it's really oh, hard to get nice value from shot. heaven. So you know, get another one. Is he, is he cooking? He is half yeah. HP though. He's one HP, so I'm not sure if he wants to keep peeking this. Yeah. He's gonna go for the pick, but he is going for. He's trying to get a little play. Oh, nice! He gets it oh, anyway. Like, on one HP, that. he still gets it. The ego peek in there works out for him. As a flawless round as well. Nicely done from the attackers. Looking a lot more in their stride in the saving map. They are looking a lot better right now. Yeah, looking so much better. Sainer looking on form. Sainer is like thriving when he gets to be aggressive here. Yeah. yeah. Looks like his money is also going to be really good. Yeah. If yeah, they win this round, things in it. Go on. Yeah, it's just chain the things. If they win <laughs> this round, or if Sainer gets an orb or dies here, he even has that orb. Oh which yeah, is gonna be huge. Yeah, he could just round crawl. three chamber ult, which is gonna be. It looks like it's gonna be possible. You want to play? And he's gone for it as well. Now. Oh my god! Well, they're going for the A push once again though. Didn't really work out for them last time, but they're trying for it again. He's coming in. They get traits. Oh, Cena actually get dropped. No orb shots landing. That's that a great is pick. Really the good defenders. for Pretty in Pink. And Jack gets one, but Fireshrine oh. instantly trades that. It's still a 4v3 for Pretty in Pink, though. Jack getting a little bit caught in his animation. That was a bit unlucky. Leo trying to get the shot onto fire. Nicely done. Putting the, uh, the lead the heavily into the defender's sweep. Differential. 100% there, yeah. Is that defender's kind of muddling around think... the east side, though? It does a bit scared. Come I think. On, this is good from Beckett trying to get a little bit aggressive because they do need to even up the numbers here. Yeah, definitely. They got one, Mavi mean, not getting the jumping properly. Moifal could clutch it out if he could drop Beckett. No, it's like straight down key. That is well played from the defenders, but it could be bad for them because they've lost two weapons, three weapons here. Yeah, for a bonus. That did kind of go down the drain pretty that quickly. That was a really good bonus from right in Mavi's crew. The fools yeah. gave us a window. Smash through it. Really nicely done. Yeah, keeping the advantage going for the attackers. Sena dropping his ulti, but you know he's, he's clean with the guns. He doesn't need it. It does look like Imlab is free. Right Money is right there. Quite fine for the next two rounds too. Mm. I do reckon they have a strong chance in winning this round. Yeah, Especially definitely. considering they're playing against Sheriffs, a classic, and a Spectre, and then someone with a Vandal and Light Shield. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, basically they've just put all their money into Key. <laughs> Hopefully you can get some taps going, which is... Uh, it's just I don't joke. doubt that at all. Key's aim yeah. is really nice to watch. Mm. He is crispy. Rocking the Iron Gun, buddy. Always Spectre, nice. Make sure you know where the turret is. <laughs> He doesn't even one need of the to reveal things. himself through Garage to destroy yeah. that turret, which I think is really good for him. But it looks really like they want to go in anyway. And Marvi has found a little gap in the smoke. Ooh. That is an unlucky smoke there. It's gonna the smoke goes down though, so okay. it doesn't matter anymore. Marvi gets one. Marvi oh, gets two. Down. See. Beckett needs to even this up. Marvi trying to get third. But Warfel oh. does it instead. Overcook a little bit though. We've just stopped down the timing. Nice. But they Steve still get the wheel. trade, which is really good for them. But this could be an easy retake for Pretty and Pink, considering they have their initiator, they have their smokes. Yeah, I definitely got the use of advantage here. This play Key. is Great position, really though. important. They have to get aggressive here, which I really like. Yeah, that was really nice. A great strategy. Sainer's in now a it looks like they're just, going to pay, they're just going to play off yeah. Sainer's contact, which is really good. Yeah, the long play is always tough in clutch situations. 100%. And especially with What's Beckett towards CT, the moment Jack even looks at Sainer, Beckett swings. Yeah, exactly. Really nice. That's a great post bomb play from the attackers. It was really nice. I think the garage push really secured that round for them. Yeah. This is great. This, I mean, whoever's calling out these shots. It's doing a great job for the attackers. It feels like they're playing flawlessly now. For sure. The difference in the maps is crazy. I think a big factor is Sena being able to push and be aggressive and not yeah. being able to when he's on that breach. I think he was on. 
Yeah, exactly. I think, yeah, Sena being on his comfort pick is huge. Yeah, just like that. Finds Leo out of nowhere. Speed, but speed. is he expecting Jack to push this too? I don't think he expects Jack to be in the left corner. No, he wouldn't think it. And the drone's not going to clear that either. So, oh, Jack is getting more aggressive to Towards long, and I don't think they'll expect oh. that either because Sena was sat there for a good. Dude, he did a little ring around the roses here. Oh, he's gonna find him. He says he's not looking. He's not looking. <laughs> okay. That, that could have been really bad for Fire Shrine too if he just huge. turned around because he had his turret out. Yeah. But that well, is that's huge. Getting dropped. That yeah, that that's free. given away the ace sight from complete. Oh, a nice shot from Mavi. Doesn't oh, expect Sane on the left though, Sina swings him. It's gonna make it even better for the retake, but it looks like Sane wants to offer Sane this corner. You should run. Which is the kill drop. Looks like yeah. the kill going. I mean the rays could fly going. in and alter. I don't know if they're gonna go for it. It'll be a mental play. I don't think it's worth it. Like the uh, number disadvantage of him. Oh and Sena does funny. catch the timing on him, which is really good. Looks like Jack now has a vandal, but he's really low. Fire Shrine, it's a 1v1. And say no way. I the crispy on the clutch. That did not look like it was winnable for him, lad. I mean, for uh, Pretty in Pink, but they did almost manage to win that. Yeah, that looked like a little bit of a blowout, but yeah, they, they obviously they're, they're good in the clutch, good for the retake. They just couldn't really finish good. it. I think it's just really unlucky from Marvy. They're getting caught by Sena. Just yeah. forced Jack and. Uh, Sena knew his timing on that all. He knew that if Killjoy is heaven, she has to get. I mean, mm. if Raze is heaven, she has to get out. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, the knowledge so is huge. If he catches her while she's trying to get out, he has a free pick there. Yeah. Sena with the ult again. I'm not sure if he's just going to pop it on cooldown, or maybe he will just save it for the save round. But I think he there, will save going. it because he does have his van right now, yeah. so he doesn't really need to use it yet. Mm. I know some people are so confident of the orb that it's just like, it's a free orb. Why would I not use it, you know? Fire Shrine does have the info that one person is here, but I don't think he'll be expecting the thing. Yeah, the whole team stacking up is a bit crazy. Yeah, J2A in the slot. Oh, nice. He shot the drone out. That's really nice. J2A might be getting his done. Oh, and J2A gets, gets Sena, which is a huge pick for him, I think. Oh, another one! He can go crazy with the strategy. It doesn't expect fire on the sides. But yeah, dropping Sane is absolutely massive for the defenders. That allowed the defenders so much time to either rotate or think about what they want to do there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, still a lot of time on the clock. The attackers can kind of do what they want to do. It's mental that Sane was still able to get that kill. Fucking <laughs> shotgun from the side, he still <laughs> found Mavi's head. <laughs> 30 seconds left. Yeah, we'll see how the defend uh, sorry the attackers hold up without Sena. Looks like they're trying to go for the garage push, but the turret is there and now rotates are gonna start coming through, I think. This could be all on Leo to try and kill everyone out here. Great hold on. Leo has stalled pretty well. Leo gets two. two. Let's just hope we can get Beckett. Well, Beckett gets one, but he instantly trades him out. Great hold from Leo. Really well played from Pretty in Pink there. Yeah, nice done the uh, the molly stool and then fire not even checking the corner just allowing Leo to get both. Oof, just got to check your corners there. I think just in general though you don't really expect someone to be playing there when there's already a race pushed up. Yeah, yeah, you definitely the, got really because I think a lot of these players still have the ranked game mentality, so you don't mm. really expect that. Because as we know, oh almost everyone in this play. one is a ranked player. Yeah. Well, we've got Sane with the ulti. Which, as we were calling the ult, yeah. On the save, pop the ult, hopefully. Get some nice shots in it. Warfell has the info that someone's pushing Garage now. But he might know this too. I think he saw the raise and he sees the phase. The fade dog. So he knows two are going to be pushing this. Ooh, which is why steps. I think the whole team are coming back to hold it. Yeah. Yeah, all the attackers are still in spawn just waiting. <laughs> Looks like Sena wants to get aggressive with his hop oh. towards garage, but is he gonna expect oh, my peak he out? is, oh. but he gets traded straight away. Yeah. 
I did a great flick along. Kills are just coming through well, the attackers. Well, will they check Key here? Key and Jack Ooh, have a great a spot there, but they can both. They're checking their corners now after that last round. Victor checking everything. Are they going to win this save? I think Leon might Spike be trying planted. to go for this. I think he loot. does have the money to go for it, but... Yeah, it's possible. It's a 1v4. I think the better option is just to opt for the save, because I think with the money he'll get, he'll be able to buy one of his teammates too. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it feels like the defenders maybe just got a bit antsy there. They, I, I feel like they were thinking that the attackers being on the on the save meant that they could just just push up. They push up yeah, really and far. and I think that's that's one thing you really don't want to do when someone's saving. Yeah. Because you never know if they have a shotgun, a stinger, or anything that could just beam them from close range. Yeah, exactly. I mean, just the, the fact that they could just get trades, like nobody got any two pieces, just full trades, just left them with nothing. That was a great round from him, obviously. I think they're looking a lot better on this map than they did on Fracture. I mean, they even have yep. more rounds than they did on Fracture, so... <laughs> you have over double the rounds. Definitely coming to their stride. Yeah. Sane and Rebecca carrying about half the team's kills. Over like only two-thirds of the team's kills on their backs. I do think, though... The info Vict is providing, the way Fire Shrine is holding Clank and Waffles, Smogs are giving them a lot of opportunity for them to get yeah. those kills. Because this in general looks like they're playing a lot more as a team than they did on Fracture. Yeah, yeah, thankfully not too tilted off for the first game, which is great to see. I think that little break can probably help them with their mental. Mm. Definitely Looks like Waffle gets caught. Shots. He just gave up, knife out, and tried to run away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave with the ghost. Oh, it's basically just a full save on the defending side. I didn't realize. So apart from the the rays, everyone's got a pistol. Sainab does get a kill onto Leon. He is one HP, so he has to back off here. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough reset from defense. He's going up. <laughs> I did not expect that, and I think he didn't either. <laughs> Which probably is what you want. So that was well played by Beckett. Yeah, it was a nice shock dart following up as well. So even if Becky got dropped, it would have got the trades. Yeah. Oh, Jack is getting caught on the flanks. I think mean, that's pretty much impossible for the defenders. I don't know if they're going to go for it. I think the flank was expected because they knew they lost a weapon back outside the garage, so someone would go for it. And at that yeah. point, they might as well go for the flank. Sinner does get the pick on Tamari, and I wonder if Sinner's going to check this corner. He does. Yeah, even with J2A getting the first shot there, it doesn't matter with the classic at end. If only he had a shotgun. Yeah. I'm sure, he's just better sometimes. He... Well, at least we're going to see a more of a full buy from defense. And, uh, it feels like a bit, bit, bit of a mental reset on both sides as well. Yeah, I wonder what util... Oh, Key has full util and light shots. Because he does have zero money, so they need to win this round. You pushing out of garage doors is... I like the aggression, but I think Pretty and Pink need to know when to back up. Yeah, yeah I mean, they've pushed a lot and they've got caught a lot as well. Yeah. So I'm not sure they need to switch up their strats just a little bit. The aggression, I think, is a good thing to do, with, but only when you know when to back up. Oh, Mommy does get a good pick on the Sena there. But Key gets instantly killed too. How did Key even get dropped? He was in window, or did they just peek I door think and he's he got distance? Just... Yeah, I think he just peeked um, through. Uh, yeah, grass by fire then. <laughs> Damn. Well, that's both seed Watch ones down for the teams. Gonna see how the rest Watch of the team can play it out now. I do think that Pretty and Pink have a good chance of this considering they have some good retake ults. They do have the fade ult, which will give them a lot of info. Um, I with the killjoy went up, sir. Very nicely done. They are trading it through with the soul vault, but I think he missed. No, no, he did not miss. Got it at the end, yeah, nicely done. But the fade also does have the ult, which they could just... Yeah, yeah. here we go. 
they have the, they now they can't goals. hear and they have the full info on where everyone yeah, is. And Ray's all coming in as well. They're not even going to expect it. Beckett drops. Well, Beckett they're taking it off. Oh, everyone getting traded. It's a 2v1 now oh, for pretty and pink. Oh, I wonder if they... No mollies. He's going to drop J2 into the Fire swing. gets him, oh. but he dies instantly. Nice. That is retake well played from pretty and pink. Great retake. And they still get to keep that breach halt, which I think is really good. Yeah. Should play some astral stars in this reality. That was a great run by Five Shrine. It sucks that he couldn't, couldn't yeah. secure that run. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, you would have to get in the uh, a nice picking garage as well. Looks like Jack wants to play in garage this round. I think this is better for him personally. Another seize need uh, attempted on the on the A site there. <laughs> Check some stars. Looks like they do want to opt towards A site for the start of the round, but the spike is outside grass, so I wonder if they're going to commit to this or not. Ooh, Looks like they know Marvi is there, but she still gets nice. one. Great flick. Seen the spot him crossing, but couldn't get anything from it. The rest of the team. A little bit back now after they get dropped. It looks like they're, they're opting to just back off here now. Yeah, I mean, Beck is dropped. going to stay oh, there. He's swinging, yeah. <laughs> he's still going for it. I guess he's trying to sell it. Because this whole scene rotates, Fire's trying to push up, you get some info down. Oh, he's even this going for the good. old to sell it. Their C player's still not moving, though. Damn, so he's still going to push out this. And but Jack's going to be there in time as well. Exactly where he is. Sina get dropped. What? Sina gets dropped by Jack. That, this is great. This is really tough for the attackers here. They need to drop on the back, don't get him traded out, and it's all on Woeful 10 HP. Finished out by J2A. I love the fact that Jack was just waiting on Leo's mm. contact there to swing. That really helped him. Like, Sina thought he was taking a 1v1, but he did not know Jack would peek that. Yeah. I mean, they just did not fall for that fake at all. Like Jack stayed. I mean, that's that's the bonus of Astra right there. Right? Jack could just stay yeah. in garage and just drop stars, and, he, and then Killjoy with the, the setup means that she can just sit C solo. I think their comms are like so clear to the point where they know that it's only Killjoy there, and they're all calling it only Killjoy. Yeah. I think they like guessed it was gonna <laughs> oh. be a fake, but oh. Wolf almost got caught. Off oh. And he oh, TP's back. He just TP's back. <laughs> We almost saw it. One almost. of these days, man, one of these days. We need to finish the bingo. Exactly. I mean, the bingo is kind of impossible now, considering our team got kicked out. <laughs> so we true. can't have the ammo ones anymore. I mean, even if we just see a knife, I think it'll be good enough. Jack! Oh, Jack! Oh, we had a knife though yesterday. Two. Crispy. Those are really clean shots from Jack. Still waiting. What did you see, Chase? We find a pick there. Maybe just a spray for the smoke, but um, the attacking team instantly trembles. The defender, this raise on the defender side is taking a lot of space here. Wolf yeah. has to check this one out. And it does, oh, but he gets a flick anyway. from Marvy. Damn. It's just the saying, though, 1v5. A little bit too aggressive, though. Yeah, definitely overcooking a little bit. I don't think he's going to spot it, but though. He gets it. Nicely done, by Marvy. Good finish really in the round. 5 6. What was this? It, the Last rounds was like, what, 1 5? Maybe 2 5? Yeah, I think it was. All the way back? Oof. 2 6? Yeah, it was 2 6. Oof, damn. So, the defenders are doing a really good job of bringing yeah. this half back. Yeah. Now, this shows shows how good uh, their top players are, or just anyone on their team is about uh, reading the situation, right? I do think it might be a little. Oh, bit better for Sinner's team on defense because they do have the potential to be aggressive AWP. Like they have the yeah. jet for the AWP or the chamber and they can get away really easily. That's a good point actually, yeah. Which is something we're only seeing now from Pretty in Pink where they pull out the AWP now. Mm. So I'm not sure about how yeah. much impact it'll actually have. Oh, it's just Leo going to try and hold the side against all the more Killjoy. Gets pinged out. Traded. Leo does get one. 
But that's both killjoy oh, jumps. Breach ult. Straight away pings up three. Marvy straight in there. Dropping Sailor down two on the Sailor side. One in the corner. Lying in the air. Again, two. Nice. What just fix it. Around. One in three. Quite pretty in pink. What a great retake. So smooth from this team. Switching sides. It was insane. Now we're going into the defending side for Aim Lab is free, so let's see how they play this. We saw Pretty and Pink would play their Killjoy on C, I wonder if uh I think that is Aim Lab is free gonna do the same win. thing. Yeah, just to the fact that you can hold garage and C. Yeah. At the same time. But it looks like the turret is going on B side. Oh, interesting. Along with the chamber trip, though? Yeah, that's a really... Oh, he takes I don't think... back. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think... The second team did one round on B. Oh, no, they did. They did, did one round on B in that last, uh, last half. It's no, definitely not a place that people usually I think they just, to. I think they just didn't think it was really worth it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely with chamber trap as well, actually, you get more space. Because you get chamber trap and um, killjoy trip, essentially, right? He's got a lot of knowledge for A, which is pretty big. Vic does get the info that no one is in A main for now. Yeah. He does go for the kill into Fire Shrine, but he also does get tagged down to almost half HP. Yes, he saw Sana swung A short there, teleport out and then go straight up to C. He saw they weren't going for A. But that also their posture towards around B. Huge info oh. the film. The fact that right, he gets Marvy there is huge. That's a duelist come. Oh, fire's gonna get but dropped. The key as then well. also does fire, meaning it's gonna be harder Almost. for Wolf well, to hold C. Wolf for the classic. They know he's in the smoke. Yeah. They know. Sailor's coming as well, though. They haven't got the plant down yet. Comes through nothing Wolf without being here. For that, no one is back there. Is he gonna swing? He's gonna go for it. To it gets one. Oh, I can't land the shots. Vic oh, now in a 1v3. He does get the kill on the two, which could make it doable. But they now know exactly where he is. Yeah, it's I Killjoy think... and Molly's as well. It's gonna make the this tough. The fact that Killjoy is still alive is gonna make this so much mm. harder for Vic. It's gonna be tough. He's gonna have to make some guesses here. That was really nice Molly timing. Literally yeah. has the shock that was gonna blow it up. That was <laughs> very perfect. And he doesn't know where they yeah. could be either, which is huge for them. That's and Leo does end up getting that kill on the big. Great attack round for the attackers. A little bit lucky from Woeful there is the solo man on C. Yeah, I think Fire Shrine got a little bit too aggressive. He should not have peaked that much. Yeah, him losing garage control there. Kind of just allowed them all to swarm on C. It's a bit tough. He had the turret to hold the garage push too, which... Yeah, I think if it stayed up, would have made Waffle's life easier. Would have made his life easier. Yeah, you just sit back, let your turrets do work, let your mollies do work. I mean, we saw two turret kills last game, so you never know. Could have exactly, helped the whole team. Yeah. Gotta respect it. That dart hides in the corner, so it's not gonna see anyone there. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, it doesn't have a lineup for uh, what's this lobby? Yeah. Garden. Yeah, for garden there on the on the ASAG. I think that dart is very misleading. It could mm. easily be abused by the attackers here. So they're just, just thinking about nothing too fast. Looks like he's just looking for picks around garage. Yeah. Me. That's the way to do it on uh, on Haven Roy, because it's another good shotgun map. Oh, here we go. Sw oh, what Beckett a shot does get Beckett. a headshot through the wall. But he's not going to go for the weapon. He knows Killjoy's watching that. Yeah, turret as well. Basically a 2v2. So they're just going to go towards garage. Saying Saying the around the knife on, on the arm. <laughs> yep, Sainer making space once again. Awful decides to go for a really aggressive angle despite only having a ghost here. And now Fire Shrine hears them going to garage. Yep, same the shots. Doesn't land them. <laughs> He does stall them though with that molly, which is great. But now Sain, he does drop Fire Shrine, but Sain has the info. Ooh. He just drops back onto site. Sain with two shots. Can't land it, can't land either shot. Sain then decided to do a reaction to cosplay. Oh! Really quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. 
3v3. It felt like it was all this going to be. Very bit. Yeah, but it's all. Dana but... does have that spectre. So as it's long as he makes no noise in going through to see long, he can yeah. get two here. I can get a shot, he here we does go. get two. It's all a Jack. And now it's a 1v1, Sena versus Jack, Ooh, and Jack's just going to play backside. Sena's going to have to try he has and get, to get this defuse. You can hear him walking over, but Jack can't get it done. Oh, there is the top no top time, top. but that is huge oh, for Sena. Yeah. That was meant to be their fourth round, meaning they're gonna go into this round with no money. Yeah, no money. They no all guns. will have to force here. Yeah. I don't think they can really play bombs, except unless they do this with their sheriffs. And... But I yeah. don't think it's worth letting the team get that extra point on the board with a better loadout if they lose this round. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess this is the round they're supposed to lose right after the. Uh... Yeah. Force but after losing all their weapons, mm. I think it's, it's not It's tough for this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think you just throw it down the bin. But yeah, nicely done for the defenders, always pulling it back on that last round. Looks like the Breach just wants to clear out that alarm bot in the garage, and I assume he's going to pull it back, but Marvi gets a really good pick on Sena. That's also a free weapon to help them on this round. Looks like Sena is pinging something towards A, not sure what. They do get rid of the alarm bot now, so Fire Shrine, yeah, they are just going to back up a little bit after clearing that to give Fire Shrine Ooh, Beckett push it up. Beckett might be able to find a swing onto Key. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't believe they have a man in spawn. Beckett is He's being helped by J2A here, but. <laughs> it's going to walk past each other. Oh, the way the rest of the team make it onto C. Gonna get the plant down. As long as Fire Shrine does not swing through this smoke, I think he's on it. Yep, should be okay. He Unless needs to wait for to go Oh, he gets a pick nice on Marvi through the smoke. Oh, that was really crazy. Nice. Everyone else is off They now have the info that everyone is long. Oh, it's not planted exactly for long, though. She could do it around the side. But <laughs> it spins. He's going to half, though. Jack with the two. Oh, my, oh my God. God. They won the pitting pink. A few pistols. Jack with the two huge long. kills, Marvi with a huge kill on wow. Cena as well. That's crazy they won that. that pistols really down C well long. Goes it. I think Cena is now going to, going to try and get an orb so he can get that orb out. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And the, there's a fall by as well. The nerves must be through the roof. For aim lab is free right now because they know this is the map they have to win. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, it's gonna be a, a little crisp 2 0. Nope, Marvin going in. He's in the deep east. Marvin, let's see, only got one for one. Get one. Uh, well, it's paying dividends than setting down two on uh, A long every round. I'm not sure about Beckin keeping this Marshall instead of dropping it for that stinger. Maybe yeah. he's feeling it. Yeah, I guess he trusts himself. I mean, he just landed that shot, so maybe things. He's Stain is going to go pick up the stinger, though, which is I think going to help and him. And the orb as well, I guess. Just need to hope he doesn't. If he's using this headhunter, he just needs to hope he does not do a reaction cosplay again. <laughs> he's already, he's already out. <laughs> it doesn't need more, more hate. Sorry, reaction. Um... I don't even know who you are. <laughs> Either way, attacking team going to garage, going to see. The defending team is definitely ready for it. Sena with the open hand, he Sena doesn't land misses. those shots. Sena not finding it today. Oh, another one. I think nerves are hitting Sena here. Two missed ultra yeah, spots. Single one landed this game. Back up there, but do they know about Key? They do. Listen, they red for him, but Key. He anyone. still gets one. Um, and yeah, this Astral is going to slow him down. Becker, Marshall, and kind of got nothing to lose. Nice shot to Leo. That's how you do it. Oh, switches to the Specky for the long range. Okay, because I should not have questioned him keeping the Marshall. Oh, he's just going to get dropped here. There's no way you can just hold it. It's too much of a line. There it is. Did he get half though? He did. Yeah, he Wolf, got he did. Wolf keeping his head away from it actually does find it. And he nicely. gets the round like that. What? They play by Waffle Ooh. and well played from Beckett for keeping that yeah. stick on and getting it to half before dying. 
Nicely done. Well played, well played. That's that's another save round win, right? Two in a row. Yeah, <laughs> the team with the lower guns one winning from out. Pretty and Fink, and then the <laughs> next one from Imla Vispri. Exactly. But now both teams with the full guns in hand, so let's see how both teams play out. Looks like Waffle wants to take an aggressive angle on B here. I like this, but is he going to be able to back off if one peeks? Looks like no one wants to peek him, though. The attackers have got the kill trial with you. Which they could go for. He was in base, though. They've got him playing. I think he's aware of the push. I think he just Ooh, wants to hold this. Push. He's going to find this as well. And Drop he finally that. saying that. Looks Massive like Beckett pick. wants to trade this off. Yeah. He's got the dash ready to go, but Leo's going to hear him coming. He's just running around the rosy in him, though. He's got no chance. He's just going to stall for his team and let them plan. Oh, my God. The rest of the game, you'll decide Leo should get drops here. Nice. Good trade from Mecha. Yeah. Looks like Marvin wants to get aggressive towards spawn a little bit. Becca's going to get another one. Huge pick. This is going to make the retake a lot better for it's possible yeah, definitely Victor gets this Vic one as well gets it while getting sucked in oh it's all on Jackalus now on site he's in space but Jackalus is getting another one Jack is Jack versus Woeful the cleanish Woeful versus Key and Key wins it on oh. half HP Woeful was not ready for Key to be there yeah yeah it's great position from Key I mean it is a huge hold from Jack he should not have got that many kills in that short space of time Amazing hold that just was... to allow Key to finish it up for his team. It was just an aim diff from Jack there, honestly. Yeah, looking crispy as ever. He's a big brainer, but he's also a good aimer. Yeah. 100%. I mean, Beckett trying to pop off there. He almost did get that through for his team, though. Mm. Just couldn't finish I think it off. It's the just point. the pick onto Sena, which kind of almost lost in there. Because it was a huge pick from Leo to get Sena there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, whoever called out Wolfel from Leo is not sitting spawn. Here. <laughs> no. Wolfel can I... keep playing this corner and maybe they won't expect it because that dog did not clear him. It's true. Well, they just won't go for it because of the uh, space anyway. Oh, it's another save for the defenders here. Oh, they're just running it in though. Oh, Leo, Leo gets all three. Oh, they <laughs> He's just gunning down. What more does he need to do? I think Marvy sprayed out Woeful as well. Woeful running Cheeky away. Question mark in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Cena not landing the shot once again. I think nerves are definitely hitting him now. For sure. For sure. It's not going to help when Leo does that in chat too. <laughs> exactly. A little bit of VM and they'll be pissed off. I think the post plan once again. Not much to do here. Sane's gonna have to just try and force it, try and get into someone's POV. Finds both. Oh, no, no. Marvy saw the ace. Leo almost had the ace. Oh, he's just. <laughs> That's too disrespect on the Sane there. Alright, it's about to be an 11 13. Leo's about to go off on his team for stealing that. He's <laughs> like, straight over. AFK. Here's your bingo it's card. <laughs> Leo lost his Twitter clip. He's not going to play anymore. <laughs> Great round from Leo, though. In all fairness to him, that was smash. Really well played from Leo. Sainer's back has to be hurt. Yeah. It's tough for him in this game. He also had it going, but uh, the um, his team just once again just able to adapt, overcome. Yeah, especially on this 2 6 lead run. that they had. Yeah. Oh. And then Key's team just brings this back. They got four ults as well from uh, Key's team, so this round's gonna be hard for them too. I Great feel like they're gonna be expecting the double flank because every time this team flanks, there's more than one. Every single yep. time. He swings into it, that was good. Like it gets the pick onto Key, which is huge, but then J2A gets one onto Sane. The train of the seed once. Leo get one Leo too. Great with spray transfer. Spray transfer. Holy. That one's going on Twitter. All on Woeful now. Got to do it again. Woeful cannot land the shots on Marvy, which lucky. secures them the round. Match point. No Match point. This is going to be a hard fight. round to win. Yeah. 
Aim Labby's free cannot even fall by this round. Yeah, this could be Aim Labby's free out of the tournament as well. Definitely the favourites going into the semi final is going to get dropped on a 2 0 if this goes over to Pretty in Pink. And Pretty in Pink can literally just abuse their ultimates this round too, just to secure it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they didn't even pop. They pop like, what, just Killjoy, I think, last round? Killjoy fade up, maybe, yeah. That was so that all they went through from Aim Labby's free. Yeah. For this try that killed your own. Saying that still not be able to find these shots. Shot he can't get himself into a position where he can get the pick, you know? Yeah, I get you. I think it's just I think it's just nerves at this point to be yeah. honest. I yeah, it's just like nerves. Because it's just... match point, this is the, mm. one of the most important runs that he's had all game. Yeah, he, he knows, knows he gets something. the pick. Yeah, look, he's pushing all the way to that spawn. He knows he has to get something. So they get on the side with this gun advantage. He's just not landed it once again. Oh. Vic does get the go. info that Mavi is mid right now. But does he know she's. Oh, Sinifan Key. Sinifan 2. Sinifan 3. There it is. There it is. He's showing up when his team needs it the most. There it is. He just kept just keep prodding. Eventually, you find him the triple. Huge for his team. It's gonna face up Marvy. Marvy gets the trade shot. He will XD spam in the chat. Thirty seconds left. It's defenders getting getting enough guns here. <laughs> it looks this like he's trying to avoid him. garage. They know yeah. Waffle is probably going to be in there. Oh, what a pick another on one. Vic. Oh, this is still winnable for the attackers. You hate to see it. One hundred percent. Five mine cannot get too aggressive here. No, Becca find him one's huge from there. It's they all on Marvy. Marvy's been clutch. Nice. What a five. round from Sena and Aishwan. Oh, if his team lost that round, Sena would be seething. <laughs> oh, no, no. He, he would be really angry. That 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 was a huge round from Sena, honestly. Yeah. He saved them. In the room. Really Especially nice considering play. they had a buy that was not optimal. A, a lot of light shields, a lot of guardian spectre. Yeah, 100%. He really went huge there in saving the game for them. <laughs> a gift. Alright, you just have to explain that to him when he asks for his clip. <laughs> Oh, they're flying straight in. Looks like they just want to go for a full AXEC with the three ults that they do have. They do have the infant fire, so fire Ooh, is kind of... Fire's going to be cool out here. Dead. There yeah, it yeah. is. Explosive There's charge kill coming in. nothing you can do. No. The smoke That's... came in too late to let him escape that. Yeah. That's pretty big. Kildra getting dropped leaves the site all open. And Sane's going to be pushing into the new one as well. Vic does get the info that no one is inside the window right now, you but there is one outside it. of them. Here we go. Here come the ulties. Sane is pushing in. Ultra is ready and waiting. Leo, Leo dropping Sane. Oh, it's going to be tough for the defending team now. Star players down 3v5. Basically, no ults to speak of. Fire in the hole. i got to make something happen. <laughs> Ray's Ray's with the GG already, him. he has no faith yeah. in him. <laughs> what? That's so oh, Becca getting dropped. Woeful, no health left remaining. remaining. All on Woeful now. 1v4 oh, to save his team. I believe in him. Jumps onto the spike, key spots him out. Key finishing so it. Rough. This is oh, so unfortunate. That was really well played by Pretty in Pink to go Ooh. from a 2 6. They were 2 6 down and they come back 13 to 7. Yeah. Or 13 to 8. Yeah. yeah, massive, massive game once again for Pretty and Pink, looking untouchable. Their team play in general is just insane. They don't have the one star player that just pops off. Mm. They have the full team that are able to play around each other. Yeah. They all with a little bit more B. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone on Pretty and Pink played so well that game. I think yeah, we. Uh, 
once again. Leo really showed up that map. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, he really, really did. He, I think he bopped off Sabre multiple times. It was great. Let's get key. Yeah, yeah, let's get some from the teams in. Okay, uh, yeah, should we try and get Salem one in from the teams to finish it off before we go to break? Yeah, I'm asking Key if he wants to come in, but I don't think he's seen it. Okay. Let's give it a minute. I'm not sure if he's going to get in on it. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I guess I just to wrap up the game either way. He is coming. Okay, oh, Keith just said shot. Okay. Looks like he's coming in. Well, I'm supposed yeah. to join this by myself? or Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey. Well, really well played. Thank you. you guys did really, really well. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I did a little bit on, of calling on the side, and I mean, it worked out. I guess. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, we were, both teams were kind of lost in the sauce on Haven, but I mean, <laughs> Sena had uh, had to carry like a lot there, and it didn't work. But, uh, luckily, my yeah, it's crazy, and, uh, I didn't have to do shit that game. So. <laughs> All good. Leo, I mean, you guys did. Uh, Huge, yeah. You guys yeah. did come back from being two six down mm. first half. You brought it back to six six, and then you demolished that second half. It was. So it I was think... kind of like um, the beginning was kind of weird because we fell really far behind and we lost uh, our third round as well, which is really like annoying. But um, after like we kind of got the hang of where they're like trying to play and how they're playing, and they played like the same kind of execute every round, like where they go really late. And yeah. um, once you like figure that out, then it was kind of okay. And the tech side is, I mean, the, the map is the tech side, and we had the better comp, mm -hmm. I think. They were lacking like a, a breach or a, a K. Or something. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, yeah I think the fade is um, unlucky. <laughs> I true, yeah, Fracture was a um, um, less. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the best map in the game. I mean, sec second best. Lotus is, uh, but not, not in the tournament, so I mean. Mm. That's my for the tourney, yeah. Unlucky, Definitely. really. <laughs> I think you guys are definitely a more team rounded team, whereas mm. in Lab is free or more of we have star players, we need them to pop off. And if they don't, I kind of I think it was also um, after the first map, I think it was like confidence goes kind of down. Like, for example, like yeah. Awful played really good first map. Um, like, you got some good gunfights, but like, if you lose that first map like this, then the second map is gonna be like harder. Though we had some nice mm. shots, but then for sure, yeah, yeah, the key to where to go, and uh, it kind of worked out, I guess. Kind of worked out. Yeah, I feel like there was a big miscommunication issue on Fracture for them, yeah, where it's, it's especially there was this one round in general, there was this one round in general where they had mollies already set up, but they planted in the wrong spot, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's actually, I, re I remember this. Yeah, I, I remember this. Yeah, it happens. I mean, the map is difficult to play. Like retaking the map yeah. is difficult because there's mm -hmm. a lot of post plant, and then if you have the wrong comp or like you don't have the right agents mm -hmm. for the right people, then it's difficult. But my team, I mean, they have fucking setups, lineups. Like, it's it's crazy. I don't know. Like, I don't have to do shit. I just tell them what to go, like where to go, and it, it works. Yeah. yeah, your team is really strong right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm lucky. Uh, I'm lucky, I guess. It's uh, be like a big, uh, to be lucky once. a big. A big thing with this tournament is everyone expects it to be seed one go kill, but yeah, you really it's... just prove them wrong with this where it's more team rounded. Everyone has to do their part. I mean, Tana kind of proved that like, it can work, but I mean, yeah, there, there was a bit of a lack of the other people there. I mean, well, yeah, the 20 yeah. kills, but that 3k with the sheriff, I mean, that was, was that was really nice. It was a shame it was not being a. Uh, it was not being observed at that moment. Oh, oh you no, missed it. I was it. really oh, Sena, unlucky, Sena, yeah. Sena, Sena, Sena clipped it himself, like he just sent it. Uh, oh, no, he did. Thank God, really yeah. <laughs> but we played tomorrow again then, right? I guess? Yeah, yeah, you know, the finals, yeah. Oh. Was definitely uh, the underdogs going into this, but you guys absolutely smashed the favourites. <laughs> I mean, we might get a rematch, you know? Unless uh, Senk is actually awake Welcome and they're uh, going to tap them all. Like. <laughs> With Sena, yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think I don't think it does it go lower bracket or is it just they get five for third place? It's a good question. I, I have no idea. I didn't read anything question. about it, so um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't even know we didn't play another one today. So I mean, it yeah, fine, but yeah, you won, so yeah, you don't have to play another one. It's very oh, true. That's great. Yeah, you guys absolutely that's smashed that's it. Is, was there any um? Considering you guys had basically you know uh, you and Jack coming into it, how was the uh, how was the team cohesion and everything? Jack said it was just it was just you guys kind of just winged it and smashed it. But how did uh, it feel so, for you guys? So so I was surprised when the whole thing started. They made like mm. I, I thought they're gonna make it like a Discord group and whatnot, but um, my boy Skills made a whole Discord server with like strats and stuff and like team comps and whatever. Um, but um, <clears throat> once uh, Skills went like away and I played for him we we just yeah we didn't use any of that so I feel really bad for him putting in this time and we just like completely winging it so yeah, I think, <laughs> I I mean, think if, happened, if we yeah. don't know what we're doing how are they gonna know right so that's like exactly that's really that's true exactly really true. yeah you guys you guys do absolutely amazing um how about for the finals coming up then which team do you want to face in the finals I want to play against Oscar and uh, Mike because uh, they want they didn't want to play us today because they said like Oscar said he doesn't want to play like uh, against his friends right um, but mm. um, I guess yes, yes, yes. we're uh, we're gonna see them in the finals probably I think they're pretty good uh, if Tino is gonna like mm. somehow make wonders happening on fourteen uh, three hundred ping again like he, he had like mm. fourteen kills in one game so yeah. I mean <laughs> I think they're still it's strong true. even though they have a three hundred ping player so I mean, yeah yeah I think I think each one of them has has had MVP games in scrims. So it's yeah. it's true that they can all pop off definitely. It was cracked. Truth. Very true. Yeah. Alrighty. Well then uh good luck. Okay. Time for food. Thank you, thank you. Bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs> bye bye. Now we go into break. Huge. Alrighty. Um then yeah, so I guess we'll be back in an hour, right? That's when the next one's planned to be. Yeah, I think um I also think we're not casting now. Yeah. Yes, that, that is it from us. Very, very true. Yeah. And then, yeah, then so then you guys will be streaming we'll back with Jolly, ready to go for the other match. And then, yeah, then we'll see you there. I am guessing an hour, but we'll let you know. Bye bye. Alrighty. See you guys. Bye. -bye. Everything that brought me alive Though we're all like monsters Playing with the monsters They brought me alive But got no alibi
Anarchy.
gotta find my way to you. No matter what I do, gotta find my way to you. Your heart is drifting out of reach. Gotta find my way to you. No matter what I do, gotta find my way to you. Even though you're next to me. Gotta find my way to you. No matter what I do, gotta find my way to you. Your heart is drifting out of reach. Gotta find my way to you. No matter what I do, gotta find my way to you. Now that our love has capsized. my way to you no matter what i do gotta find my way to you your heart is drifting out of reach gotta find my way to you no matter what i do gotta find my way to you even though you're next to me gotta find my way to you no matter what i do gotta find my way to you your heart is drifting out of reach gotta find my way to you no matter what i do gotta find my way to you Gotta find my way to you, no matter what I do. Gotta find my way to you, your heart is drifting out of reach. Gotta find my way to you, no matter what I do. Gotta find my way to you, now that our love has capsized.
That you can't confess I'm just your ghost If we're not undressed Part of me wish that we never met But you act like we never Got too wasted In the bathroom of your parents' house Then you kissed me In the backseat of a taxi ride And we said things that were cheesy But we meant them That were feelings And now you deny it You're in love
sense that you can confess I'm just your ghost if we're not undressed A part of me wish that we never met But you act like we never Got to waste it in the bathroom of your parents' house Then you kissed me in the backseat of a taxi ride And we said things that were cheesy But we meant them, there were feelings And now you deny it
careful with your pretty eyes and run with me you're done cause you and i and i are a secret feel my drift against your skin cause honestly
fight Cause there will be a time Give me all you've got If you're prepared to break the silence I'll be out in the sunshine Running beside the lions I've been feeling down, but I've been looking up, afraid to fall. 
Hallo. It is alive now. The Vitos. Ah, cool. Uh, are we live on Twitch now? We Thor. Say again, sir? Yes, sir. Oh, we are. In that case, welcome back, everyone, to BCT Season 4. Uh, hopefully, you'll be able to see the Matt Vitos on your screen, and we should get into it right away. Looks like skillage in the village removed Haven. So, we haven't had a Haven map yet, have we? Yes, sir. We have, have we? Second map, second map in the last game was Haven. Ah, uh, fair enough. Aim Lab is free versus. Uh, I forgot their name. Ah, oh, uh, fair enough. No, it's obviously Bears has decided to. Ban pretty in the pink, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> So bind has been banned from Wesley Bears. Quite a safe ban, I would say. I'm not surprised. I wonder if we're going to see something new like ice books. So we haven't had, yeah, that'd be nice to see. We haven't seen, seen Pearl or ice books yet, I think. No. I believe Wesley Bears have picked, please. Is that. That means? Uh, yes, sir. Nice. And the uh, skillage in the village picked us up. Yes. So the side there's gonna be fracture icebox or pearl. We're gonna get to see at least one map we haven't seen <laughs> <Yes>. before. <laughs> if it goes to three maps. We may get a chance for a new map, would be nice. Mm, I don't think Lotus is in the map pool. So. Uh, yeah, not yet. It's got uh, a few weeks until it is. No, no, in, it's in rank now, I think. Is it? Yeah. Come but on. I meant like uh, here. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So, I wonder what Visty Bears will choose to ban now. They decide to ban Poe. That's, that's probably a very uh, realistic ban from them. Probably looking to go for Ascent. Uh, not Ascent, sorry, but he's not the icebox. So. A fracture. Side map. Skittish in the village starting on attack for Ascent and Breeze. And Icebox. So that's a bit of consistency for them, and we should be going into the map shortly now. Ice books as I decided. Let's go. Nice. Oh, brand new map first. This will be interesting to see how it goes. 
So Mike played very well in their last game on Breeze, uh, not Breeze, sorry, Fracture, yesterday. So Icebox being another map where IGLs can exceed, excel, it will be interesting to see how that goes. Jenny is in the lobby. She's just not here yet, but it's fine. Okay. She'll jump in with you later, Ali. <laughs> <Don't laughs> nice. Don't worry. Also, do cast a little bit. A few hovers from both teams. A killjoy being hovered on either side, which is nice to see. Different to what we saw yesterday. Um, with Kiro opting for the jet pick, uh, going against Swag, so that'd be a nice little uh, jet battle between them. It would be interesting. Still no pick from Mike or Sank yet. Probably discussing where we put, whether to put Sank onto Chamber after this game yesterday, which he played very well. Probably see Mike go onto the controller, as that's what he tends to play. Doc's coming in now for Kiro, Flo's, Floaties, Sefnix, and I assume Mary will lock shortly. Indeed, locking in Kiro, very good pick to try and shut down that Kildrew. Mike and Sink still yet to decide what they're going to play. You would think they would have had some idea. Mike hovering now at Omen. Sink still yet to choose. Probably going to go Sova. Box coming in now from Mike's team. Opting for the Sova instead of the Fade is an interesting pick, but I think it's very viable on this map. Mike's team yesterday on Fracture had a very good start on defense. They ended up playing more offensive on defense because they were just steamrolling the enemy team, unfortunately, which was quite interesting to see. Sek and Mike both having a very good start to the game. What's your prediction for Pistol? Uh, looking at this setup, I reckon it's going to be a defense uh, win. Uh, they're opting to go towards A, and if uh, and if Tina decides to go for wall, which I think she has, then she'll be very good to delay them. And I reckon they will sweat the wall and attack, and probably rotate and get caught out. Quite a slow start then from the attacking team. Swag looking to push B main for a info push. Gonna get meet by two players waiting outside B main. With that pick, they're gonna head towards over to B now, entering B main. Faye opting to go back site to try and play site and hold it with her setup towards lane, which will be quite a good thing. Kiro dashing towards switch, gonna get caught out. Mary gonna get caught out by Faye's setup. There's now a bring it back to a four and to three. With all the attackers still stuck in main. That's much going to allow them to come out into lane if they so wish, if they need to go together, but they opt to take the fight towards outside. Faye going to get caught out by floating into site lane, 
Saint going to pick up that one onto Fred. And Saint getting the second one. Oh, trying to hunt the third. Looking like a close out for the defenders team. Shit, fake with the knife kill. Damn. Very good. That's the first knife kill, I believe, of the tournament as well, which ticks off the first thing onto Mary's bingo card, which is nice to see. Just a one buy on to flows for the attacking team. Hopefully she'll be able to pull off some kills, get some picks and get them in, back into this round. Flo's dealing some damage to Swag. It's going to make it force him back to market because we'll get pulled out, tagging onto Flo's top mid. Kira going to get caught out by the marshal. Swag down. Not able to connect that shot. Oh, that was the last second. Swag feeling it now. Got to keep re-peaking. Mike and Saint doubling up on short. Hopefully you're not going to clear that. Got Spike down again. All down to flow. Able to get one onto Swag. Before getting killed out by Saint. Another quite good round for the defenders. Only losing that one gun, which is the marshal. So not too damaging. Understand that you guys are having sound difficulties. Hopefully, it should all be working back now, and you'll be able to hit the game. Revealing area. Good morning, USA. Oh, about time my cast has come to join. Hello, boys. It's a late arrival. Had some personal issues, but they're all sorted out now. Things you like to hear. We really love to hear it. It's like yeah, fate being so cringe. Oh my gosh. I love it. Did you see Mike getting the first knife kill of the tournament? I didn't. I wish I did. Who was uh, it on? Uh it was on uh it was on to Faye. No, oh. not Faye, Faye. Uh, ignore me, it was on to close. Ah <laughs> 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 oh, no, he's never gonna let her the end of that one. No, not at all, but I'm happy that the knife came out before the seas need, so I won that bet. <laughs> oh unbelievable. I can't believe this is um, this tournament's rigged. Completely. <laughs> hey, Sefnix with a great kill onto Mike here. Down in the bottom of mid. So I guess faded. They'd opt to give up the space. So this from Faye could be big. And Tino is completely unaware. That foot 300 30 is seconds left. Give her the advantage that time. <laughs> Flows will almost overextend, and so will Sefnix. I honestly respect that. Spike planted. Thanks there to fight, but he's so low. And Floaty has picked up Faye on the other side of the map. So will pick up Senk. It's looking like a pretty clean round from Skeo in the village so far. Just swag in a 1v5 with a sheriff and a dream. I mean, we've seen crazier things, right? Mm, Not really, yeah. but... So we're quite difficult to pull this one off. <laughs> I mean, you can do anything if you believe, but uh, swag is a non-believer, unfortunately. Flo's will pick up the kill. A flawless round from Scourge in the village. Looking pretty good. I say, that's a good start for your buy rounds. You don't want to lose too much damage, especially after losing the first two. So that's quite a good start. Definitely. Right. It's really important to keep that economy in such a healthy place. It is. This, the cringe cannon on Swag is probably going to do some damage around mid. Hopefully they have enough util to uh, push him back and not peek into him. Definitely. Looks like the knife is going to come in from Mary. We'll scan him out, but he sticks around, posts it up, but the shots will not connect. Actually, uh, Ops are I'm not yeah. sure if they'll be expecting this. Mary holding a flash out, though. 
Looks like she does anticipate it. So I came people in the A main, it's probably going to get to come to go for that towards there, and you can see Mike and Senk grouping up together to go to towards A. Yeah. By getting the first kill onto Flows with Kiro trading her out. Yeah, really nice. Pallet doesn't scan anything, but looks like Skillage and the Village have actually opted to give up the space A main and regroup with their team on B, which is the smarter decision here. Running away from the operators, there's hardly anyone on site. Just Tino and that ping will just not be able to make it a fair fight. Sefnix will take her out. Man advantage for Scourge in the village now as they start to get moving towards the site. Backup has arrived though. Mike is by the door and will peek ahead of it with some nice shots from Mary. Get his chip damage. Uh, he's very low already. Makes this a little bit more difficult. Here. Unfortunately, Swag was a bit too late to catch anyone coming out of main with the op. Meaning that in this situation, it may be a cause for a save just because they don't want to be losing that this early. Definitely. Take flight. Looks like they might be grouping up for a retake here though. Mike starts to walk up onto hey, site with this here. late lurk from Kiro. Could be absolutely gorgeous. And it was. The Nightfall committed as well. Really smart decision. Mike's trapped. Won't get the kill. And, we'll and now, I think it might be jam time. It will be jam time. The team wants to hunt this down though. It's like their economy not being in the best place and it was a good decision. Offbreaks are taken out of the round and a very clean round from Scourge in the village. Very good round. Good discipline to not overpeak once they got the bomb and very good reaction skills for the two people outside B main to take it and to push onto site after the pick onto A. I 100% agree. Looks like we're going to have an eco round pulled out from Rizzly Bears here. Hunter's Fury on Sank could do something with it. And uh, one orb away from the blade, uh, the blade storm is swag. So if they decide to get a little bit funky, maybe fight for some orbs, then uh, could end up in a pretty favorable situation there. Heat from top mid will come through. Won't find anything from it. It's good in the village. We'll take up a little bit of space towards them in. Well, we'll go up from Tino. Tino Instantly broken there. Tino has getting a lot of info there, so we should be able to group up now. As you see, there's, there's all options to group up short. The big ult from Sank here is going to catch out a few players. Yeah, Hunter's Fury comes through. We'll take out Mary. And we'll get a tag onto Flows. Pretty good damage. It gives them the man advantage, but the weapon advantage is not there. This also position in this fight in mid could be everything. It could be everything. Swag opts into one away and choose life, which is a very good thing. I think getting that kill onto Kiro is massive. That's two picks now in favor of defenders on their ego. Three picks. Yeah, and Mike will uh, re aggress to a main, take out Flows. 5v2 now. The shot's not left from Swag, but it's still a 4v2. Make that a 3v2. Stefanix coming up huge with those two kills, giving his team a bit of uh, life into this round. Okay, Not sure if you can. Overheat moment from the defenders' team to try and. They got those three picks. They should have fell back and doubled up just to secure the round. Those two picks could have given left. the attacker team a foot back into the round. Them down. Definitely. Timing wasn't there from um, from Faye with that earlier peak, but this fast flank from Mike could be everything. I'm not sure I didn't aware for uh, aware of it. And he'll pick up the rifle. No rifles recovered for the other players, though. The time is so low. If the defenders can just deny plant, they'll be able to win this round. Yeah, it's all down to Mike here. I think Mike might be able to get out in time. Yeah, Faye tries to do what she can, but get taken out by Floaty. There. Last player Mike and uh, from A main will take out one player in hell, and that's Floaty, just in a 1v2. TP into the smoke. One enemy remaining. Floaty will pick him off. One now, no one. rifle on Tino. This reposition could be absolutely massive. But the shots are not there from Floaty. Both low, you know, lower. Still only has a sheriff though. And 300 ping. Not going to be the easiest clutch for her. She will get the heal off on herself, but the peak from Floaty, so disrespectful and okay, unexpected. That... It's absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can see in the chat that Tina is not too happy about. <laughs> 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 She's not the biggest fan of the uh, ping that she has to play with, which is fair enough. But, unfortunately, when you choose to have eBay Wi-Fi, that is what you get. <laughs> Definitely playing from a uh, McDonald's right now, probably sitting with a uh, box of chicken nuggets on a dream. I respect that. And full by coming up from both teams. Glass cannon for swag. See if he can get anything done with it. I think if you're um, Rizzy Bears here, 
Mm. Yeah, smoke will come in, deny the vision for Sank. Recon will go out, won't scan anything though. Going for a spam kill through the smoke. Mary, dodging the bullets. Lucky to get away with her life. I think if you're Rizzly Bears, you're probably feeling a little bit disheartened after losing that last round. But the shot from Swag goes straight in between the two players. You should run. Lockdown will come in for Skillage in the village. Smoke will come up. Swag uses a peek ahead of it though. And Sefnix in mid. Picks up a kill. Rizzly Bears have to fall away due to this lockdown. They're ready to regress. This fight in mid. Sefnix will pick up Mike. All of the fights are just going in the way. They're all going in the way of Skillage. Spike planted. Since the first gun round, they haven't been able to do much. Yeah, the NA peak from Mary. Unfortunately, too much for Swag to handle with that up. It's just Tino in a 1v5, being peaked from every single angle possible. Unfortunately, too many targets can't do anything. Another flawless for Skillage in the village. The momentum is definitely in the favor of Scourge in the version now. Four on the trot. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw a timeout coming in here. And yes, we do. So this would be a good opportunity for Mike to regroup and get into the momentum he wanted. And to try and figure out what's going wrong. Definitely. Worth chatting about now. You don't want to let the momentum go on too far. Uh, this is Skillage in the Village's map pick, so you expect them to be a little bit more dominant on it. But obviously you want to do everything you can. You want to be winning every map, regardless of who's picking it. Uh, timeout isn't a surprise. I think this is a good time for it. Uh, Tino has just um, DC'd. Hopefully she's going to uh, pop back in soon. They will be having a tech pause after this. Yeah, I wouldn't be well. surprised if we had a, uh, had a tech pause. Unfortunate, but we'll let you know um, what's happening with that as soon as we know. Can't imagine it'll take too long if she's uh, quick. I think I'm feeling, um, you're probably already feeling a bit uh, mentally drained if you're um, Rizzy Bears after you lost that 5v2 earlier. Even though they were on an eco, they turned um, that 5v2 into a 1v0. Those kills from Sefnix were so impactful mid round, and they really gave the team a um, way back into it. Yeah, they. Got too aggressive in mid after getting those picks. They just wanted to try and close out there and there. But when you're going against a uh, phantom and a, a vandal, you're not going to when there's gunfights majority of the time. Um, so those picks in mid probably what lost them, and they'll probably be thinking now what to do to get back the advantage that they lost. Yeah, definitely. I agree 100%. It's like the um, we got a little bit of a bug in the lobby, but you should be all sorted now. Yep, we're uh, just heading into a tech pause, uh, waiting for Tino's issue to sort out, whatever it is. So we will get that uh, sorted as soon as we can. Yes, Got Tino another eco. Her router, to my knowledge, and awesome. hopefully that will reduce her 400 ping down to 200. So it's a tiny <laughs> bit more payable. Perfect. We love to see it. Looks like we might be having a, um eco come in next round from um, Rizzly Bear, sir. Sink, having a great game, but that's expected of him. 7-5 and five right now, leading the charge of his team. They've got a couple of ults which they can use. They did um, do a really good job with that Hunter's Fury last time, uh, getting them that initial pick and then winning more fights off of it. Uh, really impactful from Sink. But with the From the Shadows, I don't think you can really do that much, especially on an eco. Blade Storm could be big, though. Swag has a good round. And Tino has just reconnected, so we will be starting the game anytime soon. Yep, back down to 200 ping now, so she, hopefully we were able to have a bit more impact now that she's used to more used to her ping. Yeah, definitely. Looks like we're back in. Game is on pause, and we're ready to jump right back into the action. The economy is in such a gorgeous place right now for Scourge in the village. Almost every player, if they win this round, will be maxed out. We've got the lowest amount of credits, and somebody right now is 4,050. Great pick and combo of Mike and Swag there. Yeah, definitely. Very well played and giving them a man advantage to play with. And the pick will come through by Sank. Very well peek into two of them. Nice shot from Sefnix though. But the repeat from Sank, so disrespectful. A brilliant kill to get. Floaty, you know, one versus four now. Oh, Sank. That was disrespectful. Both will pick up one, they're in a 1v3, but like you said, hopefully they've learned from their mistakes. 
and they play together. But it's actually take the duel on Senk and win it. No the other players able to HP, so it's very doable. Mm, Nightfall will come out for Floaty actually. Faye is only there with a the stinger. He's got a 1v1 here, and she's so low. He could win this. Tino's grouped up with her though. With this ping disadvantage, it might actually be doable for Floaty to um, pick them both off as they might not be able to shoot at the same time. The setup from them is really good though. They're reading right where Floaty seconds. wants to go. One but the shot remaining. from Floaty is absolutely gorgeous. And the peak, absolutely stunning work from Floaty. Really well played. You can see how hard they're working to isolate their duels. And you can really see where Rizzy Bears crumbled in that moment. They did the same thing that they did on their other eco round with an advantage. Exactly. Keep pushing mid against the rifle is not the way to do it, especially when you've got the advantage. They just got hungry, and that's two rounds now that they've got advantage on the eco. They've done all the hard work to get that advantage, and they just throw it away again. Definitely. It feels like Scourge and the Village just can't lose right now. Converting that 2v5, and then Floaty just converting that 1v, I think it was a 3 or a 4. It's it absolutely a brilliant work. Odin's come out from Mary. Incredibly cringe. I love to see it. I would expect nothing less of her. Love space Found taken them. by B main and then instantly given up. Same with the op though. Nothing server is not what you usually see, but the blind from Mike is really good to push them back behind the smoke. Floaty though, ahead of it in mid. Kind of isolated right now actually. They get caught out, this could be bad. Sitting in, sitting in sub Rosa right now. If they get spotted out by this drone, Mary will come through with the Odin though, and the nade is absolutely brilliant to do that chip damage and push Sank off that angle. Allow Floaty to get out. Really great util and teamwork there. You do seem to have a read of the situation though. Swag might be able to catch up. Oh, they haven't. Um... Yeah, Kiro's dead, eh, man. Lurk is down. Position from Swaggle that was great wasn't needed. It's a good setup, you know, got planted. four for the retake. Person two. Mm. That kill from Mike is good, but peeking with the smoke out, Mary will take him out. Gets traded by Sank though, and it's just floating in a 1v3. Plus. But we've seen him win these. That FNS crosshair can work wonders, but unfortunately, we'll get outdone by Tino. It was really nice there for Rizzy Bears to get another round on the board after those five in a row for Scourge in the village. Hopefully this is what they need to get that momentum going. So they can get the momentum back now that they will be on for a while. Level yeah, definitely. Home, yes. I think momentum, especially in a tournament like this where the teams haven't practiced that much, uh, momentum can be such a big factor in um, the way that you play. Sometimes when you're down, it's hard to get up. So maybe this round win is just what they needed to uh, get the ball rolling. Into it. Especially opting for the double sentinel on defense. You want to try and get as much rounds on defense as possible. Right here. Uh, the Sage is probably not as useful as right attack here. anymore. Track them down. Uh, yeah. The K would be to shut down the... Killjoy, so that initiator pick would help ahead. them on attack. Mm. Look at that, observing. Woohoo! Recon will get broken instantly. And Swag will get picked off right at the start of A main. That's A main control right now. Flo's is going to be posted up there. And Floaty's going to join. Not going yes. to regress though. Stop behind the smoke. Flo's opting to take that gun part main. Really get to push sw uh, punish Swag for that big and. Uh, Cover going out. I think if anyone else other than Flows were to do it, flag, so I could have got that kill. Yeah, definitely. You can really see the um, skill of Flows, the uh, talent of the seed ones coming out here. A lot of mid control right now. A lot of mid control for the attackers. A lot of space taken, whereas um, there's hardly any space taken at all for Rizzy Bears. Just playing very passively and holding. Maybe a smart decision with the man advantage, but you might question why they don't choose to uh, push or pull a little bit more. Those will start walking up. We'll get caught out by Mike, though. Interesting to see if this will stop the hit or if they decide to keep going. That uh, Flozy is in. Strength in numbers. Absolutely trying to overwhelm Mike on the site here. And no one else is around. Mike has to come up huge. Zen could get to heaven just in time, though, but Floaty is already up on side. Get caught out by Mike, though. The shots are brilliant, but asleep at the wheel. Sethnik will trade. Now in a three versus three situation. Uh, Sethnik's absolutely crazy. Insane attempt to beat. As the defender, um, defender, like, will come in. But Sank, gorgeous shot from the. Oh, Sank! 
The shots from him are absolutely stunning. The leg on the off into the classic headshot. Right into the nose go headshot. Absolutely disgusting. 14 and 6 right now. Having an absolutely incredible game as expected of him. Really doing everything he can for his team right now. He's having so much impact. Just proving that he doesn't need to be on chamber to have impact and showing that he doesn't need to be able to use the op, he can use it on any agent, anytime, anywhere. Yeah, definitely. Really nice to actually see uh, no chambers in this comp with um, Rizzy Bears opting for that more traditional comp, the Knights comp, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, made famous by them and used so many times in professional play. And then a little bit more of a modern comp with the KO and the fade from uh, Scourge in the village, but still working out for them very well. Yes, for sure. Floaty absolutely having an incredible yeah. game as well. Really a player to highlight right now. 14 and 4. Coming up so big, especially in those clutches. Hitting every single shot right now, it seems. Both teams only have one person not being able to get a full buy out of this. So hopefully we'll see Mary and run. Faye get some impact with the guns that they do have. Yeah, definitely. Instant pick from Sank. Down at the bottom of mid, and so much space taken. He might actually catch um, Mary on the way out here, depending on how far he chooses to peek. They will pick off Lowe's. 2v5 right now. Twig decides to uh, walk into the lockdown. Questionable decision, but um, you know what? I respect it. Maybe like he knows something we don't, you know? Exactly. Sank called it another kill that off, showing how useful that one is. So unbelievably impactful. Ah, nice shot from Floaty, but Sefnix, 26 health and a dream. I'm not sure he can do very much. We'll pull out the uh, TP. Fair enough. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out for him. It's now five on the board as the momentum starts to swing in the favor of um, Risley Bears. Oh, early doors for that op, getting them into down early and punishing picks. Flow being caught up by Sam for the smoke, opting to push it after that also, unfortunately, was not able to capitalise through that. Yeah, you can see what Flo's was trying to do, bring the uh, numbers back even for her team, but unfortunately just uh, set them a little bit too far away from being able to win the round. You can really see the impact of Senk here, especially when he's got the uh, ELO stick in his hands. Hmm. Unbelievable gun. Really takes a lot of skill. Get out of my way. Way. So we've got a um, bit of a passive setup right now. Once again, not really a lot of space taken from the defenders, but it seems to be working out for them, so we're not complaining. Deep mid control right now for Swag. Got a nice angle on top mid. We're just watching a bit of a default. B-Main will be out taken by the attackers. Currently leaving Mary posted up, but everyone else opting to fall away. Mary opting to fall away with them. This position from Sen can be mid, but the timing from Flows is absolutely stunning. Takes him right out with a great shot to the head. I'm not sure if they're aware of Swag though, and if his timing is right, Flows is aware, but the timing was just off, and the cross replacement from Swag was beautiful. So that's a big kill from Swag, and a nice position from Mike to be able to get that, then no one else would be shot. Be shot. Oh, no commands popped right now from Mary as they are into the side. Swag could be here. Wanting to wanting to push. I know you want to. I know you want to peek. And Kiro, with an attempt to um, blade storm up draft, doesn't find anything. Tap right out of the sky by Swag. Two kills on the round right now and looking for more. Res will come through for Seng. It's Sethnik's great trade. 4v3 right now in favor of the attackers. Still got another Nightfall. Floaty has just been farming these up with the frags. And the whiff, the shots are not there. But then they are. Takes out both Tino and Senk, and now it's just Mike in a 1v3. Every single round there in the post plant, every mm. single duel just went in the way of Skillage in the village. And that's if you're Skillage in the village, you'll be really half. happy about getting six on the board with the comp that they do. Yeah, uh, definitely. Looking towards the defense now, you'll be able to hopefully hold them a bit more. So I think if they've got opted for the double sentinel, the KO pick should be viable. Them. Yeah, 100%. Got a bit of a mixed bag coming in here from um, Risley Bears. Got the op again out for Sank. Uh, Judge from Swag has a blade storm to um, fill the gap. And FaZe got a Spectre. Everyone else on a full buy. Sank, instant pick. Looking absolutely brilliant right now. Chalk Dub will come through as well, and the reposition will. Goes up outside of B main. The Nightfall comes out though, and they know where he is. So Out comes the Prowler. He'll pick up one more. 
Well, Faye takes out flows on the other side. Sefnix and Kiro both get a pick. It's currently a 2v2. Weapon advantage right now in the hands of uh, Scourge in the village. They should be able to upgrade weapon here before going for the retake. Yeah, so going going up. Up. Yep. The Vandal now. They should they should pick up, up the Vandal. Head towards A. Shadows. Still got stuff from the shadows right now from Zephnix. Deep smoke will come through to heaven. Wondering if they'll maybe opt to um, push up into there a little bit, take some extra space. Maybe reading that uh, the players aren't here. Paranoid about somebody around hell, which is fair enough. As both players will group up for a 2v2 post spawn. No flank coming in. And this double stack towards hell could be amazing if they just play the trades right. Faye and Tino right now, it's going to be difficult for Tino to drop down with her ping disadvantage here. Faye needs to win this fight, and she does! And Sefnix will trade, but the shots runs out of ammo, and Tino with a brilliant round, so impactful for her team right now. So that restart has come full into effect now, being able <laughs> to pick up that round and getting it at 6-6 for the end of the half. Absolutely. I think that's a round that Rizzy Bears needed, especially for their momentum and their mental. I think Tino can be really, really happy about winning that one. Yes, definitely. Doing a great job for a team right now. Seeing as the first frenzy of the match pulled up by Swag here for the attack, uh, I always think it's a very... Oh, never mind. Oh, the ghost. That's a shame. Oh, I'd love to see some frenzies. Yeah. The run and gun with frenzy is just too different. Like. Exactly. This high scum play this game has flawless. I know, right? It's, it's really, really a great, great game. Small indie company, by the way. Is it? Did they not make another game? I thought they made no, game. no, they're very, very small. Like, I don't know if you would even have heard of the company that made this this game because they're so, like, you know, small, you know? Oh, knife will come in. Great knife. Doesn't get broken. Scans two, I believe. Yep. Swag and so We'll get spotted out by that. They are walking into a bit of a stack and the flash from Mary is great. We'll pick up the kill on Swag as well. Brilliant job there. No trade Sink. on Sank here. Opting to let Swag go in by himself. Was an interesting. I think they're curious in the smoke right now. The timing is just off for Mary though, and Sank will pick up the kill. Flows is there to pick up the slack though, and can easily reflank Sank. On the other side though, so much going on around sides. Reflank from Flows could be big if Sank doesn't read it, but he standing. does, and the shot is just absolutely Last stunning. Sefnix in a 1v2. Make it a 1v1 against Tino. Uh, Tina has been winning her 1v1s after winning that last round. We'll stick the plant and get it down. Door has to be broken. Shields on both players, but the ghosts could be big here. This lane wall gives a really interesting angle for Tino right now. So not quite the wall I think Tino has realised has happened here. Yeah. Wrapped around the stairs. I'm not sure if Sefnix will have read this, but now he has. Close Learn the knife. Play Actually, play. oops, to stick the defuse to half. And the shots are absolutely Shameful stunning from Sethnix. He's been such an impactful player through his whole tournament and a great pistol to pick up for Scourge in the village as they gain the round advantage. 7 to 6. Looks like we're going to be having an eco, most likely coming in from uh, Ridley Bears. No stranger to the Force Buys, but they've decided to play this one a little bit safer. Sheriff is going to come out for Mike, and the Ghost is going to come out for Sank. No surprises there. We know they're both great aimers, and they can get something done. Four Ghost. Spectres on the other side of the spectrum, Coming with a Ghost on Mary. Sank once again putting his team on his back here, going on to double digits in 20 kills without anyone else from his team getting to 10 kills yet so hopefully <laughs> this half we'll be able to see one of the four others get to that mark oh wow if i was any of his teammates i wouldn't take that just saying um anyway yeah great great game from sync right now doing an absolutely great job position for mary right now could be big but only with the ghost oh, the running gun is just too much for swag to handle that 200 ping coming in handy. Peek from Sefnix is great. Now it's only Mike and Tino. One in a 2v5. Remaining. Make that a 1v5. Just Mike a. left now. 
the flawless will come through. Hardly any armor damage, actually, as well. Only Flows has to rebuy armor, if I um, seem correctly. Sefnix might choose to after taking a little bit of chip damage. So this is actually a really winnable bonus, especially with the um, money on Mary's side. It'll be interesting to see if she decides to opt for a rifle, or maybe if she saves and drops somebody Thanks. else a rifle or an operator next round. Looks like she has uh, dropped a rifle over to Flows and is picking up the, spec uh, the Spectre. We know that Flows is a great aimer, so this uh, round is incredibly winnable now uh, for Scourge in the village. Anytime Flows has got a rifle, it's always up for grabs. Absolutely. This is not going to be an easy round for um, Rizzy Best to win. Flash goes out towards mid. Disrespected though by Rizzy Bez. Bike will take space inside of the smoke. And Mike will take the peek on Mary and win the fight. Looks like they're opting to collapse on these players on B side now. Three coming in from Market. One coming in from B main with Senk late lurking on top mid. The blind though from CT is absolutely brilliant. Flo is trying to put this rifle into the game now. Find that pick. Able to get, one. get done. Able to get to two. Floating now all alone on the side against two players coming on. Unfortunately not. Mike may be able to win that fight. All down to Seth Nix and Swag. Yeah, unfortunate. A bit of a weapon just there. Mike low, but he'll get healed up by Tino. 2v, 2v4 now. Weapon disadvantage very much in the hands of Skidge in the village. But wouldn't be surprised they ought to get something done or hold the cross for exit. As the um, economy isn't in a very good place right now of Rizzly Bears. So any losses here could be bad. This late lurk from Senk though. The timing could be absolutely beautiful. Looks like he's actually just about missed the window. Kiro has run into the wall, and I'm not sure if he's um, done that on purpose. Wouldn't be surprised if we ended up... Uh, nope, he has... Oh, he's back? He's back, I think. His ping's nope. up. Nope, it's gone. His Last ping's moving. Oh, that we'll was unfortunate. A tech pause here. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if there was a... Um... There's a tech pause, but hopefully there's no issue there. It's going to do uh, good damage, though, um, done by Sefnix in the end of the round. Um, only two alive at the end of that bonus. So it's a little bit um, little bit difficult right now um, for Rizzly Bears to muster up a full buy. So, going to this now... Only able to get to one full buy. Hopefully, Faye will be able to drop to one person. But Mary also not getting a drop, it seems. That's why Stephanie's having the money to do so. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a bit of a fumble. Maybe a bit of a miscommunication on the skills in the village side. Might be with all of the um, hustle. Not going to have a tech pause. Kiro's game just froze, but we're back to normal now. So we're good to keep continuing. wonder if this um, decision to not have Mary on anything but a ghost and uh, while Stephanie has the money might impact the game. Flow site with a great kill onto Mike. That's a big player to have down. That's a massive player to have down. However, you always want your RGL dead first. Let's never concentrate on RGL anymore. Let's be able to read the game more better. Yeah, definitely. Might have some slightly better Impact reads now. Not out yet. Trade will come through for Swag, but peaks ahead of the uh, gun pullout. Floaty will trade, and Kiro on the other side of the map from top mid will take out Sank. 4v2 right now. Skid in the village. Tino though. Wins the fight against Mary with a ghost. Might question if Mary had an, uh, um, anything but a ghost that she might have been able to win that fight as Tino was only left on 15 health after that. Puts him in a bit of a um, more of a winnable situation now. This fight in mid could be massive between Seng. Uh, Faye, my bad. Uh, Faye uh, will take out Floaty. This is a 2v2. Left. Running B, but I'm yeah. sure they have to have read it. The From the Shadows has come out from Sethnix. Teleport into backside and go and see what he can. But Faye obviously peek through spawn. Position from Kiro, though. This Kiro fight could be everything. Player. And Faye wins it. Ten now seconds. Sefnix. Hopefully, be able to get the plant down now. Sefnix now. Ten seconds left. Alt, unfortunately, not able to pull off the win for them. Yeah, so we'll come in uncontested. Sefnix will Fight use down. the From the Shadows to get all the way onto B. Unfortunately, the death of Kiro meant that the other side of the map was completely open. Now it gives the players time to reposition to anywhere. He has to be paranoid about so many angles. Players could have pushed up to Heaven, they could have pushed up to um, Spawn, they could be in Tree, they could be in M Main, could be Gen, could be anywhere on site. Lombot will get destroyed though. Rizzy Bears know where he is. He'll TP on top of Gen. Very brave. Breaks both mollies, spots out Tino. Shoots the gun though and they know that he's not peeking. And he'll take it. Attacking Lord Down will come through. The full defuse here, probably. Yep, and 
He's actually sticking the defuse. Almost wins the fight against Faye, but the shots just aren't there. Unfortunately, don't connect. And Faye, with such an impactful round from her team, really doing a great job pulling them through, finding that pick in mid, opening up so much space on the map, and having some really important kills. Getting that kill on site and being able to destroy the mollies did bring out the ult from uh, Faye, though, which, if you're flows right now, you'll be very happy to be able to get rid of that kill drive without much impact on it. Yeah, definitely. The ult wasn't too impactful, so you can be happy about that. There's a little bit of a silver lining. Bit of a mixed bag now on the buy. Um, floaty on a marshal. Two marshals out, two pistols, and then a um, phantom and heavy shields for Sefnik. So you're looking at Sefnik to get something done here on the side of um, a Scourge in the village. I want him to have a bit of a hero play. Interesting to see if they'll play around these rifles. Flo's just got herself in a very tight position here. Might not be able to get out. They know exactly where she is. She's been spotted. People come through, but the shots won't. Mike will get the kill. Try I can Flo see that. Very able to get that kill into play. That's a massive mid. kill. Really nice so shots. That, second one. that flash, however, not going to be useful. <laughs> Unfortunately, the rifle by Sethnix will get dropped. Won't have a whole lot done. Really smart decision from Mike here to take space towards Cat, just to make sure that um, Skirge in the village cannot retrieve this rifle. Great shot from Kiro, though. Kiro, looking for another one. There are two marshals on the remaining players now. Smart decision by Tino, opting not to take the fight. We use the jet smoke to cross, gets the plant down. This position from Mike, I don't think it's Working been noted here. at all. Last player standing. And it hasn't. Great kill, but while well, being one body shot will get taken out. Kiro just have the blade storm. He could very much put this here and make this round winnable. Position from Swag, though. Could be really big. Chooses a great time to swing. On the shot of the Marshal. Really nice peek and a good cleanup. Yeah. Good kills from Swag, uh, from Kiro there to get them into the round. And unfortunately, he was just not able to put it off. Yeah, unfortunately, weapon disadvantage just meant that round wasn't enough. Not surprised to see a timeout coming through for Scourge in the village here after losing three rounds in a row. Now they're back on a full buy. I think it's a pretty sensible decision. 100%. Definitely. Uh, the economy of uh, Rizzly Bears is still in a pretty decent place. Even though that round wasn't clean, they only landed with two alive. Two players can still buy Sank and they can still muster up a full buy. Yes, if you're Rizzy Bears right now, you'll be very happy. A lot better start to the half than they had last time. Being able to get 3-0 on the buy round after not being able to get the three first buy rounds for the previous half. So now you're going into a lot more momentum, a lot more confidence, and hopefully be able to carry this through to a win. Yeah, definitely. I think it's... um. Really important. This timeout is impactful here. You don't really want to let Rizzy Bears run away with this. Um, we we'll put them on double digits if they were to win this. And the economy right now of um, don't want to like this. A little nice view. Okay. <laughs> um, I like it. Uh, if uh, this this round gets um, lost right now by. Um, Scourge in the village. This could be quite bad for their economy. Mary actually opting to go for a ghost again while having the uh, money to buy a rifle. Interesting decision. Mm. Not sure if she's maybe feeling a bit more comfortable with it where she's been getting kills, but it is still questionable. Can That's afford to buy a time. rifle alongside the ghost. That's the second time they've opted Mary not to have the rifle. I wonder if this is on purpose or not. Mm. Yes, Lowe's will get a kill from the hell will get traded though. And Kiro will die on the site. Deathnix has to come up big and unfortunately he won't. Caught on the reload and this fight One in mid could be remaining. everything. Mike by taking out Floaty has pretty much shut the round and now it's only Mary with a ghost. And unfortunately it wasn't enough. Double digits now for Rizzy Bears. The economy right now for Scourge in the village is not in a good place. So it'll be interesting to see if they opt for a force buy here. Interesting that Mary's decided to, uh, maybe she's changing her mind. Originally bought up the rifle, but has bought up another ghost and heavy shields. We'd love to know her thought, um, her thought process behind this, if it's a uh, purposeful decision, actually. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Interesting oh, that Mary's um, opted to not buy anyone a rifle to um, pad out this eco a little bit. Maybe saving for an operator next round or just trying to uh, make the team economy a little bit more healthy. Drone will come out for the attacker side, but will, uh, the blind will come out from the defenders, pushes them back. That's a very real team player there from Mary. <laughs> yeah, she's so humble, look at her. I wish my dream was I know, right? Thank will get two picks on site, but Mary, the fast flank coming through. All three players on the flank right now. And Mary will get another one. This ghost actually proving her coming in uh, very impactful. That will come down, but this uh, position from Swag could be big. This defender lockdown, though, pushes them right back into the corner. Mary peeks ahead of it. Could get caught out, though. And she will. No command is online, though, so reservoir potentially. Faye has to fall away. Interesting reposition. We'll get detained by Tree though, so currently a 2v2 on site. And the res will come through, but the guarding is just isn't there from Flows. Mary will get instantly taken out by Swag. It's just floaty in a 1v3. Time is low, not looking very favorable right now. We'll get the first pick up to uh, Faye though. The adjustment just isn't there onto Swag. Three on the round, really good round from him. You are correct about Swag's position being the one powerful there. Unable to clear him out, and so I played it very well on peeking only when he had to. Able to keep the round quite safe for them, not losing too many guns. Yeah, you see the impact now of um, uh, that buy from Mary, who's decided to buy up the operator for Kiro. Uh, was buying a ghost, but has now sold that. Maybe trying to keep her own economy healthy. Had someone else buy her a ghost. Even though Kiro can buy her a rifle. It is an interesting decision, but hopefully it works out for them. 11 on the board now for Rizzy Bears. As they get ever closer to taking Scourge in the Villager's map pick. If they take this map pick, it could be big. Sethnik's able to get away with his life there. Unfortunately, they do not have the Sage to heal. So he's going to have to continue this thing. They're going to just fast chase. You should run. I'm going to try and clear out close here. Close. Going to get one before being killed by Tino. Just get one. Kill Apparently a 4v4, mother. make that a 5v4. Res will come through for Tino. You can see the difference of having the Sage in his pop. But Kiro with the great pick. Peeking ahead of the... Um, another pick from Kiro. Peeking ahead of the lockdown. Peace again. Might be peeking on sight. The shots are almost there for Kiro. And he'll get the third as well. The last one will be, kept, uh, be picked up by Floaty. Really impactful round from Kiro. You might question the decision of Mary saving on that round to um, just buy the ghost. But clearly buying up that operator for Kiro has worked out. And now their economy is actually in a really healthy position. Yes. That hopefully yeah. should slow them down now. Get the momentum more back onto their side. And this, I think this is what they needed. Hopefully they can carry it through to get a few more to tie it up to 11-11. Definitely. At the moment we're having a bit of a mirror half actually from... Um, from last time, so all is not lost. Three ults though for the attacking team. This could help massively. Yeah, that's true. Nothing right now for the um, defenders. One orb away from um, from the shadows. Sefnix is, but not most like not the most impactful ultimate that we could have had. Bag will try and take the piece onto Tom mid. Unfortunately, the shots don't connect. Position given up by Sefnix. Takes out one, takes out two! Very good On the other side of the map, though. Sefnix, though. Yeah, great reposition from him. Just overlooked by Swag, got a bit ahead of his team. Turret will get broken. That's the information given over. Mary is down, though. Good discipline from Sefnix not to overpeak and to play a good off angle. The angle was great, but the discipline from Senk to check it is brilliant. Mm. Stay very low, but could get healed here. And the overpeak from Senk, I'm not sure if this will be anticipated, and it wasn't. A great shot on Takiro, but will eventually get traded by Floaty. So low, though, the difference between not having the Sage on the stomp. And Flo's in hell, the position is just not considered. Takes out one, but now we're in a one versus one. Reveal will come through. Both players are low as well. We'll mark up Faye. Prowler could be big. Might give up her position completely. In the hardest spot, I see her. This peak could be everything. And the shots aren't there for either team. Catch them. Tease will catch on to Faye. Only four bullets left though. And the shots from Floaty okay. are absolutely brilliant. Playing ring around the rose around the generator. A really important round. We've seen Floaty have so much impact for this team. And he's just doing it again and again. Mm. 
Sank bringing them back into this round with those three kills. Unfortunately, it was not good enough. Keep fighting. And Rest is overrated. That's the tenth round on the board. Forced skill to fit it. Where it's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, I do love you, Ollie. I know. <laughs> I am. A bit of a big spy coming in from Rizzy Bears right now. Rifles across the board, but light shields on swag. Interesting that uh, he's actually opted to not drop the rifle over to Tino and use his blade storm or go with heavy shields. Actually, looks like they might be making that decision now. Dropping the rifle over to Tino, who's bought up the heavy shields and bought up the blade storm. We usually have a pretty even buy on both sides. Hunter's Fury coming in from Sank right now. Doesn't find any value though, no tags. Reposition from Sefnix could be quite big here. Big and Mary, slowly. at close angle, is completely unexpected, falls back to play with her teammate. Flash comes out, but Mike is just better. Takes out both of the players, picks mm. them off beautifully. Now there's a man advantage for Rizzy Bez. Mike getting in front of that flash shows his... Yeah, the shots from Sefnix though. Absolutely stunning, and Floaty is there to help. Sefnix came up absolutely huge there, just hitting absolutely every single head. Kiro is here to catch Nino coming to sight, hopefully. Oh, oh. Kiro! It's not a shot it you want to be missing, but the second one will connect. It's always harder to, to hit them when they're not looking at you, you know? Looks like um, <laughs> the team aren't too happy about that one missing. And the oh. second time out will come in from Rizzly Bears here. Sensible uh, time to take it, I think, with the economy not in a brilliant place. Looks like they might decide how to buy, decide what to change up right now. Yes, they're able to t t uh, tie the game back up now. They're probably going to think to themselves what's gone wrong again and how to adjust it. Mike, I think, has come alive this half. And I think what we need to do now is just remember in his more recent rounds what's been working for him. And I think he'll know Mike and how good of an IGL he is. Definitely. And you can see the pings coming out now. So you can see that definitely those pings are definitely from Mike telling him what to do. Hmm. We, it's interesting seeing those pings on B as we haven't had a whole lot of um, full B pressure. It seems like we've had a lot of fights around mid, but most of them in the end of the later half uh, have gone in the way of um, the defenders right now. Here. Really interesting to see what Mike decides to call as well. Like you said, we know that he's one of uh, probably the best IGLs in this tournament. So it would be really nice to see him shine here. Sank, one of the really big players in the um, defender half, has had a bit of a quieter half. Only eight kills this half, I think, or something similar. Having a little bit of a harder time. There's not a player that you want to be quieting, quietening Snuff down. Still out. doing a great job, but compared to how he was in the previous half, you want him to be playing like that all the time. Early Pete will come through for Kiro. And he'll take one. The dash forward, though. Not being bit of an accident. <laughs> little bit of a fumble there. But the space is taken fast. And the TP is stuck from Mike and will still get the kill. Hero absolutely panic spamming. And Sank on the other side will also get a pick. Sight is completely overrun right now. Charles They're all on stuck one, on it, TP into main just to clear it if he wants to. So that one enemy one remaining. Absolutely beat. stunning shots from Sank. Going for the fourth, almost getting it. Mary, 1v3, make it a 1v2. One flash on her name. Off to jump over the wall and takes out Mike. Windies, you know. It's hyping versus hyping. They reposition to stairs quite quickly, but it's read by Tino. She knows exactly where she's coming oh, from, but she seems oh. unsure. The shots from Tino, though, absolutely stunning. Really big round. While Tino's not, um, she doesn't have the Match highest uh, number on the scoreboard right now. When she's in these clutch situations, she's winning a fair, a fair uh, bit I think of them. That's the fourth clutch she's won now. It's really bringing that impact in for her team. Yeah, she's doing a really nice job for her team right now. A great attempt from Mary, though, getting the first two. Got really close, and I'd still be happy with that if I was her. Still choosing to um, buy the Ghost, despite it being uh, the last round of the half. Uh, interesting that she's not decided to buy up a secondary Spectre or Stinger or something like that. Mm. Bit of a questionable decision, but we'll see if it pays off. Posey posted up in backside here. Definitely someone you want to have anchoring. Looks like there's a bit more of an A read as mid is left open. It's a default from the attackers right now. Slowly contacting up B main. As Sank will also take the space A main. Great smoke to deny though from the defenders right now. Mid is completely open. If I was the defenders, I'd start to get a bit panicked about that. I think they were panicking then. You can see this one coming in through after realizing that the A pressures 
was not backed up with anything, and they left me open. They sent. Mm. Hero will so come and um, pick up the slag, and Seth Nix is there for backup. Here. Looks like the players are posturing up to take you D right run. now. Only player in there is Floaty, though. This late look from Saint could be everything. It depends how long Kira watches the angle for. And he'll take one on tiles, but I don't think they anticipate him being so close, and they don't. The shots are great right now. And Seth Nix, the from the shadows, just comes in too late. He gets taken out, and now the defender lockdown comes in, though. B is open. Stores him for a second. Look at Sink. Sink tries to overextend, but will get taken out by Mary and her ghost. What a dynamic mm. duo. This mid space has been taken, though. No shots from Swag. Spike though is not the best position to be in. Spike will catch Mary on the cross. All down now to slow to bring her team back into this game. Yeah, having a bit of a quiet game, but if Last you want anyone to, to have a good Ten game, seconds left. it's gonna be her. If there's anyone you can Spike have in this clutch, planted. jump peak will come through from swag. We'll probably go back and jump peek through mid again. Smoke comes in to deny and the setup might yeah. just be too hard to break. This might be the end for Scourge in the village. Position from Mike, I don't think has been read by Flows. She'll take the first, but will get traded by Mike. Attackers and it's a win. great 13-11 score from Rizzly Bears on Scourge in the Villagers map pick. Really good from Mike on the second half. His eye gelling, as I predicted, was definitely winning this game. And uh, But we can't forget Senk going 33-20 and 20 there. With five first bloods on Sova. It just always kept them in this game. Definitely. Just looking absolutely amazing. Almost 400 ACS, having an absolutely brilliant game. Everybody was so impactful. I think um, almost every single person won um, a load of individual fights or maybe a clutch on the side of Rizzly Bears. Every single player stepping up. And the same on Scourge in the Village. Although it was a loss, it was a very close loss. Yes, it was a very close loss, but I think everyone, as you said, everyone in that game should be proud of their performance. Especially Tina, three clutches, maybe even four. I think. Yeah, definitely. What won them the game as well? I think that shouldn't be overlooked either. Awesome, I absolutely agree. We're going to hop to a quick break. We'll be back in about ten minutes for map two. Don't go anywhere.
The truth is so hard to find With all the things that's going on I lost track, I felt so strong I'm
Cause I'm drowning in something and I can't come out So show me loving, I need you loving Me myself in love It's like being a doctor or crushing heart I want you to know how bad it hurts If you can't be sad along my heart Welcome back, everybody, to the fourth edition of Bosa's Community Tournament. We're jumping straight into map two right now of Rizzy Bears versus Skillage in the Village. This is a winner's match, so whoever loses this either will go to map three or whoever loses this series will just go to the lower bracket. They are not out just yet, but you want to be staying in the upper bracket for as long as you can for that easy road to the grand finals. We're here on Breeze, which is the map pick of Rizzy Bears, who have just won the previous map. Skillage in the Village's map pick of Ascent, 13-11. Eleven went very down to the wire but I'd be very happy with how that map went if I was Rizzy Bears and I'd be a little bit frustrated if I was skilled in the village yes for sure after being able to get six on uh, on defense which was very good with the comp that they had um, unable to follow it up after tying the game at 11-11 um, is unfortunate however I don't think you can count them out just yet after the game that they had I think there's a lot of promise uh, going into this game and I think it could be a close game Definitely. Skillage in the Village were top seed of the second group, so they went absolutely flawless. Uh, won every single best of one that they played. Whereas Vizzy Bears are coming out to seed two, having one loss in the group stage to AMAB is free, who are currently in the Choose lower bracket. It'll be interesting to see if we get a rematch or if we get a brand new match. Agent select happening right now. Looks like we're going to be having Swag and most likely Kiro on the jet. Pretty understandable as that's what uh, most of them have been playing. Sank back on the chamber. Mike on the Sova, no surprise there. Flo's on the KO. I think that could be very interesting. Hmm. Flo's on KO, I think is a very good pick. I think she'll have a lot of opportunities to play more as a duelist as KO. And also the knowledge that you need to play a good KO, uh, she definitely has. So I think that's a great pick from her. Yeah, very um, similar comps here. Just one difference, which is flows on the KO, uh, opposed to Senk on the chamber. We know that Senk's chamber is amazing. We know that he's still good, not on chamber. While well, playing Sova last map, dropping 33 kills and getting 399 ACS. Absolutely amazing performance from him. Let's see if he can replicate it here. I reckon he will. Yeah, I have faith in him. He's got a floaty to go up against as his um, counterpart, Mike has. Um, be interesting to see kind of the Sova battle here. Mike, we know, one of the biggest brains in the tournament, an absolutely great player. I jailed his team to victory with some really nice calls on the last map. Whereas Floaty had such a good impact last game. One of the most impactful players on the team, winning clutch after clutch and just not missing any of his shots. Hopefully we'll be going starting soon, a bit of a longer loading in time, but that's not I think to worry about, we probably know why. Um, going into this, Mike on defence, I think after learning their, what went wrong last time, I think Breeze will, do, will suit their team a lot better, and I think they'll have a much better start this game than they did last game. 
Definitely. Breeze is definitely an app where a uh, uh, map, sorry, where aim can be quite a big factor as there's so many long sight lines. You want to be winning as many duels as you can. You might find this a little bit harder for Tino and Mary, not because they're bad aimers, they're both absolutely brilliant. It's just that their ping makes it a little bit more difficult for them to win fights. Whereas you've got characters like Senk. Senk has been having an absolute... Um, absolutely brilliant game so far just a great series so if he can continue with that um aim he can really take advantage of all of these long sight lines and win his duels yes putting them both onto cypher is definitely the right option here they can play a bit more closer and a lot more passive waiting for them to get closer so they can use their traps and smokes effectively meaning that the ping hopefully shouldn't be too much of a factor unless as you said they take those long duels but they will struggle I agree 100%. Five seconds left. We're about to get into the game. Currently Spike being carried by Sepnix, who has also been a very impactful player. Hopping onto the Viper this time. This angle from Swag could be good, but the peak is just absolutely brilliant. Floaty will take him out. Man advantage already in the favor of um, skills in the village. As the spike will go down. Same for pick off Flozo, making this do a ball, but we'll get caught putting the TP out. Gets picked off with a great shot from Sefnix. Can we go up? Not broken, but Sefnix in this default position getting so much done. Second kill on the round and bringing Tino down. And Kiro will pick up one as well. Shot from Faye is good, not good enough. Three more players to find, and unfortunately, she won't be able to. Yes, a very good run from both Kira and Sefnix there, holding the default and securing their round for them. Yeah, Sefnix doing a really good job from that default position. Sometimes a little bit harder to play with, where you can get dumped with a lot of utility. Swinging out, taking those fights and hitting all of his shots, did a really good job for his team there. Looks like um, we're going to have a very passive buy right now from Rizzy Bears. The Ghost brought up on Sank. I don't think anybody's complaining about that. No, not at all. I think he's going to be looking around, looks like they're going to go down before Hall's push. Hopefully, as you can see, Sink being the last one deeper at the back. We've got an interesting buy here from um, who's in the village right now. Swag actually. Swag and Mike both peeking uh, into the snake bite. Mike will eventually get traded, but the two kills there are absolutely massive. Think out Sefnix, that's a big player to have down. First will read the position of Tino though, but Faye will trade. Only a classic. Free guns, uh, by the way. The Bulldog will be retrieved, but she's so low. She can hold this cross, though. No Viper on the other side to stop the wall. One enemy the shots from Floaty are good, but I don't know if they anticipate Senk being this close already. Senk played this very well. Going slow, Spike going at his own pace. Should be able to hopefully catch up one. one enemy yeah, I'm actually not aware. Shots onto Floaty are brilliant. Going back to retrieve the rifle. Very smart decision here. The Bulldog is so much better at this range than Kiro's Spectre is, but he does have the uh, advantage of the shields. And Senk going all the way around to mid. Kiro is somewhat aware, though. He is worried. Tucking himself that's behind default, default can play the time to his side. And a nice dink. Will it be enough, though? Senk still 84 HP, and he's running fast. Kiro can play Ring Around the Rosie, though, with the Spike Plant in this position. And the run and gun is just too good. I'd be very worried, though, if I was scourge in the village. That was almost no investment. Just a ghost on Senk and classics and no armor from everyone else. And they managed to get so much damage done. Yes, yeah, so that was a very good call from Mike there to go down tube um, and to let Senk bait them. And S Mike and Swag being able to get one each is perfect situation for them and allowed Senk to go through with a lot of room and to get that kill uh, onto the server. It was very useful to them. Yeah, I agree with you. Really set Senk up very well for that late flank to get that kill and to get all of that damage done. That is a round you want to be walking away with, really. I think if you're Senk, that's going to be a little bit frustrating, but you're going to be so happy considering the investment that was put into it. Got a bit of a mixed bag coming out right now from Scourge in the Village. A Marshall, some upgraded pistols, and that Bulldog on Floaty that was carried over by Kiro. A good player to have it on, I think. Somebody that's had a great game last game. Those could get caught out in this position here, depending on when uh, the peak comes through. But Tino, the absolutely gorgeous shot. We'll take the head of those straight off. Sefnix, though, on the other side. Deep in mid. I don't think it was read by Swag, and this double peak could be everything here. Here still got the Bulldog, and they could very easily collapse on him. Sans the smoke right now. In a really difficult position, the dash won't get him out. But he gets a kill. Gets two, even. He's able to fall back there. I think that was a massive problem with Swag there. 
being able to get those two without going down is definitely nice and has probably secured them the round. That was really good. Despite being stuck there, he still managed to get those two picks. That was really big. Shot just about misses from Kiro. Just glides by the side of his head. I don't know if they're going to anticipate this from Swag, though. Kiro knows. He's aware of the space that's been taken. 30 seconds I'm not left. sure he expects Swag to be so close there. And Swag is playing this very well. He knows that he's low health. Just one body shot with the marshal. Time is getting lower and hardly any space has been taken now by the attackers. Tino could shut this round down right here. Obst to fall back, a smart decision with only 15 seconds left and nowhere near a site. Looks like they're going to try and work their way into A, but Swag could shut this down right left. here and I think he's going to. No nice shots, Mary so low, Spike can't do anything. A. Kira will get taken out by Faye. A very clean round from Risley Bears. Yes, very good. I think that's a perfect situation for them. Being able to only lose one gun, which is on the sink, which would be able to be brought back for him, is a perfect situation. Definitely, I think that's what you need right there. Economy is still good because that um, they invested hardly anything into that bonus round for Scourge in the village, so they can buy up and have a um, pretty healthy buy here. This goes here. That goes there. Revealing area. They right now push it up towards B. Sink, really nice early pick. Well, actually dropped the spike in the middle of the map on Stethnix. That's that Viper utility on attack down. I Make it really difficult to hit the site. Spike will be retrieved though, as the players will group up towards elbow. Sink though, reads it. Rotates all the way around. Picks up pools, make sure that there's no gaps in that setup. Very good discipline. And yeah. Faye could be big here. Faye is going to be caught out. They know she's on that side. And that's how we're going to come out. Able to get up on the other side of the brick so she won't get spotted out. Just knowing about dodge the dart, yep. Exactly, knowing that shot can come back sight, knowing you can tell them that there's two people on this side. I mean that they are looking towards going mid. And oh. Yeah, reposition towards Elba right now. Swag will take out Kiro. Stuck on the left side and very low. But, smoke will allow to reposition. Spam is good, tag slowly oh. down. And the shot from Mike is absolutely stunning to take him out. No, it's just Flows and Mary in a 2v5. Sink is low, left. but with the positions of the defenders being so long and the time being so low, I wouldn't be surprised if they opted for a safer. Last player standing. Mary's Spike taken down, down Spike is on the floor, and there's just no hope for Flows in this round now. Flawless. Had to fall back, but unfortunately, Mike, hungry for the kill. We push forwards and get a flawless first buy round. That early pick onto Sefnix, you can really see how it affected the team. You can see uh, with that Viper oh, utility, nice it was um, almost impossible for them to push a site with no Viper wall. Uh, the spike being dropped, so much yes, time bought having to have the players reposition all the way back in, down to the there. bottom of mid to pick up the spike. The really great opener. Get out of Couple my of way. stingers Getting brought up ahead. now. Late Storm for Kiro could get something done with this. Those on the sheriff for this peek from Senk is gorgeous. Spike Takes out two. Sethnix will trade though, and that is a rifle that can be recovered. We'll get picked up Welcome by him, and he's got the Viper ultimate and has opted to commit it. To the scan. That is a massive pick from Swag there. One enemy Absolutely remaining. brilliant scan, and Mike is there to pick up the Swag. Poor <laughs> Mary, stuck on the reload. Gets picked up by Mike. Very good that round. The thing had a full max sheet for wins up. Yeah, the timing on that Viper's pit from Zethnix was just unbelievably awful. Really unlucky there. That scan came in at the perfect time for Swag and Mike to peek and get a great kill onto him. Viper's pit instantly down, and that was them shot out of the round. This goes here. The Zipper is starting to look dominant as they take up a bit of a lead now. Yes, this should do. Looks like Sank's going to be playing with the Tour de Force this round. Pretty good buy on the other side of Scourge in the village. Seth Nick's on light shields, everyone else kitted out. Really nice cam from Tino here. See so much, and Sank will post up and I'm in. We'll get seen by the, um, the cam first. So Sank knows exactly where to position to. Notice that Flo's is peeking. He's ready to swing here. Now pick up the slack after the drone dies. Let's see, seeing the chamber on the site along with the cypher cam shows that 
that's going to be two towards A, and you can see them pass rotating towards B now. Yeah, a lot but of pressure being put on though, horse. So, if they do want to go anywhere anytime soon, they need to go pick that up, which I think you can see the side we're going doing now. Yeah, attackers decide to fall back. This angle and elbow could be by, could be quite big. Might be able to catch swag on this peak here. From Flows, who looks like they've opted to walk, go towards mid doors instead. Just unfortunately missed the timing on that. Defenders have to be worried about halls now. Kira charges. actually walked up there earlier, broke the trap, and then fell back. Gives them a little bit more to be worried about, but they seem to have the read that there's not really anyone there. Sank will post up for a little bit. Lots of mid space right now being taken by the attackers, but only left. 29 seconds left. They're really leaving this late in the day, and the swing from Swag could be everything. Doesn't even need it. They will take the kill, but this slow field from Sank shows them right down. The shots as well from Sank. That headhunter was absolutely brilliant. Flows will take two though. The time is so low. 12 seconds left now in this Hunter's Fury oh, from Mike. Takes Flows right left. out so low that she dies to one tag. And there's hardly any hope for Mary. Five seconds left. Spike not to hand. With the players in the position that they're at. I love the attempt. I love what she's trying to do. And she will pick up the kill. Oh Mike. <laughs> the second knife kill of the tournament. He's now got two on the board. Got the wombo combo. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> really good for their team's mental and their momentum. Four on the trot now. Money is not good on the other side. A really nice attempt from Mary, but unfortunately just not enough bullets in the gun. Really nice um, ult from Mike. I think uh, you have to worry if you're um, Scourge in the village here. A lot of these rounds you're getting um, very tight on time. While the space taking ahead. that they're doing is good, they seem to just be leaving everything a little bit too late in the day. And maybe if they had a little bit more time, Mary would have been able to reposition there. A bit of a fumble from them. Yes, for sure. Looking like they're going towards the B hit. The dark coming out early to clear anyone close. However, not being able to get Faye off this angle. And this so uh, drone. Interesting time to use it with the orb up and not being able to get any info through the main. Yeah, definitely. But let's take out with the ball. Dog will get instantly traded by Faye. Mike will also be there to help. Picks off Seth next. It's just Kira and Mary and Floaty left. Floaty having a bit of a quiet again. I in know a sense. Exactly Something to worry right. about. Neural Theft actually committed by Mary. Interesting on this kind of a round where they don't have the weapons. But Kiro. A great shot onto Senk with the Marshall. And Mary will recover the Vandal. This is very doable. This position from Mike though could be big. He could catch Kiro lacking. Kiro will pick up the ult though. Perfect. Nice shots from Mike. Ahead of yeah, the scope, picks up Kiro. Spike planted. Hunter's Fury online for Floaty. My question if they'd like to commit this, maybe decide to uh, push back a little bit towards main. If they can buy enough time, this can be big, but both players are isolated on site right now. Right Crouching to avoid that angle from Mike, but he's in a good position to pick up them both. Really nice shot onto Floaty. One <laughs> and remaining. dodging all of the bullets from Mary. Floaty left. Bounds to hand, but so low, and Mike's oh, going oh, for oh, another oh. one. <laughs> Almost made it, but the third on the round for Faye. Really great round from her. Getting all of the kills that she needs to and winning all of her fights. And Tina <laughs> with the T bag. Oh, no, that's disrespectful. Is I like would not have that if I were them. No. Time for a show match, anyone? Oh, I think we need another show match after oh, that. I think we need another show match after that. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> I can't Gotta imagine you were. Mike, they're going for the third knife. <laughs> Absolutely. If there was anyone to do it, it's going to be Mike, isn't it? Mm, I expect nothing less of him. That's my goat. Oh, this is a nice spot. Like you're going to be feeling a little bit disheartened right now if you're um, scourge in the village. That goes there. Only five rounds back to back for Rizzy Bears, and Zek will be taking this early peak. So I get you to back him up, but flows. The swing is just absolutely stunning. Sank to trade though, and he'll get the second. Floaty will eventually trade, and they're going for the res, but this position from Tino could be really good. Interesting they try and commit to it. Sefnix will get taken out, but Floaty again will trade, hitting some nice shots. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to res flows, unfortunately, leaving us in a 2v2. Viper's pit online for Faye. Drone comes through, so does the tag. Interesting that Floaty decides not to commit the Hunter's Fury, but... This late lurk from Mary was absolutely stunning. They know that he was on A, and Floaty is absolutely running for his life to B right now. He's moving his little legs as fast as he can. So they're booking it down the minimap. Mary will take up this position towards Nesta. I wonder if this will be read by Mike. If anyone's going to read it, it's going to be him. We know he's got our massive ring. 
planted. If she plays this late, though. Depending on when she decides to peek, this could change the round. But I'm not sure Mike will be diligent enough to clear it all the way. Unfortunately, he's not. Mary's heard the footsteps and she's closing in. But unfortunately, the timing is just off. Floaty though, great no swing. Mike is so bamboozled, no completely lost in the source. Doesn't know where to look. And Floaty will close in on him. I'd be very happy with that round if I was scourged in the village. Although I got close, they adapted to what their enemies did really well. That's the first gun round that they've won now, which is good to see. I hope they continue this momentum and Fu get some few more on the board. Yeah, hopefully enough to get the ball rolling. Just talked about Floaty having a quiet game. Had some really impactful kills just now. Three in the last round. Has gone up from three kills to seven in the past couple of rounds. Hopefully starting to heat up a little bit more, I think, if you're in Skillage in the village. That's definitely what you want. Knife will come through to clear close by Flows. Doesn't scan anything. So will the Flash. Out comes the drone. My ball will get committed. Interesting my ball, actually. The Seng will take out Kiro. Hunter's Fury now committed. Floaty takes out one. Too high, unfortunately. No one positioned up on bridge. That will come through as well, though. Instantly destroyed. Can't find any value. But Flo's peeking ahead of the Viper wall. Takes out one, and she's looking for more. The shock dart, though. Brilliant. 20 HP on Flo's, and the trade will come through with the off for Seng. Players are playing quite um, far up on site. Flo's can be easily isolated. But we'll take the kill. Doing remaining. great. And Floaty is there for backup. Mike Flo's in a 1v3. Me 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 too. Definitely. Mike, 82 health. But can find two 1v1s here. The double swing, though, absolutely perfect. Some really nice synergy there from um, Floaty and Flows. Really impactful kills from Flows. Enemy getting ahead of that Viper wall. I don't think it was expected. And even while on that low HP, taking out Sank. Just doing a really great job. Yes, Flows isolated one-on-ones in that situation, which when you're on low HP, you want to do. You don't want to be going into any double swings. And I think that double swing at the end that she did with her teammate was perfect. Yeah, it was, really it was a nice quick call. Both of them, you could see how in tune they were with each other. Come as soon as they were the ready, unknown. both swinging out at the exact same time to take out Mike, who was in quite a winnable position. Really well played from them. Looks like they're starting to get the momentum in their favor a little bit now. Floaty, another 3k, 10 on the board now. Sank posturing up towards mid, a lot of space taken. Opting to put the trademark in deep elbow. Won't scan anything. A very deep trademark, actually. That's going to gain so much information if not broken. But the hit is on the other side of the map. Hero is in. Defenders Hunter Fury coming out. Not doing a whole lot. Actually, yeah. Tell a lie. So much damage done. So many of the players low. Hero, basically 1 HP. A strong breeze could knock him over. And Spike takes out Sefnix. This round is so doable in sync. And Faye. Every single one of them getting a kill. Floaty though. Has to come up big. Mary, unfortunately, ghost this time. Was not enough. We know she loves her ghost, but it couldn't bring her through to this round. A really clean round there from um, Rizzly Bears. It was very well played, the way they utilized their ults, played off of each other. That Hunter's Fury was so impactful from Mike. Got so much damage onto the players, and those um, small damage dealing abilities, like FaZe Molly, were able to just clean them up. You see, six to four right now from Rizzly Bears. Looking pretty dominant. They've got the economy in their favor. They can afford to lose this next round. They still have a full buy. Looks like um, Scourge and the Verge have opted to have a bit of a mixed buy. Mary on the ghost, no one is surprised. Floaty brought up the Bulldog, maybe by Mary. Flows, Vandal and Full Armor looking at those two to get something done here. Kira will take up the Blade Storm, so it's not all, all in all a bad buy. Tefnix only on a classic though and no armor. Faye though, backside, dancing around the pillar. I wonder if she'll get red, but Flows, the shot is absolutely Freaking stunning. Shot. Swag though, takes out two. And that's spiked down as well. Swag unfortunately... Overheating is on a bit peaking lane after getting those two vital kills. After having bombed down, giving it back to him, it's not what he needed. Yeah. Mary and her ghost will take out one. No, it is just yeah, Mary and her ghost in a 1v2. Looks like she's trying to go for a rifle, might be able to recover it. And she will. Neural Theft though comes in. They know exactly where she is. 
The spike, unfortunately, is down. She does have a little bit of time to play with, though. Some mind games can be done here. And the players are split up. It's possible for her to find two 1v1s and make this doable. This deep position from Mike, though, is absolutely beautiful. You can tell he really knows what he's doing. And it makes her so difficult to clear as she has so many other angles to worry about. Tino might be able to take her out first. This all depends on timing here for when she spots Tino. The shot from Tino is absolutely stunning. Timing is just brilliant. Dancing her way around half wall to take out Last Mary. Seven on the board the now. Yes, that seventh round is vital for them. Securing the advantage going into the second half. A much better half for them than last game, which is great to see on their defense. Mike, as you said, very well aware of what this goes here. position that Mary could go into and opting to go into that angle. Oh, and that Tino... kind of is cringe. <laughs> it is, isn't it? That's a bit cringe, isn't it? Yes, this should do. Someone's been watching Valorant oh, TikToks. Nice really nice cam from Tito. Unfortunately, as cringe as it may be, has so much vision over A site and covers from mid doors. Flows all the way up mid. Actually, without her team, so it could be isolated here, but the positions aren't really good enough, too. Spike, though, with the op. So good. Tino's uh, cam has so much control over A main, they don't need to put anyone up to it. And Swag will take a second with the op. Looking really good here. That's next to space taking towards mid and the shot from Sethnix. Really nice adjustment. Sank though. Takes out one, created by Floaty. That's Spike just Floaty in a 1v2 as Faye will viper this Sethnix. He does have the Hunter's one... Fury to play with. True, and after the 1v4 last game, Paul will be enhancing the chances in this. I have the spike. And a drone comes through, but the shots unfortunately aren't there. Really nice shots by Faye, who's having a great game. Switching sides. Now switching sides, we see um, Ridley Bears pop onto their attack half. Eight to four up right now, looking pretty dominant. Yes. We do have to uh, keep in mind this is Ridley Bears' map pick, so you can't be surprised that they've got some stuff cooked up. I'm really interested actually to see what types of strategies Mike will call on this um, on this attack side. Important to highlight the other side as well. Um, we're seeing some really nice strats coming out from Scourge and the Verge. Obviously, it was enough to get them here. Yeah, it's like a lot of early B space B. taken right now. Exactly. They wanted to find those gunfights early. They fancy their chances there. Swag just going straight onto site, hunting that person back site. Yeah, Swag is already in. Up and over the back and we'll take out Sethnix. That frenzy run and gun is just too good. We finally got to see it, Ollie. We did absolutely love the planted. frenzy. Five. Even though opting for the classic, which is the best gun in the game, confirmed. And <laughs> of course, of course. So now nah, I'd argue the stinger actually. <laughs> nice shot from Floaty. But we saw two these positions. <gasps> they won't be able to mic their baiting sink a bit just to try and get that clear. Last out. player Yeah, a bit of a baiting barry. Bit cringe, but um, it will get the job done. Chalk will come through. And the shots weren't from flows. The double peak is just brilliant. Even if Mike didn't end up getting the kill, Tino most likely would have traded. A very good I pistol. Wipe the prints from your guns. It's just good I'd be a little bit worried it. there if I was um, on the Scourge on the Verge side. It looks like their lead is starting to uh, slip away a little bit. Hmm. This goes here. Looks like they might be opting for a buy, or potentially it just might be Mary and her ghost, but we wouldn't be surprised. What an iconic duo. Ollie, you're the Mary to my ghost. Oh, thank you. Oh. Nice <laughs> I know. So the other um, players on Scourge and the Verge will for a bit of a lighter buy. Looks like Mary might have bought up a sheriff. Eyes down. Unfortunately, Mary will get instantly taken out despite the investment in the heavy shields. Close will take out one. Spike instantly down. traded though. Hey, yeah. And the positions on site, the way they collapsed on floaty was absolutely stunning. Just Seth Nix and Kira left. Only a classic to each of their names. The space taken back side, I'm not sure if it's going to be red. But double peak, unfortunately, just a little bit disjointed. As Senk will take out both of them. All the rifles make it into the next round. Tino only, I think, had an upgraded pistol on that round. We'll buy a rifle and throw it over. Senk once again on top of the uh, what's it called? scoreboard for his team. And will Does anyone have fun? continue to show us why most people rate him 
so highly. Definitely. A really winnable round here for um, Rizzy Bears. They've actually got three rifles, Bulldog on Mike, heavy shields across the board. Senk will carry that Vandal over from last round, and Tina will buy up the Vandal for herself as well. Only a ghost for Mary, so actually all in all, it's pretty even. This is a really big round for Scourge in the village. And they wrapping back sight swaggers and oh my gosh, that run and gun is just too good. Kira and Floaty are here though, but they need to get these kills. Floaty will take one. Mary will get traded on the other side of the map though. And every single gunfight is just being won. Faye just diffing people with the spectre. We absolutely love to see it. Floaty stuck back sight. We'll take her one. But there's another kill coming through from Faye, who is just hitting every single shot and looking absolutely brilliant. Really good bonus from the attacking team. Swag getting that kill on to uh, Sephnix on site really gave them a good foot in the door to win this round. Win that round. Definitely. You can really see how it opened up the round. You can see the impact of that kill. Timeout coming in for Scourge in the village. Not surprised. You almost might question that it's a little bit late in the day for a timeout. What with only two rounds, one on the attack side, two full gun rounds even, and the others just being the pistol and the bonus. Hmm. Let's see. I think now as your the defensive team, you'll be worried now. And I think, as you can see, the force coming out is probably the last chance here. Because if they win in that 12, they won't have any money to push into against it. Yeah, definitely. Difficult decision to make here, wondering if you're going to go for the like to buy um, and let your opponents get to 12, because that's not a position you want to be in. You don't want to let your opponents get anywhere close to closing out the game. But if they buy up here and lose, they'll be in an even worse position for the next game. So I think it'll be really interesting to see what they decide to do with their money. Yes. Hero having a bit of a quieter game on the jet as well, not something that you really want to see. Especially on that attack half, I think you want your jet player to be somebody who's coming up really big. You you want them to be not only space creating, but they need to be able to get those entries, get those first bloods. And unfortunately, he hasn't been doing that in the way that Swag has been doing that. Yep. Looks like... Um, you want to play? Let's play. Yeah, Scourge in the village. Putting everything they have into this round. A lot of space taken by Mary. This could be favorable with the close range weapon. This jet this battle in horse could be big. And Mary, the run and gun, gets her one and a nice ding. But the battle in horse is lost. All of the space is taken. Spike's completely wrapped on backside. He's completely unlocked half of the map by killing Kiro. Really cementing the uh, jet diff here on this map. These positions are so difficult. What with the Vandal on Floaty and the Bulldog on Sephnix, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to save this round. Looks like they want to go for it, though. Opening up the I door. Have to situation, unfortunately. That kill on Sephnix one opens one up the round, but the remain. late lurk from Mike is stunning. All that's left is Floaty. 1v3. Make it a 1v2, but the shots from Swag. Absolutely gorgeous. Bonus best scream cosplay with that little one tap was really mm. nice. Match point. <laughs> a lot of chances now to close out this game, and I have a feeling that he will do. Looking at this buy for the defensive team, it's a full buy against a uh, force, a few bulldogs, and a marshal, it seems. Yeah, match point, so eight chances to close this out. And um, Scourge in the village has to do everything they can to try and get to OT, uh, OT if they want any hope of staying in this upper bracket. Four Bulldogs across the board, heavy shields apart from Kiro on a Vandal no armor, doing the marved buy. I kind of respect that. Here. Looks like the attackers are barreling up mid though. Floaty though. Spike down. Absolutely on it, we'll trade. And Mary gets this pick in middle with the Bulldog. That will land right on face, face, poor thing. One Mike takes out two, he makes it doable. On now into a 1v3, has to ace clutch to win this round. But he's Mike. We've seen crazy things from Mike before, he could do it again. But the shot from Flo is absolutely brilliant. Coming up for a team, but you just worry if it's a bit too little too late. I can hear Flo shouting now, 12 is all they get. And with that <laughs> 3k from her, it's definitely giving them a chance back into this game. But how big of a chance is yet to be seen? Definitely. We've seen some crazy comebacks in this game before, but this is going to be difficult. We need a little bit of that flow's magic to come through if we want anything to happen here. 
the economy right now for um, Rizzy Bears is still good. Even after this, they're probably going to get a buy if they lose the next couple of rounds because they won those four rounds on the trot. They've really cemented their economy in a good place. This uh, Rush B strat seems to be going well, but Sefnix will shut it down. Another Viper battle on site there. You guys will have to learn this over here from Mike as well. And the shots from Sefnix are really nice. Taking face head straight off and getting a little bit of chip damage on the spam here. This Leilog from Mike could be big. And he'll take one. Sink will take one with the off. Unfortunately, now it's just Sink. Flo's actually brought up the operator herself. You can tell that she's feeling it now. Bringing out the big guns. Aware of the position of Sink as he tries to walk up. Only 52 health, but with an operator, it doesn't make much difference. Flo, so give him a bit of an op diff. We'll take him out. There's now six on the board. Only six Activate chances left for Rizzy Bears. Maybe Scourge and the Verge are good under pressure. Maybe this is what they needed. 100%. I think they got the momentum now. Two rounds in a row. I think they're getting the, hopefully getting their confidence back. And you'll see a probably, if enough a few rounds go, a timeout from the attacking team. Just to try and definitely figure out what's going wrong and secure the round. Definitely. Economy is starting to look a bit healthier. Interesting that Mary's decided to play with the Bulldog and not upgrade to a different rifle. Maybe just feeling a little bit more comfortable on that. Sink will uh, not buy up. Interesting that Spag decides not to um, drop over the Vandal. Uh, Mike, instant pick onto Stefanix. Really great. And the shot from Flo's goes astray. Faye will get a brilliant kill. Mary has to do something here. She has to come up big and she won't. Swag will instantly get the kill. And now it's just Hero and Floaty. In a 2v5 to win the game. Might catch out Sank here with the shorty and a really nice flick from Floaty there. He's aware of Swag's I position. I know exactly where you are. And the swing is nice. good. So it's a crosshair placement. Kira will take one as well. 2v5 into a 2v2. This Viper's pick can make everything too difficult though. Neural Theft will give away both of their positions. They know neither of them are flanking. And Tino is here to watch the cross. Time is getting lower and lower though, and they have to crunch on these players now. The swing from Faye is absolutely beautiful, and Floaty in a one versus one. And the absolute shot from Tino was so stunning. Rizzy Bears take the game 13 6, and we'll be moving on in the upper bracket. A very good game from all of them. Absolutely brilliantly played. I would be really, really happy if that, if I was Rizzy Bears, winning very dominantly on this map, doing a really, really good job. Uh, Scourge and the Village will be moving down into the lower bracket. Um, and they will be playing. A map is free later on tonight. Uh, we might be getting in a couple of players for an interview right now. Yes, we're going to get a dual interview with a dual Mike interview. and Snake. If any of you guys have any questions, obviously there's a little bit of delay, but you can type them down in chat. And uh, if they come up in time, we will read them. And we are joined now by Mike and Sink. Guys, Hello, well if it isn't late. the men themselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, congratulations yes, on the win, guys. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Really well played. Uh, I want to ask, did you guys expect to win this Series 2-0, or did you expect yes. the other team to put up? Uh, of course you did. Why well, am I even <laughs> asking that question? I know you well enough. Uh, you guys were both such impactful players for your teams, especially Sank in that first map. How did it feel to drop 33 kills? You know, uh, Sank so, <laughs> yes, <Sank laughs> uh, story, small story on it. Uh, I uh, learned in school that you should always visualize what you're going to do. Mm. So before the game, I just closed my eyes and I was just like dreaming for a second. And I was just visualizing like, <laughs> like, dropping 30. No, no, it's, it's real life. I visualized myself dropping 30 and then I did it. Yeah, I visualized myself too old in this week. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, good to I was see. saying, you are absolutely amazing. Uh, Mike, as one of the best ideas in this tournament, I think we expected you to go really well. Uh, did you feel you had to go quite deep into the strat book, pull out a lot of things there, or do you have a lot more to no. show for the next games? Well, the sense, <laughs> good answer. We, play, we played the first <laughs> time, so like, I just like, I don't know, I just like defaulted, because why not? And it worked. But on the, I don't know, defense, like, uh, I blame uh, Tino at, like, 500 ping, like, first seven rounds, so that's mm. why we lost. Copium. Uh, so, yeah. When I attack, we just had, like, sank and friends, so, like, it's okay. I would just want to ask, what were the vibes, like, after you got two knife kills in those games? Were you screaming, let me knife, or were you... Uh, or were you just going knifed, I just, like, went for the knife. Cause nice. It was, like, why not? Well, we uh, appreciate I the knife third time, but then like unlucky. I oh, know, unlucky. <laughs> it was get the shot off that time. 
Uh, of well, well done. You were the first one to get the knife for the tournament. I expect that was. Uh, yeah, good job. So. So. <laughs> yeah, first knife. We'd love to see it. Uh, how do you guys feel uh, going into the uh, upper finals tomorrow playing against Pretty and Pink? What do you guys uh, think about heading into that match? We're going to win 2 0 again. Uh, feeling quite I good. love to see it. Confidence More no is absolutely amazing. More no <laughs> <laughs> I expect nothing less of you, Sank. Well, thank you guys so much for that interview. Both of you extremely well played. Give yourself a pat on the back. And uh, we will see you tomorrow for the upper finals. Yeah, see you. Awesome. Oh, thank you guys. Peace, peace. I think that was all it will be from us today. From, but I say us, it's me and Jenny. Uh, we will go over to a break. Thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoyed those two games and we have another best of three later in the evening. Yeah, me and Ollie uh, most likely won't be here casting tomorrow. So um, from from me and from us, because I'm speaking for you, Ollie, because well, I don't thank care. You. Um, thank you guys so much for being awesome and making this uh, experience absolutely amazing. And we hope you've enjoyed the uh, Jelly Come Pack. We're going to throw to a break now, but when we get back, uh, we'll be hopping straight into the uh, and see who's heading home. Don't go anywhere. Peace.
Broken glass while I'm thinking in my head. Mm. I mind my own, I don't even break a sweat. Oh, this matters, is insane. Why are you still living vain? I'm not the one, you're the victim of your own mistakes. It's sad to hear the lies under the street of lies. Cause a day without you in my life I don't know how to man And I was like, eh, 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 eh Oh, 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 oh You were like, eh, 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 eh No, oh, no, oh I was like, eh, 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 eh Oh, 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 oh You were like, eh, 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 eh No, oh, no, oh Come on, let's rewind till I smile That look upon your face my heart is empty and unguided I'm blind, leading chase I thought I had a plan 
drift against your skin Cause honestly Let's hold our breath This is so real Just you and me Let's escape, girl, tonight Careful with your pretty eyes And run with me, you're done Cause you and I and I are a secret Feel my drift against your skin Cause honestly, let's hold our breath This is so real, just you and me Escape girl tonight
Hello everyone. This is brutal. <laughs> it was a raw <laughs> start going in. All right, go on. You can you can intro it. Um, uh... no, thank you. Alrighty. So we have got the. I think this is the. This is the lo- the losers of the other games of today, which will then go into what losers finals tomorrow. Um, and it is blue team, Kira's team against uh, Sainer's team from earlier. After the massive upset of uh, them yeah, losing to Pretty in Pink. After that, I'm guessing they're going to ban Haven this time around. Yeah. <laughs> on Fracture. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they got absolutely whapped on Fracture. Yeah. Stephanie don't want to see that one. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be tough for Curious Team, especially. I was thinking this earlier because then you basically play one game, <laughs> lose your spot, and then you're going to turn another game like, right afterwards, which is painful. It is, but at least they get that hour break. Mm, it's very true, yeah. At least it's not instant. And it looks um, it's like we got a ban of breathe from through. Skillage and Ascent from Imlab is free. Mm, interesting, the Ascent ban. I thought so it would be alright at Ascent. Very it's surprising they didn't go for the Fracture and they're going to be the playing the Fracture again. There it is, yeah. Yeah. Just need to hope it's better this time around. I'm curious to see what Imlabs' free's first pick is. That's interesting, but the center. Very strange. They choose Split. Now, this is something I really wanted to see. I want to see them play Split. <laughs> yeah. Dying to see them play Split, fair enough. I, th- I-, I think Binder is going to be the next to go out. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they're gonna to want to play bind. Yeah, I mean, all three of these maps are new. Uh, if we actually get to a third map, I think it's just been two to so today, so it's not, even, it's not even happened yet. Yeah, um, but yeah, really interesting. I was thinking about earlier, this is both of the seed ones from a uh, group stage because both seed two is one today. So, this is like coming in today, this is like the two favorites, you know. Oh, yeah, they're, they're fighting were. and they're losers. <laughs> I mean, Very interesting. So. Maybe it's the pressure that got to them being everyone's favorite. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Really, yeah. Overconfidence, maybe. And uh, the fact the other two just absolutely popped off today. Uh, Haven Ban. I'm not Haven's surprised by Haven Ban, but it came from Skillage. Uh, 
So it's between Bind and Icebox. I'm hoping we see Icebox. Yeah, it looks like it is Icebox. Yeah, because the name was lit up. Ooh. Interesting, okay. New world. This this is going to be a good matchup. I'm hoping it goes to map 3. Yeah. Yeah, it would be nice to see map 3 today, definitely. Can't save the map 3s for the grand finals. We need them now. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Give us or give us like an overtime. Yeah, I want to see an overtime. We got really close yesterday. I think it was a thirteen ten and a thirteen eleven. So basically, couldn't be closer. But I'd love to see some OTs yeah, coming in earlier. The skillage in the village game versus um, what was that? It was really best. That yeah. one to a thirteen eleven on a cent. Yeah. 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 Got many close ones. Just can't hit the OT. That'll be very nice to see. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I think coming into this, I'm going to put the favour ability towards, or the favour of the match would be towards Kiro's team. Yeah, um, me too, I think. Yeah, just have to feel like the same team got boomed. Um, but yeah, we'll have to Kiro, see. Uh, Kiro's been popping off on that duelist as well. Yeah, maybe not in that, that final game. I think he was like <laughs> 4.13 or something. Um... Yeah, that, that, we don't talk about that one. <laughs> yeah, no that one that. was just unlucky. <laughs> Before that, he got rocked. Just... Yeah, he looked really good. Yeah, like on the center, but yeah, he was looking, looking, looking up, but... I want to see this Beckett versus Kuro do this matchup, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Is it Fracture first? Uh, yeah, I it's right. I think so. Yeah. So that's such what we cast it earlier, isn't it? Literally, back here, it was them yeah. one fracture, yeah, okay. I wonder if Sane is going to opt for that chamber again. He looked a lot better earlier when he was able yeah, to. Yeah, because he him. was, he was, what did he go for? He went for breach, didn't he, last time? Yeah. Uh, and he just didn't feel like he, he did as much as he could. So, yeah, maybe he'll just go for the chamber. I think it might be pretty, pretty big for him. Because he, he can really thrive when he's able to play aggressive. Yeah, exactly right. Like, I think, obviously, breach is an insane pick. Um, and then you need it right for frag tricks, it's just so good, but yeah, maybe, yeah, not, maybe not for Sena. I'd actually like to see someone like Fire Shrine or Vic to try and pick up the bridge, yeah, yeah, because it's definitely skilled enough, but I don't know if they actually go for it. And then, yeah, on the other side, I think I'm pretty sure we have seen Kira's team play frag before, four, but it was. Yesterday, so I'm not entirely sure what the uh, I what that comes from. I don't think I remember seeing that. It looks like yeah. we're going to go into agent select. I think. Oh, that's good. We are ready. Yeah, we'd love to see a new map because, like, yeah, the first two we've already seen. So it's like half the maps in the game we still haven't seen yet. Yeah, like uh, mm. bind we haven't seen. Nice box. <laughs> I don't think we've seen. No. Icebox is the one I really want to see. Bind on see Pearl, Oh, yeah, Pearl. Yeah, I'll be very that. interested. Flows is hovering the chamber. It's interesting. Oh, she's gone for it. She's, she's, she's going oh, for it. She's, she's, feeling, she's feeling it. Yeah. Can we fall back on the brim? Standard. Standard. He still he looked pretty good. I think it took him a little bit to warm up earlier, but he did look good. Yeah. Well. There you go, yeah. Five points same... on. Oh, Sena's back on breach. Same comp, I think, yeah. Maybe yeah, he's cooking something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's been cooking something up while we haven't been watching, you know. Getting on the rest They're of the book, trying to figure out. Double duelist on Kiro's side. At least oh, they're yeah. hovering, they They are, they've Ooh. locked in. Dude, they, they are. Oh my god, <laughs> this team they're is. They're feeling it. They are feeling it. Bro, they are just telling them, they're like, oh yeah, we're, we're actually better than you. <laughs> we are picking this. <laughs> I can't believe oh, this is straight up no. BM, or they're just feeling their own right now. It's a brutal team. <laughs> Holy shit. No strategy. <laughs> it just run it down. Choose your kill. agent. Mad. I don't know if this is Wait, some sort of anti to lock in. Of course Whoa. we oh, They're just going for it. I'm I'm interested now. This is this is some hype stuff. Maybe it's just to throw off some anti stress to the team that like you'd expect a more methodical comp in a game yeah. like this. You wouldn't be able to really 
use your anti stress if they're just running it down all the time. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I feel like Kiro's team is an anti strat on Saint's team. As we literally got to see Saint play earlier on this map, they had you know real easy, uh, easy access to the counter strats. So maybe this is what they've cooked up. Right here. I think of. There we go. Right here. Okay, dudes. Now we're gonna get into it. Seeing the team comps. Uh, actually, it's Kira's team starting on defense, so, so not really going to see the full power of their comp until later, unless they're going to push it and run it down every, uh, every round. Had a little bit of an internet issue. <laughs> oh, yeah, no worries, no worries. Looks yeah, we'll like see what they go for. I want to start with a beast, but... I think this is very good for them taking right arcade control. They didn't do that last map. Yeah, it's going to be really important for them oh, going into Oh, 1HP! Heroes are already this low. <laughs> and then both teams do not have a save or a sky that you want to kill them up, so this is oh, this epic, it's just really bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Heroes yeah. gone. Heroes gone. Look at that. I don't think they look easy. Already looking better than the first pack. Spike map. planted! The lack of uh, Sentinels here is really showing up, right? Because they can just walk on yeah. the site. If you just got like it's a gonna make and a brim, this it's... so hard. Oh, he's Floating he's so good with his classic oh. every game. And they just let him back, but he does not get Last player standing. One enemy two? remaining. Oh my god, this is so close to win this. It's possible. This is no so way in the turnarounds. Beckett had oh, oh, that was a nice jumpy. Nice, good movement. Just put a half it. Beckett got to finish this off. Oh, well good. played by Beckett there. That was so well played. Woo! Keeping it spicy on the first round. Blue's always went second mode, just not enough time. He, he genuinely could have won that with a little bit more time. She could have won that. Yeah. I wonder if anyone on Kiro's team is going to pull out a stinger. Oh yeah, that's true. More stingers. Is that better? Oh, they could just be opting for the full save this one. Yeah, that's likely. Oh, getting I'll just run out of them. They're going for it. And that one was a full fucking flash from Mary. <laughs> oh, 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 flash <laughs> Both teams got flashed by the fighter. And that is just a clean off in the game. Back it on his 8 HP though. I think she's gonna spam with a smoke there. Yeah. <laughs> um, unlucky for the defensive team not finding any points. Just dropping back in at 8 health and that's it. Let's just see if those can do anything with a 5 uh, headhunter bullets. Yeah. I reckon, I reckon you can get one or two. Teleport's ready. You definitely get one. I've seen Sainer do it early today, after a few tries. <laughs> Quite a few tries, yeah. Quite a few tries. Last <laughs> player standing. Here we go. All on flows. There he goes down. Pick. She's seen Sainer. That's a hard shot, though. <laughs> that is a really hard shot. <laughs> send the meter tab. Nope. Long. She gets picked up. No one. No one gets to say I got mine. <laughs> no, yeah, that's cool. no, that's the worst as well. Cause you run into the whole team. You hope to like even if you just get one, and three you get dropped. At least it means that someone else on your team could get like a gun. But uh, in that scenario, in this scenario, it's really hard. All you have is a headhunter, and no one speaking. Yeah. That situation. But here we go. We got the full buy coming in from the defensive teams. So hopefully, they get the first round on the board. Looks like Mary's staying with the goat. It. She did have <laughs> a really good time with the ghost earlier. Yeah. But, um. Oh, the new she's like the team bank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's a time and place for the ghost. This is mm. not the time and place. Sorry, please. Oh, that's what I expect. Oh, 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 that's what I expect. Oh, Beck is just like, no, man. You're not getting any of that. Yeah. He's nice just running guns up. Just the drive by. Oh, I can just show them what's up. 
They got blocked off here. This is they're pretty scared, even though nobody is on site. They're. Uh... I think they smoked off right now, so they don't have the info. Yeah. On if anyone's site or not, because they could have come in whenever. It's true. But I assume mm. once this smoke goes down, they're gonna run it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I just hope that they're not both stacking site, because it's only two players. Let's see if Sephnix can get one that way. Stunt will say the stop. 30 speed. seconds left. Sephnix can get the. Molly! Spike planted. I think a fire shrine is already setting up his mollies. Mm. And he's just gonna keep playing safe. I think he will catch Hero from behind. Or maybe he'll catch him both. Both are gonna be different. He's all fire. Fire's just holding, but now I can see And he is. Fortunate. But both have been tanked now. Which will make this a little bit easier for them uh, to allow. One oh, enemy shot. remaining. Back to Last once player again. standing. Here we see them, everyone. You were really low on health to stick it. Say the nonsense. That was really doable from Kiro. It looked like his crossbow was a centimeter away from the head. Very unlucky there. I mean, yeah. that's. It's the bonus one from the attacking team. I think this team has already got more rounds than they did last time they played this map. Which is always a plus. Free wins coming through every day. They love to see it. Trying to get the tag onto the door, you got one you got one shot there. <laughs> Looks like they want to default towards A right now. With fire just holding that smoke, making sure the brim doesn't push through. Yeah, I think Fru's gonna push Baloti off. He's still there just with the marshal down the side. And they almost catch him. He's so low. I think he's one shot. Where are they? Nobody on site is just gonna give it up. Three. Three? Boss back towards spawn on. I'm surprised nobody tried to hold Silo with the gun disadvantage. You know, you just try to cheese the oh, Spike planted! He gets him, dude. Oh, you can't do that, then there's no worries. This is very nice to push everyone yeah. from there. And they have the game on the front. Thank you, Bobby. That's not great. It's great use of use across the board here. Uh. Oh, that's a nice angle. That's, a that's that new angle, isn't it, from the. Patch changes. That pick from the really could bring them back into this round, to be honest. One enemy remaining. Say no, I am just. One, two, three, peak. Very cool. Another nice round from Sainer Team. They're looking a lot more organised this time. Really nice round. Yeah, it looks like they. Oh, never mind. I thought they were going to put four towards him. Then everyone turns around. Mm. It's like Kiro switching up to play Ava. Oh, that's true. Yeah, they've got flows over to B. Is it because she's got her. Oh, she does. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's a cool calm on. Fine. In a shot, though. Guns away, Spruce, we can get the chamber. <laughs> Looks like Kiro and Foti want to push and dish together to get him into the ult. Yeah. Good looking strats there. Both teams Launching smoke. Right back at five seconds. Jimmy Beacon down. Now, oh, Molly. Pod, so now they're going to be just running into Pike 3. Dude, Pike Planet. This is both through arcades. Yeah, I think they both went and dished together, so... Launching smoke! Them, I guess. But they're being yeah. held by two people right now. Both in Yeah, the double is out of Last player the standing. Single fire right Same thing, they're going crazy. Kiro gets the best. The duel is different. Oh, he's dashed. Leave Kiro for the boy out. In the fair fight, it's still Kiro. It's okay though, Kiro proved his point. He's the better duelist. <laughs> exactly. Because Doom is death, that's what he did. 
Right there. You're all going back. But he does get these nice around. But flows is forcing the operator on a decor. This could go huge or it could lock oh, very yeah. easily. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> if that operator goes down, there is oh, no they're trying to peek for him. They know they're not there. They're pushing B Sega oh, and they know they're all there. Down. All the info coming through. Ooh, how are they gonna play this? I think. Yeah, everyone's trying to go through arcade right now. All split it up. Float your solar angle. The rest of them, ooh, they're all looking for arcade. Maybe Seth needs to actually get one of Smoke's down! That's very true. They're all running on the side of the ult for this. Oh, he got one as well. Oh, all ults coming through here. But he doesn't manage to get one. Mary trying to trade that from the second Spike and Wolf is on one HP so it might Ooh, be Flo's a little easier. Hero gets work. fire with the daggers. Oh, two getting dropped instantly. 2v4 though. Well, oh, he doesn't check, he possible. doesn't check Wolf. <laughs> Wolf gets Sina. away with that kill for free. Sena gets the operator away from Flo's as well, which is huge. If Floaty doesn't win cold. this, Flo's has no money by anything. That's the old East trying to half it. This is gonna hurt. Oh. The worst part is Waffle is one HP at the end of that round. Oh. Oh. Even yeah. just a wall bang and he'd be gone. Right. Right here. Tiny, the Waffle's out of the door. Right here. Aim Labs is free are looking a lot better on Fracture than they did earlier now. Mm. 100%. Looks like Kiro wants to go for the op this time. I think he's waiting for the stun before he peeks. Yeah, yeah, but he says I think they do stun that every single round for the peek. There it is. Yep. Now he's just got a little bit too impatient before peeking. Yeah, that. should have held another angle. Now he's just holding him more. Mm. Kiro, nice, Ooh, nice shot. shot. You should run. Rightfully backed up the CT before anyone else gets him. Yep. Yeah. he's not gonna allow anything too much coming through. Wait for the back line though. That next knows exactly where Waffle is. I'm not sure it's money does much. Oh, it, didn't, uh, it didn't hit him, but he knew that. Oh, fire By yeah. pushing CT the running gun. I love it. Nicely done. Basically, nice and angle. Vicky gets a nice kill on the floor team. Seth thinks 30 health. And with the post plant as well, this is pretty impossible. He just needs to get the AWP and run. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, try to save the AWP. He doesn't know. Oh, it's that great positioning. That was really nice from Fire, to be honest. A yeah. great round from them. Especially that pick onto flows from CT. Yeah. And that last pick on the operator, meaning they don't get to recover that. They have their economy in shambles after losing that. Absolutely. Seven and you, you have one person who can only buy Phantom Lion armor, one who can full buy, and the rest. Kind of, if he buys from them. Offensive team looking a little bit lost right now, just can't deal with it. Can't find their ground, they don't know what to do. Yeah. And instead of trying to challenge this on their record, they just completely back off. And yeah. Let, they let him let his free have sight completely. I feel like defense needs to do, do something to switch it up a little bit, you know? I feel like drop, they drop the don't have that you know? aggressive factor to them right now. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we've seen what Sainer's team looks like when they get comfortable. Yeah. Like, they, they, they're, just, they're just running at them, right? It's making it look easy. And, and they're all staying together this time. They've just got the whole team on it. Nice get bit. one and Pop get out. Hands. Huge. Oh. oh, but the TP got destroyed. She had no way of getting out. Um, she tried to hold, but Rebecca gets tagged by that after she went for the C's ult, but nothing found. They all backed up just in time. 
Looks like Kiro's just gonna hold for anyone peeking. Oh, he's going oh, Kiro's just going in. Trying to make going some space for his team. Marshall. Oh, turn around to his teammate. Bit unlucky there. That's right for some of the Marshall. It's not saying that nice nice shot. shots. Traded out. Huge from 10 team here. They three. actually get on the side. It's just gone from a 5v4 to a 3v2. They got a lot of post spawn in the back though. Stefan's gotta get him down. Oh, it's not and it's turned back around from where it was before. Yeah. It's got a half. Ooh. Nice shot from Mary. Yeah. Uh, Rim and uh, Killjoy alive at the end there. Oof. It's a hard rethink instantly. Aim Lab is, re is cooking right now. Absolutely frying. As Beckett would say, he's owning these frogs. <laughs> Yeah, how's the scoreboard looking actually? Um, Sainer and Beckett at the top. Yeah, well, it's, a, it's a respectable scoreboard on both sides of the furnace. So, no. Looks like Mary's going for the push, but she backs up before she can get in. But she's not aware of Arcade. No. The Brim's jiggle peeking it. Okay, so they know. Sefflings has given them info. Mary flashes a smoke, which is a bit unfortunate. Looks like, looks like a bit of miscommunication there. Yeah. Ult gets Sefflings bots, and Mary still has a shot. Warful gets. <laughs> entry brim. Just yeah, an entry brim. Just walked brim. on. So completed that. was a bit unfortunate. It was great util usage to put them all off site and uh, get the plant down. 2v4 for this retake. Is a word, but... Floaty's aim is crispy. It is, it's really nice really watching is. it on the scent earlier. It's just yeah, it's crazy. Nice to watch. And they got the post plant set up once again and Sana. in our chat. <laughs> As you do. As you do. They have a really nice setup for this post plant here. Yeah, there's there just no chance. So yeah, little the level. They're just all swinging off each other. It's so That was nice. beautiful. Yeah, there's just nothing you can do as an attacker there. Or is that defensive team though? Could we be looking at the second 13 also? Ooh, I don't, I don't want to say, I don't want to curse it. But it's, it's looking strong, isn't it? It is. It's it's looking very strong. And this is a save from defense as well, so we're looking at probably the O10. Oof, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. We will. Three rounds to go, let's see if Aimlab is free. can get <laughs> all three of those. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You know, for the sake of how well they've played in the other games, I hope not, you know? <laughs> Me too, because Skillage have been looking insane, Ooh. but I'm not too sure what's happening Seth right now. Today. I don't know if it's like some solid IGLing or if they're just reading them. Because everything just seems in line. He should have the shot, he drops that ADS. He drops the skull. Maybe if he just know. held from further back. Yeah. I'm running on through our cage, should get a free sign, a free plant here. Beckett with the, uh, I want to call that a double satchel, but it didn't really go anywhere. <laughs> it's just style points on it. Oh, fire. Fire fan getting oh, shot in the back. <laughs> he sprayed for your alarm button, I respect that. Well, that's right on Floaty's head. Ooh. Rest in there peace, he's on. 30 HP now. <laughs> Beckett's just gonna wait for Sainer's contact, to be honest. Yeah, nothing you can do it. Oh my god. Mary still gets a kill on the fire. Nice. That ghost right. is All right. just gonna keep proving really good for Mary. Oh dear. Oh, they got one. Here comes the buy. This is a round defensive team. It's the final round they got with a right full buy if they lose this one. Have right here. Two quite defend one retake ult, one defensive ult. Yeah. It's true, strong, strong ults. Defensive team also won off all of their ults. So any kill comes through and we can look at it quite a few ulties. These really, really slow well. pushes from Imabis 3 are working so well for them. Yeah. Yeah, they're just using you so properly. Looks like Flo's is just gonna hold this angle and try to get out when she gets one pick. But I wonder where her 2P is, if it's in the line of sight for when they peek. 
It could be destroyed and she could get punished really hard. Yeah, slow walk to be made here. That's like Kiru's English, they, they have nothing to stop them from running on. You know, they have Kiru's, <laughs> Kiru's peak, and that's oh, he runs away in the last second as well. What is Kiru doing? Is he trying to fake it? No, Why he's, he he's just stomping around. You should run. No, oh, there it is. He could explode the problem here is the but Kiru's playing oh. out in the open, so he has no cover. Either. Yeah, I've just given it up. That's like seeing us on the band. Oh, like actually Mary got is, Mary's dead. <laughs> I mean, he was found Sable on the back, so they have arcade control now through that. Planted. They have the info that Brim is arcade, but they also know one was detained, so maybe they have going on it. both of them. What do you want like two the tower, though? Kira get drops pretty tough. Fire's, no way Fire's actually going to walk out of this, unless Stephanie gets him. Fire has the, uh, the secret, he's on. secret recipe. Oh, of course. Wait for the ulti. Wiffle's probably got a molly as well. Wiffle drops Sephnix, so Wiffle's still in main. Becky with a wraparound right and it works. Becky gets flows so 1v1 and oh. Becky wins. The four keys from Becky. Last round in the half. He Let is cooking. Becky's cooking something right now. He found the Krabby Patty formula Straight and he is up. cooking. Looks like it might unfortunately be a 12 0 half. Yeah, definitely. With a looking. really weak buy coming out on the defenders here. Yeah. But they do have the chamber ult. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Flo's, Flo's can do it. You know, we, should, she, we know she's got the aim for it. She's going to get stunned off this once again. <laughs> How many people are going to beat that angle? <laughs> it's like such a miscommunication. Oh, there it is. It's one. Oh. She's shooting for the wall. She just did not TP away. She liked him. Um, but the outside is, he's got a phantom though. He can do this. If he gets the space in right, that's one and the they bomb. They could be getting that first round. Oh, this here. could be it. This is looking likely. Well, we've got the bomb. Oh, he's in the corner though. And, yeah. He can't get out just yet. They're going to need to clear it for him. Maybe they don't know. A few shots land on the fire shrine. Oh, Kiro and Kiro peeks the, the door and gets them. Last oh, I think they're squished here. Yeah, we're going to strong all evicted. There yeah, it first is. First round. GG. It's 13 11. <laughs> Switching sides. That's it. There we go. That's all they needed. What they're running happens, it all the way back. Don't panic. <laughs> is bad for your aim. <laughs> At least they can keep it like hard on you. <laughs> exactly. This is this, the run back. Aren't in the I mean, right now. Their team, their team is for Russian. I think they got the double duelist. They better start popping off on attack. Holy! The double duelist plus chamber. They have to. They have to pop off on attack. Yep. This is, this is what it's all about. I better press tab and just see no eight sheriffs. No, okay. Here you go. We should be peeking. <laughs> Blows, I'm assuming, but headhunter bullet. So there's one sheriff. Alright, here we go. Can they get Looks the like an arcade push. This is really good from taking that arcade control. They didn't have that skin. Mm. And it looks like the attackers just want to full Bomb send it onto A. But this is the issue of going into kill Kira's choice. On. Kira's Kira's on. Get dropped. Killjoy user just makes it so hard for them. What was Kiro cooking? Rocks. Holy. They chose the wrong side to rush onto. <laughs> Bro thought he was a chef. Just Dude, Fire just the sat there. Through, through the Killjoy money. <laughs> Literally untradeable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 12 is all they get. <laughs> 12 is all they get. And they have to force up this round with money that's not the best for them either. Oh, it's going to be an arcade Stingers fight. could pull through. Oh, it's going to be an arcade fight because they push arcade every round. Ooh, this round, this, this game might just end instantly. One nade could have spelled the end oh, for them. Victor going in. It's a 2 for 2 trade. 
That's pretty good. They can get spikers out of it. Same with a great flash. Oh. Unfortunate. You couldn't follow up on that. But the rotates are gonna come through with the burn. Yeah, I'm not sure what their plan is now. They're just walking under. Looks like they might just be trying to kill some time and cause them to Teleport's rotate ready. back. Just cutting noise completely so they don't know if they're rotating or not. But I'm not sure about that call because Fire Shrine can hold A on his own. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I get it. You don't want to run into Killjoy again. Sabers oh, actually moved away. Oh, they fell. Move full. Nicely done. It looks like Sabers all the way in arcade. He has to run all the way back. Oh, they're pushing spawn. Nice, Molly. Really nice, Molly. This is huge. There is a swing. Last player standing. There was no chance of oh, double swing oh. there. Sena, oh, I can't find Sena's second. Good, isn't it? That could have been it. It's going to be tough now. There's also a Birdman, I believe. I mean, there's also a Breach. In... The Breach is Aftershock. Ooh, nice shot. Nice shot for those techniques. There we go. That's two. Only 11 more to go. <laughs> Absolutely it's bad. over for him that is free now. It's over. <laughs> that, they're in their groove. They're in their right groove. Here. That was that timing was so poor for Sadie's team. That he literally just it jumped was. out of heaven and they run on. And I think the, the Brim had his back to them as they ran it. Was, that timing that was crazy. I assume they were waiting for sound cues, which is why Flows went and stayed at under. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely worked out well, but here we go. Hero Keep almost gets ready, but he gets the, gets the injury pick and lets them get into the side. What's done? They're just pushing fire off. Getting them stuff like three people pushing the thing right now. Spike and they do get two picks here. This puts him that is free in the number advantage here. Yeah, that flank was absolutely huge. Flows of but one. It's been equalized. <laughs> Floating one as well. Becky will Becky sheriff shot. Gets the gun. Both defenders pretty low on health here. It's gonna be hard for the retake. Gonna need some spicy things. Great stun from Mary. If Vic decides to drop that land oh, oh, Vic gets him through. Oh, it's all of Floating now to keep him in the game. This one. Healing up. All of Vic to And he gets one. Ooh. That was huge from Floaty. They had to, he had to get that to keep him in there. Massive clutch. Still in it. <laughs> Still keeping it going, even after the flank as well. That was an eco from M Labs in freedom. Uh, M Labs is freedom. That wasn't. I didn't even realize. Yeah, of course. Here with the sheriff shot. <laughs> oh no. So this round could be. The end yes, of this map for Skillage. Alright, let's see how they do it. So, defense team pushing out arcades. The team running down main. No one on sides, they just got the killjoy set up again. Holding. Oh, and geez. Beckett gets insta traded. God. Looks like it's... they're all going oh. to hold this push here. Oh, they're not expecting and it. I don't think it's anyone's going to expect it. It's got a shot to floaty. And Vic Ops gets down. the kill. Sena's going to ult them. Sena's going to drop the ult. He oh, bounces them both this up. This could be the end. Sena, great ult. Drops them. The molly. 22 HP. Ooh. Only flows left in one flows. of these. Teleport's ready. The pressure is on. Two and a half health. And they found that they know exactly where she is now. Yeah. Good timing against fire though. Is she going to spend it? Oh, God. She can do this, they're both half. All they need to do is hold the cross and... Yeah, just can't get the cross gun. She's just going to be outside here. Nice shots. Just got to expect it. And Huge. she wins it. Did you see their Massive faces? from Flo's they're four still piece. In this. They're going to keep cooking. <laughs> Absolutely. They're about to walk out of that kitchen door. It's like, nope. 
Stay in the kitchen. <laughs> We're still cooking. <laughs> Keeping them locked in. Woo! The grey rounds were flows there. It was insane. She really isolated those 1v1s really well. Team getting put to another save. So might look at another round here. They do have one stinger. I wish it was. Oh, instant dink though. That stinger can really save round. It's a lot of fighting on A main. Looks like Sena used all his util on uh, one person. Wish we found a pick somewhere. Oh, the, of course, yeah, the arcane push. I do stuff. really like how they're fighting for the arcade control this time around. It is yeah. really useful. Yeah, definitely. Wolfel, one hit. Oh, Wolfel gonna get another one. He wants to keep peeking it. Oh, Kiro dropped it. It's That's uh, humbled right there. <laughs> it was, he was confident, just a little bit too confident. Yeah, exactly. But it is an eco, that so works. they can, they should just try whatever they can. Yeah, just fishing in the. Trap destroyed. They are. She pops the ultimate. Yeah, it does go for the OE. Against the eco, I'm not too sure about it. Yeah, I guess if she just knows she can just clear it out, then fair news. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> Is she really gonna try and hold that? Oh my god, the gun sticking out! <laughs> oh my nice shot. Shot. Dinks through the wall! He still oh. dinks her. Oh, what a shot. Oh, flows. Dangerous game, you're five, playing fire. Five, 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 five could finish it. This is possible with fire. Beats out Kiru! Fire. <laughs> Does is... it actually cleans him out? Oh my god. That was what an eco What an the first map. What a game. Woo! Huge from fire and Sina there. Clearing them out on that beat stage. Fire comes wow. big when they need him the most. Thank you. What That's a nice finish of that map. That was insane. We need to get fire in here. He's the cult. No, I think a Beckett interview is more um, more needed. He was cooking that map. Yeah, go for it. That's for one of them to get in here. Huge finish to that game. Very nice. I mean, Senior's team looking strong once again. Senior's coming too. Yo. Yo, what's up? Yo, yo. Uh, How are you guys feeling after that? I, um, I mean, it feels good, but uh, we should have gone 30 now, but I overheat. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we threw a few rounds. Yeah. I mean, better than, better than the fracture earlier, which is really good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we... <laughs> we switched it up a bit. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, no, it, it like it genuinely shows you guys played really mm. well there. Yeah, there's a lot more cool than You still looked very clean. I mean, it's our comps as well, uh, or like what's one called? Much better now. Nice. It's, uh, how it was before. It looks like you guys were more focused on fighting for that arcade control this time around. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We checked our first game and we saw what went wrong, and then we played around that. So, yeah, we just improved. It really does show. Well, we really you two were cooking. Yeah, 100%. Uh, me and Beckett, we were cooking it up. Uh, <laughs> to the Swedish comms dynamic duo. But yeah, it's not over yet. We still it's have to not. focus up. One, Even when one it was 12-1, 12, 12 we were still... Or 11-1, whatever. We said focus up, guys, it's not over. Because, yeah. We have to me, do the personally? Job, but, yeah. I think you guys should throw this next map so we can go map three, but that's just me. Mm. No, it's on no, ten, no, no. yeah. We are full <laughs> focused. Now I'm on getting the win. <laughs> we got humiliated earlier, and we're here to prove that we're not as bad as we were in that game. Yeah, so, that was just unlucky. Don't worry. About what what he said basically. Also, I have to charge my mouse. One second. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You got ten minutes. All right. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. Good luck in your next game, guys. Really well played. Good luck. Have yeah, a good thank break. Thank you very much for having us. Yeah, of course. See you guys. See ya. See ya. I'm also going to grab some mod. Yeah, I think we'll have a... What's it? About a 20-minute break between games. Yeah. Uh, and then we come back at 8.
GMT. Oh, eight fifty. Oh, okay, okay. So eight minute, eight minute break. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys then.
Of just begun, we will always take a stand for the people, for the land. Let's go back to when we were young, for the animals we stand. Let's go back to when trees were swung, kids across the Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a road. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah. Pair of jeans, a shirt or two. We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back. It doesn't matter if it's true. I've got a feeling love will give us what we lack. The world is waiting up. The world is waiting half a step beyond our door. Yeah. And if it's not enough. I want to see the stuff the world has got in store oh, I want to take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night, want to catch up my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights feels a year away like the seconds the beginning and the end uh -huh. but if in time it's yesterday your picture's gonna bring it home to me again the world is waiting up the world is waiting half a step beyond our door oh. and if it's not enough I want to see the stuff the world has got in store. 
wanna take it all in. I'm falling. The cityscape by night. Wanna catch up my photos. Where you go? Every corner twice as bright. There'll be my treasures forever. When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights. The Stockholm lights. The Stockholm lights. Hello everybody and welcome back to the fourth edition of BOSA's Community Tournament. Today we are here watching map two of the third series of the day. This is currently one of the lower bracket, um, one of the lower bracket matches. We're watching uh, Skillage in the Village, currently playing Aim Lab is free. The losing team today goes home. Waiting on the wonderful Dapper, my lovely duo for tonight. Hello. Hello, Taffa. Lovely to Hello. see you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> We're hopping straight into Angel Select now. We're currently playing on Split, which is AimLab is Free's pick. If anyone's just getting here, AimLab is Free has just absolutely decimated Skillage in the village on their own map pick. Sounds like um, best of three from earlier. Yeah, we are in a best of three. So currently Skillage and the Village are fighting for their tournament lives right now. I see Kara hovering the raider. I know he wants to. We're most likely going to have Beckett on the raise. No surprise there. First round on the kill. Drew and Victor on the Sage. No surprises there as well. First we'll be picking up the Sage on the other side. We've got two Astros, which I think is always really good fun. Especially after seeing the uh, woeful brimstone the other day. Uh the white sea brimstone, I mean. My bad. I'm on the Zaza. I'm actually on the Zaza. <laughs> What? What? What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> Hero will eventually pick up the fade. Bit boring in my like... opinion, but you know, it is what it is. Looks like they're swapping Kiro. Do this for the map. 
Yeah, interesting that they've decided to put Sefnix on it, but I know that Sefnix has been doing a little bit of practice on his raise, so not surprised that he's um, picking up the raise here. Excited to see this. I know Kiro plays Fade quite a lot, so... Yeah, this not a bad This is more switch. comfort for him. Yeah, definitely. You might consider that Kiro might be more comfortable. Sefnix has done his practice on raise, so he's comfortable. Kiro is definitely a Fade player, so hopefully both of them feel a little bit more comfortable in this roles, and they're prepared to reverse sweep Aim Lab is free for their tournament lives. Winner of this on... Chamber pick, though. Mm. Yeah, chamber pick is interesting. Having a floaty on it as well instead of flows. Might be a questionable decision seeing as flows is their seed one. Peak Radiant, very good player. But uh, floaty has just been hitting shots left and right today, so I'm not too surprised yeah. at the pick. I wonder if yeah. it will impact them badly having no true sentinel there. While on the other side, we've got Fire Shrine on the Killjoy who has proper utility to delay. It could do, but I assume they're just going to be playing more aggressive on the defense. Yeah, definitely. I think they're definitely them. smart enough to um, strategize around the chamber pick. Like, obviously, if you're picking him, you're picking him for a reason, right? And they're, sure. um, they've definitely got some um, some stuff cooking. And we are away. Looks like we've got the insta wall mid. Yeah, Classic we'll ranked quickly. game strategy. Actually, it won't get broken. We'll just get shot at. Lots of information. Heard a couple of guns shooting. Beckett with the Boombot intervents Caesar Sefnik is in there, but they already knew that. Yeah, choosing to fall away into sewers a little bit. We're all posted up on I'm in, but we'll get taken out by Floaty, who's very aware. Sefnik will pick up the slack. Boombot to reclear. Nice decision. But on the other side of the map, I'm out of three. Look at them, they're absolutely barreling into B Heaven. They're just That's taking just it for though. free. Flo's trying Flight to catch time. Big. The wall Vic breaking and Victy being around the side of it. Yeah, great kill from him. Smoke timing is really unfortunate for Kiro there. They've just turned that around and they've already got the numbers too. Mm. Interesting fight going on here in Venture Mary. But Victor will get some nice right clicks off. Victor alive, but still alive. Barely standing though. And he gets out, which is great for them. Yeah, really good for them. Choosing to group up here, sensible decision, but Sena on this late flank I think is going to shut this all down. Creeping sure. up behind they, them like a knife in the back. One enemy remaining. Uh, three on the round. Beautiful reflexes. Nice to see them with uh, playing with so much discipline to really secure the round. Yeah, that was something they had on Fracture as well. They were a lot more disciplined than they were earlier today. Yeah, definitely. It's nice. I think um, as the tournament goes on, you can see these teams tighten up, fixing their little mistakes. It's really nice to see. For sure, like they. They know what they're doing wrong and they know how to fix these, even the smallest of things. Yeah, you can see the work that the teams are putting into this tournament, which is really nice. We've got one defender right star there. mid, invested into quite a few stars actually. But. So, we decided to play a more passive angle with the headhunter instead of getting aggressive with it too. Yeah, definitely. Stefanix is up close already. We do something with this position, but the flash is absolutely brilliant. Sane are completely aware of it. I forgot to switch up server views. Sane are creeping up there right now. There he is, sleep at the wheel a little bit. Sane will continue to barrel up on through mid, leading the charge for his team. But do this fight in mid will be big. Vic's playing the same position as before. They don't know what that guy they know now. Unfortunately, the right clicks today are not in Kira's favor. And it's Floaty in a 1v5. Spike planted. He has got four bullets, so... It is doable. Oh. Four heads. That close angle from Vic, though. Difficult to clear. Spectre really good in that close range. Well played round. Waffle does a little bit of team trolling when that sucks. <laughs> I wouldn't want him any other way. We've got uh, Spectres on Heavy Shields across the board. Economy in a really healthy place for um, Aim Lab is free, actually. Making this a pretty winnable bonus. They didn't really take much damage at all, so not many players have to rebuy their armor. I don't think any of them are choosing to rebuy at all, actually. Just little parts of utility yeah. missing on the belt that they're going to buy up. Mary on the Ghost. We're not surprised. Those opting to buy the Judge. Classic Mary. Classic Mary. That's my goat right Out there. Of charges. <laughs> She's so humble that she only uses a ghost. Like, what a kind, Burn. what a kind player. She's so sweet. Let's like, see. She knows she has to give him a chance somehow. Oh, How does Sefnix get Sefnick away from? Absolutely stunning. Yeah. How does he get away, away with two? Not any bullets, but still living. 
Actually, Senna takes out some death with his nade. Woeful goes down. Really great start by him. He might question the overextension there, but he just takes out the double peak instantly. It was insane. How did he get away with getting two there as well? Yeah, it looks like light work and woeful with the ellipsis in the chat. Clearly not very happy about being taken out by the grenade. Might have got body blocked by a teammate, maybe. Uh, Let's be honest, who is happy about getting you. killed by the grenade? <laughs> oh, it's got to be one of the most tilting ways to die. You love rays until you die to a grenade. <laughs> That's too real. Kiro posted up right now, just jiggling, watching for the cross, playing quite passively. He sees us, Sena was there. Yeah, but out, Sena, utility will come through. Well, this is round three, and Sena already has his ultimate. Yeah, 6 and 0 right now. Just absolutely farming. Mary playing this really passive angle. Left. Still holding on to quite a lot of space. I think this is really good from the defenders. I think they should expect Mary here. But Mary gets. <laughs> she gets hers. She got hers. She did get hers. Oh no, Ghost. Pretty impressive. Only 15 seconds left. I was going to say this might look like a save, but with the spike, I'm not surprised that Beckett is running to be as fast as he can. Left. Kiro might be able to stop him in his tracks, though, and he does. No shots from Kiro, and the bonus will be secured by Skillage in the village. Two to one. This fight isn't over until we are dead. wasn't very clean, though, so I would be a little bit worried about that. Yeah, they did lose a few weapons, meaning some people need a rebuy, but... It's not, not too bad if um, Mary keeps playing a ghost. <laughs> Mary she keeps playing a ghost. She can just, <laughs> can just keep being the team's down. It actually makes their economy pretty even. Thankfully, Seth Nix did um, a lot of the heavy lifting at the start of the round. Really Stay well focused. played. Looks like we might be seeing a little bit of a seasonade combo here. But in that is free, I'm pretty mission. aware of it. Depends how deep they do this, might I'll be able to catch five for now. It depends Looks on the like, timing of this this utility for right now. Looks like Sena wants to punish these aim main yeah, Which he, he does. They, yeah. They do. I see well played. Vic and Sena both win their individual duels, leaving them at a 5v3. It's just Mary, unfortunately, at the moment to hold down, um, just push it at a star, but she can hear some of the footsteps now. She's ready, but, but she all she doesn't has doesn't expect is someone so close. Yeah. We're full already some space taken and held on to very nicely. Just Floaty now and Flo's. Flo's is already on B. Looks like she might be considering the save here as Floaty starts to fall back as well. I wouldn't be surprised if he was thinking the same. She does grab the Phantom. It does yeah. look like she's... I think she might be going yeah, over to Yeah, Break the retrieves the rifle. They may be just trying to go for some exit kills. Yeah, definitely. Reposition towards Heaven. Group done, no surprise. If this smoke goes up here, they might just want to have, like, save this. I don't think they should keep Teleport's going. Ready. Yeah, there's a nice smoke from Wolf might have sealed the deal. Gonna get spotted out by the turret and the util pushing them back is just so good. The time is getting lower and lower. Looks like they are going to push up for those exits. With the positions they're in, they remaining. might be able to get some, but nice shot from Beckett. Unfortunately, that was a nice shot. <laughs> Very uncharacteristic for Beckett, actually. He must have toggled Oof. hacks or something. Like I think we should run a PC check because he actually hits a headshot and that doesn't happen very often. Um, pause game. Uh... <laughs> Has to pause game. There's hacker in my game. Yeah, can we get uh, a tech pause, anyone? No, but um, see Becky on Rage, you know, it's quite refreshing because uh, see when he plays Brimstone, he misses his smokes. When he plays Fake, he misses <laughs> his reveals. So you know, Rage, he doesn't really like um, have the opportunity because he doesn't have smokes or reveals. Right he can't there. miss them, you know. Like it's a smart decision right from Sainer, I think, to keep him off those agents because otherwise uh, we'd be seeing a bit of questionable utility, I'm sure. Sainer pushed it up to um, give a stun. Looks like Beckett might be considering a double satchel, and he will be satcheling in. But we'll get taken out by Floaty. He does yeah, no satchel in, Beckett, really but got. it didn't do anything. Yeah, he got a um, lot of value out of that one. Nice shots from Floaty. And Flo's this close angle with a Bucky could be really big if they're pushing Do they expect her. this? The flash is great though, and she can't turn it in time. I honestly think if she just didn't turn at all, I think she... The flash I think lasts... She, yeah, she oh. just left clicks. Has to trust in herself. Sefnix gets a headshot, but he cannot follow up. Yeah, Let's see if they expect um, Mary to be here. They do? They do! But Mary really does get big. It's been absolutely spot on with breach utility. Standing. And Flozy will get classic diff. That is unfortunate. Kira now got a Spectre and two Prowlers to work with. We'll have his reveal up as well. So this is doable, but I think it's going to be difficult. Breach ultimate online for Sena. Interesting that they're um, giving him the plant, actually, considering that Fire Shrine and Vofal are 
you know, a little bit close to their ultimates. Maybe a little bit of a fumble. Hopefully that won't hurt them late game. I'm Wiffle just doesn't really seem aware of this flank. I Kira think Kira does catch yeah, timing there. In no position now, though, and I wouldn't be surprised if Sana pushed up this breach help. That or maybe they prepare for some kind of a double swing. Yeah, Kira starts to move forward, but the time is getting lower and lower. You can see that Sana is ready. Breach ultimate's going to come through. Rolling Thunder in, and unfortunately there is just nothing that Kira can do. Very well played from from Ava, there's three. Four on the board really now. Really well played. I'd be I a little bit... Hmm. Right. A little bit Gone. worried. I think there was kind of no need for that breach hold, but yeah, definitely it's a killed the round. Double swing, but anything you can do to secure the round with the economy and the right lead there. that they're in, I don't think it's um, you know that bad of an investment to have. Just to make yeah, sure can. that um, everything is perfect. And it's they nice do have that raise ult really soon, yeah. along with the killjoy and astro ult. Mm, Beckett, one orb off of the uh, showstopper. Lockdown and Cosmic Divide on the way. On the other side, Sefnik's already got a showstopper. Previously, uh, fragging out very hard. Mary also got a Cosmic Divide. Unfortunately, won't matter in this round, but she's been taken out. Now that Sefnik is, Sefnik will take out Sena, but it will get traded and res. 3v5 now. Skillage and the Village are put in a pretty difficult situation. It looks like they do want to go towards that A site where Wolf is posted up, waiting for someone to get a little bit too aggressive. Yeah, definitely. I really like the way that they've been uh, utilizing Woeful, allowing him to very slowly take ground, not overextend by himself, but hold on to it and keep posted up. That way they know that no one's taken A main, they might have heard any pushes, any repositions, things like that. So much information gained by having him as basically human alarm bot duty. Plays so like that are really what make Woeful thrive. Yeah, definitely. Especially like um, I think it reminds me of when we saw uh, in Abbas three play um, bring back Chamber back in the group stage where um, they unfortunately got 13 0 and it was a bit brutal. Uh, the way that Woeful was manipulating the map was absolutely stunning, and he's pretty aware of this fight, but the timing isn't Enemy good, bounce. and Flows will take him out. Beckett on the other side though takes out Floaty two v four right now for Scourge and the Virgin or Fangle. Oh. We'll get cleared. Nice discipline by Flows. Nice shot. will come out from Beckett though. We might be seeing a little bit of a Rosa. Rosa! Yeah, we saw uh, unsurprising from Classic Beckett, Beckett. I think a lot of people um, expected it. Nightfall though makes him completely oblivious. Maybe a bit... Completely <laughs> winnable, so but they get the kill on the hero and Firefine follows up on the flows. Yeah, I think you do kind of question with the uh, investment of the Nightfall, the fact that they're still kind of walking up. It's like um, something that you have to factor in with the Nightfall is that it cuts the player's uh, sound, right? But um, both of them are moving up so slowly, um, and by then the time is so far gone that Kira has no choice but to jump out of heaven alone and dice to the guy posted up elbow. Just those little fumbles are what's uh, costing them right now. It's not looking like all hope is lost, though. Mm. Bear in mind, this is uh, Aim Lab is Free's map pick, so we expect them to be good on it. Yeah, for sure. I do remember them. Wait, no, I can't leak that. Never mind. <laughs> bad etiquette, Dapper. Bad etiquette. I don't want zero spells. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get bad. You get blacklisted, my guy. GG. We already got zero stars because fish didn't show up to streams. <laughs> well, somebody did show up. He's probably on the Zaza. Let's see. Posted up in mid here. Headhunter. Seven bullets. Attackers are going very slowly through spawn right now. They're conscious that somebody might have pushed up mid. The discipline seeing here is really, really high level, and it's really nice to see. Sainer is so aware that they could have taken space down mid, especially with the low bar. You would expect a more proactive play on something like this. And the fact that they have walked all the way through spawn, absolute complete denial of information for Scourge in the village. Really it looks well played. Like they are trying to set up an astral wall, maybe, with those ping running the village. Yeah, definitely. And they will bring it out. A lot of respect shown to this eco. Except these guys caught out. And throw the statues and what ah, you pop the showstopper against one, but it is true. He does not Rosa, unlike Beckett. Yeah, he doesn't Rosa, unlike Beckett. Oh, look but at this the corner. Floaty, though. They've got to be aware of it, right? Apparently, they're so they not. Are... The rifle beat and the spike. The rifle you receive and the spike will go down. They do get the trade, but is it enough in the three? Here is the tank backside. Do they know about him? They're not playing with the tank. Here is stuck right now. The time is so low. They know. 
Something stop the plant yeah, of the plant. Looks like Flores catches Wolfram. Oh, got a bucky. Rifle it's to be retrieved. Wounding. That is huge. That's unfortunate. She actually has the res. So she might be able to use it here. Maybe for a bait. One of her teammates is dead right next to him. I think it might be a worthy investment. And she will she bring it out. Fireshwine won't peek. Fireshwine has the discipline. It's up from Havoc. Play very passively. Nice timing that on the swing That could have been there. dangerous. So we'll go in though. And that means that Flo's can probably stick it to half. No. Nano Swarm's on the defuse. The Fireshwine has to run out Ablo. Actually, we'll run out back sight. Flo's nose though. And the and shot is absolutely it. stunning. Just a bit of a aim death there. Well played by Flo's. A little bit too easy for Flo's. This is what I train yeah. for. Nice clutch there. Really nice use of the res. Uh, nice that they found out the enemy's position, the way that she played it with the slow, knew that Fire Shrine couldn't peek. Very well played. Pretty big brain of her. Very big brain. Bit of a fumble there from the, um, from the, uh, attackers. I feel like, um, Wofels probably had a bit of a stern word after that Astral Wall. The, um, or maybe Vic as well. The, uh, just the discipline. We were talking about the discipline of, like, walking all the way through spawn. There's still other mistakes. Like, um, for example, that, um, just, uh, not checking if that cubby in the Astral Wall is something I think they should have been aware of, and they weren't. Allow Floaty to get two. Even just a raise nade or something could have cleared that, I think. Yeah, That was a really close shot. Definitely. Looks like Flo's they are going to go for that heaven right now. Push. She's got spotted out by a turret, though. They get straight into heaven, and the stun is absolutely amazing from Sena. Shots aren't, though. The angle isn't very favorable. Slow nade combo coming in. This could be big. Unfortunately, a nade is just a little bit shallow to do what it really needs to do. Then it'll break the trap and it's actually going to close in on Floaty, which is really nice considering he has and a full Floaty board. does get taken down and that's huge for them. That's a big ult taken away from this round. Definitely. Aftershock pushes Mary back. Unfortunately, can't do a whole lot. Do you have regress after it? I don't know if they expect such a quick regression. Victor's Vic's ready just to gonna hold this. This yeah. angle from Vic is great. Sena peeking inside the smoke, almost over peeking. Very unexpected and unreadable. Now it's just Kiro in a 1v5. Question what he's going to be able to do here. Looks like no save, no save is going to come through. And he does catch Sena. He'll get the behind. first. He'll get the second. Where are you? He's going to commit the horn. Won't find anything well, there on the peak from Hecate. Is absolutely stunning. All they need to do in that round is play trades, and they are doing a great job of it. Money now not in a really good spot for Scourge in the village. Both really on the hero miss. rifle. We look to her to get something done. Actually, no. Opting to play the shotgun instead. She isn't a bad decision on this map. I mean, if we've learned anything from fish, it's that shotguns could be viable when you use them right. 100%. Foz has pulled out the shotgun two or three times in this map already. <laughs> well, I think we're screen. yet to see the value with it, but I Definitely. do have faith with it. Yeah, we've seen up on the Bucky a couple of times, we haven't really seen it have the value. Actually, yeah. last minute, chooses to swap out for a Guardian. Interesting to see if that'll have more value than a potential shotgun will. Bit of a defender stack towards A. From a Mary posted up in B Heaven. Nothing on B Main. There is a bit of a gap there. Looks like Flo's is rotating around to fill that. Walking through spawn. Very diligent. It does look like it could be in the village. That somebody might have taken the space as the hit comes in. Rolling Thunder committed to his after shot and Beckett. A great shot onto Heaven. And a nice shot onto Stephanix as well. Kiro though will peek out. He is low. It does trip. look like Skillage in the village do not like the like do not like being aggressive on this map. Yeah, definitely. Which I think <laughs> with the chamber and the raise is kind of important for them to do. Mm. Yeah, where they don't have a true sentinel, they can't really rely on, um, like, rely on some of that utility. Kiro, you though, will pick up one and so will Floaty. We're actually in a 2v2. Attack and lockdown will be committed. But the spike isn't planted Last for them. The and nature will be getting the trade Shrine. That was a really nice swarm grenade. Yeah, just a bit of lack of discipline there. Not really checking for the nano swarms. Um, and the vulnerability as well with the alarm bot just made it so that Mary completely collapsed. Maybe going in for the, um... Uh, idea of getting it to half. Timeout coming in for Scourge in the village, not surprising. My cushion that maybe it's coming a little bit too late. Um, but 
hopefully it's not too late in the day and they can still recover something from this. I would like you, uh, like you mentioned, uh, they haven't really been doing uh, many aggressive things. We've seen Flo's maybe take space by herself once, but we haven't really seen any um, coordinated uh, aggression. I would love to see some of that, especially where Fair. they don't have a true sentinel. So it's not very easy to kind of just sit back and peek off your own util, you know? Yeah, I get you. I think what they really need to do is utilize this fade with chamber mark because obviously they have them with raise. But I feel like if they use chamber raise and fade together to get some space, even if it's just mid instead of just walling yeah. it off every round, at least they have more space to work with if they use all three of these agents together. There. Yeah, I think their problem is they're just walling off mid, they have no control of it, and that just lets the attackers get it every single round by just breaking the wall. I agree 100%. While the Sage has so much value, while the wall is free mid control, how you use it can really impact that mid control that you have. Sometimes it's very easy to just throw that wall away and it'll get instantly destroyed, then suddenly all that mid control is gone and your 400 credits and an ability down. It's very unfortunate. 100%. I'd like to see that used in either B main or A main more. Definitely. Just to like get a free all orb for someone on your team or for yourself. Absolutely agree. Lots of discipline here being shown again by M Lovers Free, aware that somebody might have taken space to his mid. Hero will commit the nightfall, most likely for information, and catches three. It does look like they want to fight for this space now. Yeah, nice to see them uh, posturing up to fight a little bit more. Kira is falling back though. She's going to play a little bit more passively again, makes you kind of question what they spoke about in their timeout. Mary caught getting curious over to A Long. That's the woeful. Very aware of the attack. And flows Flo's the line up from Beckett and Sena. The double is stunning. That man of has just, just swung Flo's right things. back in the hands. Yeah, just flows things. Looks like they do want to move over towards B now though. Yeah. They do have the info that Fade was Vince and they know Sage was heaven. Just need to work their way up slowly. Stephnix has to come up big here. Needs to play his life. In a position where he can get out if he needs to. Just jiggling, playing very passively. Left. I think he knows he needs to get his knife. He doesn't even have the best pack to get out of that yeah. situation if he needs to. Unfortunately, we'll get taken out. But first round, if he stays in the Please range of his alarm bolt, we'll catch out flows on this flanker. Doesn't have anything like a wall to take it off. And we'll catch Looks out flows. Like flows does get caught, but first round wants to pick it alone. Completely aware of it, but she wins, it, but she wins the fight. Nice shot by first Victor on the other side will trade. The Sage is really putting Kiro the work. gets the headshot. Yeah, nice thing from Kiro, but this position from Flozer makes it very easy to collapse. Ah, Woeful though. Standing. The saving grace, and now Flozer on for the ace clutch. Cannot hit Vic. Really unfortunate there. Just looking a little bit disjointed. These rounds are coming down to the wire. I don't think the scoreline really reflects how close some of these rounds have been. They're not really, yeah, really like doesn't. flawless. We're seeing clutches, we're seeing 1v2s, 2v2s, things like that. It is a really close game, it's just Aim Lab is free, it's just coming out on top in every single one of these situations where it's like 2v1, 1v1. Definitely. Their coordination looks really good, they're winning a lot of their gunfights. All in all, they're just looking great. A bit of a stack towards A this time, unfortunately it might be the wrong read. And the default towards B main and mid, just a little bit of a pass hold. The Sage will does come on mid again. Yeah, which I Sage will comes out instantly. Anymore, it's, it's worth hey, pulling them in. Well, if you're on trying playing really passively off of each other here, just in case anyone decides to take space B main. On the other side, Beckett's uh, made his way all into heaven. Seize comes through, doesn't really gather any information oh, yeah. though. They've got that now, though. They've had the boom bot and they've had the slow. Zoti will be calling that now. As a stack pushes over towards B, but look at all of the rotations that it's baited. Sethnix so chooses to regress into heaven, which might actually be the key for Kiro to run back over, and it looks like it is. So that's to pick you up mid a little bit more, it. but look, the uh, chamber has gone out of range of the trip. You can really see the um, difference in um, the, the comps here. You can I really see the difference in the nerf. That, that CT push might actually come through, but Mary gets the Mary spike, that's huge. Drops the spike on side. But they get control back. Yeah, but what was just a 3v5, I think, it's just turned into a 3v2. Left. Everybody is just won an individual gunfight, and now the site is completely taken over, and the spike is and the spike is planted. Looks like Aimlap is free. Aren't in positions to trade each other if something goes wrong right now, though. 
Yeah, this is what doable if um if Skeleton in the village can find these 1v1s. But Sena making the smart decision, choosing to fall back to a main and be able to swing off his teammates. Especially as that breach, you've got that supportive utility. He's got an aftershock online. I think it's important to be able to use that. Time is getting lower and lower. And unfortunately, I don't think there's really much this good in the village can do here. It might be a safer flows, and it looks like that sealed it. Really nice showstopper has just completely shut out any <laughs> chance of them winning the round. Unfortunately, it will be another Rosa. Uh, no one is surprised. Average Beckett moment. That's probably the most value Beckett's ever got out of a result, and it's probably the most value <laughs> he will ever get out of a result. So I think he should clip that one and post it on Twitter because it's uh, not happening again. But 100%. it was great. Really nice to push back the team. Just completely shut out any chance of them winning the round. The timing was absolutely perfect and a really good call. All jokes aside, though, this Cena Beckett um, gameplay where they're playing together a lot of the time is really good. Yeah, Both definitely. of them are just so good at playing off each other. I absolutely agree with you. You can really see the synergy between these two players, and it's really nice to see. Turret will spot out the early main peak. Operator will top for Floaty. I think they have an idea of this though. The turret hasn't been broken, what it usually has. And so woeful. Sefnix just not disciplinary at all. The smoke as well to get out. Floaty it does get one with the Operator, which I feel like is really a yeah. smart decision for oh, them on the defense. Oh, the spray defense. transfer from Throws. That was absolutely gorgeous. Victor straight onto Veg. And now it's a Sena in a 1v4. Make it a 1v3. Mary is low. This is doable, but oh, Kiro. Kiro gets him. Please nerf rep accuracy. Dapper, do you believe in the nine free cuffs? Cause I Switching do. Sides. I... I don't. Really? You're not a believer? Not in this game, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, me personally, if I was a uh, skilled in the village and I'm watching this VOD, I would not take that. Um, it's cause Kuro's on the team, I hate Kuro. <laughs> Oh wow, charges. I mean, I believe in it because like, I hate Becky, you know, so we right have there. like similar reasons. True, true. Like, you know, I get you, like heart to heart, <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm praying on Beckett's downfall, and Bella Duff is playing on Kiro's downfall. So, you know, um, it's good in the village fighting. I'm going above. Hopefully we can see um, a little bit more out of them. Well, we'll go up. Instantly broken though. Actually, I Big take that back. The mail. Oh, I, I believe in the 9 3 because I want that to be a map 3. Oh, that's true. That's true. We love a map 3 here. Haven't had I want to see the ice box. Yeah, I haven't had any map 3, so I'd love to see a map 3. I want to see an ice box, man. I want to see what teams have been cooking. Right, come on, this is Boaster's Discord. You have to be good at Icebox. Look at, um, Knowing Wolfel, he's cooking something. This creep up in sewers here, I don't think it's expected whatsoever. Walking the whole way up and now running might be hard though. But in all the chaos, I don't think the players have realized that they're being completely collapsed on from behind. But Floaty and Mary get the picks anyway, and Floaty will get one more with the headhunter. Now they know. Stun could be really big here as he pushes in. Sena Sena does get two here in heaven. Yeah, they made it's a like they do want to go towards CT, but. Deciding to come back now. Those is, so Rose is pushing behind them, but I don't think they realize. Yeah, this That's is a really nice standing. regress. It's almost similar to what um Sena did in the pistol round. Beckett in a one v three and is completely lost in the source. Being uh, peaked from three different angles, can't do anything there. Unfortunately, Me personally, I would have won that, but like it was Beckett, so he didn't. So um, really Truth. unfortunate there. Uh, if it was another player, Tell maybe they would have had a chance. But um... Tell them, Jenny. Tell them. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting to see the um, difference in these two uh, compositions really come into effect, you know? Like, we've got uh, Kira on the fade. He seems to be pretty comfortable on it, going 10 and 10, but um, he's doing, like, a pretty good job, I think, compared to how he looked on Duelist in the previous series. He looks pretty comfortable. Beckett looks pretty good on the Duelist as well, but we know that he's been picking this up during the, um, during the tournament. Loki looks pretty comfy on the chamber. He's been hitting a fair bit of headhunter bullets. I don't think his score right now actually reflects the amount of impact he's had. I think oh, he's just feeling it today. He's feeling that it. That is cringe. That is cringe. What do you expect Both. from Morpha? Let's be honest. Uh, oh, Beckett Flo's will get shuts completely down the judge. That's a free gun, by the way. It's not just in the I wish my right click did that. Yeah. What? My classic doesn't do that. What the hell? This guy toggled hags. That's cringe. 
Dana, though, with the sheriff will get a kill. Floating no. get two with the headhunter. Really good work. But Beckett said to trade. Actually got a man advantage now on the very little investment. And he's picked up the judge. I don't think he realizes he's picked up the judge. <laughs> Maybe he does. And he's just opting to not write, to use Beckett, it. you have judge in all chat. <laughs> I mean, considering after that, oh, Seth Nix will pick up fire shot, making it a 2v2. And the spice gone down. Saying that we well, know he can hit he has got a grenade again. I also don't know if he, re he does realize that the peek out from Seth Nix is absolutely beautifully timed. He knows exactly what he's doing. The swing from and Kiro and gets. the nade from Seth Nix. Really good team play there to win them that 2v3 into a 2v2. Some really nice picks from Seth Nix there, doing a lot for the team. And Floaty getting those two headhunter kills on mid. We're seeing these guys do a lot right now. They are doing quite a lot right now. This is really good for them to bring themselves back into this game i think this bonus is really going to decide how the rest of this half goes yeah definitely i would be um, a little bit worried if i was um uh scared in the village really because that wasn't very um close at all uh mary opting for the full shield classic interesting buy maybe asking for somebody to drop her a ghost but unfortunately not being able to flows have bought up the vandal though actually no mary must have bought it for her so they're really counting on flows to do something here i think we're going to look to her to be the the playmaker of this boss. round and give them a chance into it whereas we have two smgs on our upgraded pistol on the other side and mary on a classic but i mean we know a classic is a good gun solo push me yeah, Jim so then we'll take the space man. back. Floats is done with the headhunter. But the shot from Sandra is absolutely beautiful. And he knows when to back up, which is really important. Yeah, definitely. Showing a lot of respect to them. Uh, backing up, holding his ground. Woeful. Absolutely uh, bolted with you, Silver, right now. And Mary, the classic, unfortunately can't do anything. Completely alone, which is a bit worrying. Hero is going solo vents with the spike. But he will kill Woeful, actually, giving them a chance for this round. Sena does three have on the his ult now. Yeah, three on the round right now. Vix will take spike out Hero. And that's just floaty in a one versus two. Picked up one already, but the spike is down. This is going to be very difficult for them to win. Especially with this uh, rolling thunder, if Sena chooses it to use it in the right place at left. the right time, it could do so much damage. They're somewhat aware though. Oh, this timing from Floaty could be absolutely stunning. Sena was aware of the possibility that it snuck into CT, and I think without him appearing from ramp, they've got to start wondering now where is he coming from. You can see Sena's kind of half they turning really back to check it. But Floaty needs to hurry left. up and he needs to go now. He has to go for the kills, he can't go for the plant anymore. But you might be able to line both of them up. They're Their not going to keep. They, they know so they can't. <laughs> really lineups in chat by Kiro. <laughs> My goat Kiro. Four on the round for Sena. Really well played. They're good at shutting him down. Uh, they come pretty close. They did get some pretty impactful kills there. They are doing really well in getting killed at the start of the round and mid round but i feel like the problem here is closing out the rounds and it has been all game because they do get into these 2v2 scenarios 2v1s but they can't close it out mm. you want to i play? agree with you Let's completely play. they are popping in chamber huh. yeah sort of force comes out here but she's been having a good game so i'm not mad at it why have more caught by the sun I really like this decision actually from AMAB is free to eco, showing a lot of respect to their Taking opponents, thinking uh think in a very almost like Zeta Division fashion. They're um allowing their opponents to possibly get to six because they know they have enough lead that they're confident that they can still close out the game. I really like that kind of decision. What do you think about it, Daffa? I think it is really good of them, but I also think at this point in the game where it's five ten and it's just been nine three. You can't really afford to lose many more rounds, even if you're confident, you can't afford to lose them. Yeah, that's true. Haunt won't scan up Beckett, he could be big here with a shotgun. We said there's someone aware though, Sena will pick up Kiro. Caught with utility out, and this angle from Vix could be massive if he's not cleared. He's the only one on the site though, so they could collapse on him. Mary wants this rifle, but so does Beckett. They might have a little bit of a tussle in mid for it. Beckett does have backup here though. It looks like Mary is going to get but she still Mary gets Fire Shrine. Mary with her ghost and the running gun manages to get Fire Shrine. Sefnix are running all the way through CT with the spike. Every Name single player idea. is split right now. They're all playing their own game. Beckett might be here in time to stop the plant. Doesn't have nade. He does have nade though. 
There's no crypto with his teammate, and the flank from Floaty is absolutely left. stunning. Just getting a bit ahead of the curve. Really well played from Seth Nix to stay off the plant and just help his teammate. And this peak, uh, this angle from Floaty, just too much for Vic to handle. A well played round. Six for them. Yeah, they are six catching up quickly. They're just closing the gap just a little bit. Could be happening. Could be the curse. I'm just Give saying. us the curse. Give us the Give curse. Give us the curse. Give us the curse. Give Truth. us the curse. Oh, an exciting game. Economy um, in an interesting position right now. I expect Floaty's going to um, pick up a rifle for either Kiro or Float, or maybe even both of them. He is absolutely uh, rich right now. Man is a major bagger, lad. He's been crypto betting on these games and winning. Truth. The crypto betting is going insane. How much crypto have you got in this game, Dapper? I've got 10. I, <laughs> and ETH. I, I haven't... Um... I haven't got any knowledge on crypto. On the no, I know nothing about it. Bit cringe, isn't it? Anyway, um, so no problems have, under uh... the line. Beckett and Vic also won orb off their own ultimates, respectively. Could I get got... a lot done if they decide to fight for an orb. Kiro pushed it up with the knife ball out here. Face, you might think it's to fight into mid, and they do. It does a really nice job of pushing Sano and Beckett. Look how far they've gone back from being deep mid all the way back. And Sano's been pushed all the way back no into charges. spawn, rotating over to A. Beckett pushed it up in A heaven right now. It's forced away because of the grenade. Prowl almost Beckett. can, though. Timing is just awful. Beckett is going to be calling for those rotates to come back. And he does get team retilted. Devnix wants to push him. And that Rolling Thunder look, came from Sano, no. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that was a real fumble from Sano there. But I try and try to get something done, try to take the space back, but unfortunately can't do anything as the site has been completely overrun by Scourge and the Verge. 4v2 now planted. for them. Vic and the first run. does Victor see flows. Rifle, I mean, yeah, left to get something done. Yeah, I think he saw the little ponytail yeah, from Flows, but the Sage diff will come in. The shot is just unfortunately not there. Rifle will take the head of Flows off. 1v3 now. But with his health low and money in a bad spot, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the IGL of Sena called for a save. And it looks like he's starting to back up. Mary oh, wants Mary him dead though. And she will take him down. That's really good for them. A risky decision with only having 300 credits left in the bank, but considering that she's been buying a ghost the whole, the whole time. Not too surprising. And now Things the money is in a really bad spot. scarily close now. BYB yeah. Fan. Going to Astral to do it's them Astral Guardian things I do. The curse, the curse. I would love to see an OT. Have we had an OT yet, this BCT? I do not believe so. I don't think we have, right? I'd love to see a first OT here. Hopefully, fingers crossed, there are no cast the curse here tonight. The side back in Sona prepared to take this early peak. You really see these players uh, staying together a lot. Deep trademark um, though. Floaty is aware of the push might be happening and they're holding outside of it. And if Mary's I was back it, game would be over by now because I'm just the perfect player. That's true. If you put in any player rather than Beckett, you know. Like, I've always been saying this, but sometimes I feel like games would be more useful if, like, um, you know when you go... Hold on. We're, we're in the action right here. Fire Shrine, unfortunately, free gun can't do anything. Done. Pick up from Woeful, tries to go for a spam through the box, doesn't find anything aware of the position. Sethnix. Mary will pick up Victor in mid though. Oh, nice the 145. Less from Woeful. Unfortunately, ran out of ammo, but backup it. is there. Say no, and Becca to her. But... Looks like Woeful is <laughs> expecting the Mary. The way that Woeful looked at Becca was too <laughs> funny. Woeful is Vic, expecting no. this. Yeah. But he's not able to follow up on it. Just then connect. Sana though, right from recovered. 1v4, make it a 1v3, and this is doable. But the peak from Mary. Mary. The 200 ping go. Also. Three on the rounds. That NA diff is just coming here. Apparently, I guess we're just an awful region now. Uh, um, yeah, we're pr we're pretty washed. Yeah, sometimes I think that um, you know when you go AFK, well somebody goes AFK in one of your games and you get an old orb and like 500 credits of extra cash. Sometimes I feel like that would be more useful than having Beckett. You know, if he was just like like I like oh, I like guy. my old orbs, You know. I like my ultles. <laughs> nah, he's doing great. Unironically, he's doing a really good job for his team. Yes, the way that he's, he's playing with everyone. He's so tight, he's hardly making any mistakes, apart from the couple of roses, but like, you know, to be expected. He's doing a from really good job at taking space, playing with his team and playing off his util. He is looking absolutely fabulous right now. I'd Despite like to see more Beckett saying the plays at this point in the match. I think that's what they need right now. Yeah, definitely. Well, we're seeing them group up. We're not seeing a lot of set plays, and I think that's something I'd really like to see. 
Uh, it's definitely worth uh, capitalizing off of that breach raise util. Sure. That damage dealing combined with that stopping power can be so good. I'd love to see a bit more of that. And Sena is close by. But we'll get instantly taken out by foes. Oh, we'll come through for Beckett. Clearing outside and pushing them all the way back. Where if we will get taken out by Kira, but the rest will come through onto Sena. Oh, so I'm pushed up towards A main. He'll hear all of this. He's Risky plant coming rotating. through. But it will get stuck. No contestment to it. Victor's a bit ahead of the curtain, might be able to find something. Kira is currently stuck by flower right now. Can't do a whole lot. This rap from Fireswine, I don't think anybody expects. But the no, shot no, of Fireswine! No. Delete the board! Last delete the board now! Oh clip my it! God. Somebody clip delete it! Delete the board! I d I'm so glad we don't have a replay system here. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad. Fireswine, it's okay. Um, even Ben Tens with sometimes. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Oh no. Hopefully that won't um, defeat charges. the mental too much. I can't imagine Sane is going to be very Out happy with him. I oh, know Mary is screaming Putangina in the VC right now. <laughs> Mary is saying that <laughs> there's probably a lot of swear words happening in the comms right now. Lucky that we aren't listening in. Interesting that we haven't seen a timeout taken yet from um, MLAB is free actually. What with all of the rounds of Kuhn and the village are winning. Maybe they're feeling comfortable. I think the, Beckett uh, convinced them that the time up button is broken. Yeah, I really like the set play, but just a bit of an overextension from Vic there, and unfortunately that leaves Beckett solo. Really difficult for Beckett to get out of that position. And the others have to Nico fall back. like this, I think it's, they might as well just try something. Bring them down. Yeah, I really like the idea there, but just the fine tuning um, couldn't really do a whole lot. Yeah. Sena though, nice well, shots on the first. Double up, and he's gonna pop the ult. Wofel will get the second as well. He's got the ult. Both of them are stunned. And Wofel will get the third. Sena and Wofel shut down that round completely by themselves. First round wasn't even needed there. That was absolutely beautiful. As a thrifty will come through. Huge round for them too. This is really gonna stop the momentum that yeah, looks Skillage like, in the um, Village have. Skillage in the Village maybe got a little bit overzealous. Um... I think something to note, Sena, 30 and 15, having an absolutely great time, and now decides to call the timeout. They which figured out how to use decision. the button. <laughs> they figured it out, they found out where the timeout button is, and they've decided to use it. It's like they heard me, Dapper. True. I'm like psychic, you know? Pelican. They're on the streams. Stream They're on the sniping. stream. They're stream sniping. Yo, what the hell about DQ these guys? What the hell? Truth. What are they doing? What are they doing? So cringe, to be honest. Yeah, Sena having an absolute hell of a game. 30 and 15 right now, doing everything he can to pull his team right out of the there. mud. And it seems to be right working there. so far. We can probably assume that he's IGLing as well. We know he's calling a lot of strats. To be able to do this while cooling is not easy, but he's doing an it absolutely brilliant job at it. Becca just needs to step up, to be honest. That's so true. Like, oh my gosh, unbelievable gameplay from. <laughs> 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 uh, um... I would have liked right to see there. this game with Kiro on the jet instead of Seth Nix right on the race, to be honest. Definitely. I'd actually really like to see or maybe how it played out differently. Careful there. Like maybe just a really hyper aggressive comp for Skillage in the Village would have been good in this map. Yeah, I think that would be really interesting to see. Flash one, putting a little this cringe so setup towards A. I love this setup. It's my favorite. <laughs> really? You have your favorite yeah. setup. You've got like a spreadsheet. They're Except right. I have to use two mollies instead of one. I think this is my 454th favorite setup. <laughs> it comes above the, um, this one is my 341. Get it right, it only goes up to 213. Oh, my bad, my bad. Sorry, I haven't uh, looked at looked at the spreadsheet, you know. <laughs> my bad. Sorry. Sena will get pushed all the way back into Ramp of the Tower, but uses the stun to instantly take back Brace. Really nice fault line from him. Doesn't capitalize off it though, very paranoid that somebody could have worked their way up into A. The site is being completely overrun. Floaty is late though. And looks like the team wants to fight before the spike is down. Yeah, looks like they're posturing up for a very fast retake here. 5v5 retake right now. They're having Observer Hell, so I don't know. I know, I'm so sorry. Sephnix will take up one of them. Vicky will trade on the other side with Flo's. Sephnix does get caught on his way out. Yeah, dancing around the Astro Wall. And the Defender Kill Drill is actually proving to be a lot, very valuable here. It's pushed them completely off of the site. And now because of the Astro Wall. Looks like Floaty ahead up in the heaven. But it's not going to be enough. They don't have any idea if somebody's defusing and he's just sticking the spike. Despite getting was... the kills, they just can't do anything. That Another Astro Wall combo round. with the Kill Drill lockdown is absolutely stunning. It was another great round from 
in my best three, and I think that was another round they actually needed like really, really badly. Yeah. This just shows that the last this round they had, they stopped the momentum of Skillage in the village. Yeah, definitely. At the moment, we're seeing match point right now for M Lab is free. Uh, currently, series point as well, looking to take this home 2 0. Well, uh, Skillage in the village are fighting Hopefully for their not. tournament lives. They lose one round and it's over. They're knocked out. This is the, the pressure is lower on. bracket. Everything is on. The they pressure can't has afford to, to be make... insane for them right now. Yeah, they cannot afford to make a single mistake. I can't even imagine what the comms are like over there. It's probably a lot just of Mary screaming put down in there. Probably. Wouldn't put it faster. This position from Sainer doesn't get killed by the Prowler. They only use it to clear the smoke. And the Haunt is thrown just a little bit too deep to clear him out. They'll know about him now though with that. I yeah, love this really nice shot. Use exchanges right now, but the shots aren't going in the favor of him. We'll get the heal though, and with this buff heal, we'll uh, fully heal, which is really nice. Look at all this space taken by Mary though, and the team are absolutely running onto A. Zane is aware though, look at them all walking through spawn. They could overwhelm Mary so easily if they use a simple flash. It looks they like they're not going to, and Zane is gonna fall. Yeah, not very good discipline from that though, doesn't expect a second. Floaty though will trade all the way on another late lurk. It's like they don't know that heroes. They do know. Heroes really nice enemies. shot. Yeah, and it's not plant. It's and they can stick the defeat. It's planted for heaven. I don't. They're expecting him to come from heaven though, but they've heard him through a main now. But the shot from Beckett are absolutely beautiful. Defenders the series win. is taken. 2-0. 13-9 by in Lab is free. Skillage in the village are going home. That was insane from Skillage in the village. Yeah, that was. But a bit of a it was just though, not actually. enough. Yeah, unfortunately. All of those rounds started coming in a bit too late in the day. Sena, 31 kills on the breach on a supportive character while RGLing. You can see that the change to put Floaty on Chamber was actually a really smart one. Had a really good game and a lot of impact for his team. But unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. Let's get Mary in. Good like, let's see if we can get Sena would like to come in. I think we, we should, had uh... Sena last night. Oh, we did have Sena. Hello, Mary. Hello. Hello. Uh, I would love to know um, your thoughts. Uh, really nice try just now. You guys still did a really good job, and I think as a team, you should be proud of yourself for how far you came in the tournament. I'd love to know what the comments were like during that last half where everything got a bit close and intense. I do have a guess, uh, and that's that you were <laughs> screaming putangina the whole time. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, actually, no, I was good today. I think I said it like maybe four times. Oh my god, improvements. Yeah, wow. Character was, development. Oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> my whole team knows what Putangina Mo means now. <laughs> oh, we love to see it. <laughs> well, you had some so really the... impactful uh, rounds from your team there. Uh, I think you did a really good job. Something that I would love to ask about, especially now you're out of the tournament, I'm hoping that you could uh, cue us in a little bit. Uh, what do you think about um, the... Uh, I see you buying ghosts a lot during oh. maybe four buys or different situations. Would you care to um, cue us in about uh, what the thought process is behind that? Um, so, okay, well, now that we're out of it, I can tell you guys. So... What we do is because of my ping, it makes it like really hard to, I guess, like you know, swing angles when you have a kind of heavier gun like a vandal or something like that. And yeah. Peeker's advantage is something that is easier to take advantage of when you move faster. So when I'm playing a ghost or something, it's a lot easier for me to like counter strafe, strafe shoot, things like that. And um, it actually frees up our buy a lot too because um, our teammates can buy me like a, a ghost or something and I can drop a vandal for someone else. So even on like a save round, we can manage to buy a vandal. Definitely. I love that you use like an unorthodox way to um, adapt to uh, the way that your team plays and what works for you guys, even if it is um, not very traditional. I think mean, that was really cool. Dapper, do you have any uh, questions for Mary as well? Um. I unfortunately don't, because I'm not very good at this. <laughs> the well, scream, oh sorry, the yeah. comms were mostly me like screaming, or like, I'm hungry, or like, um, oh my god, how did he get behind me? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh that my question. god. Oh, how did it feel to like, oh, you really popped off near the end there, honestly. 
you had yeah. great timings. How did it feel getting all of those? Like um, knowing you were the reason a lot of these last rounds were won. I okay, it's gonna <laughs> it sounds really dumb, but I picked up um someone's phantom and I was like, oh my god, wait, like my shots are actually like hitting with phantom. So I was getting like three Ks and stuff with it. <laughs> and I was like, wait, I could have been doing this the whole tournament. So I felt like <laughs> kinda stupid near the end, but you know, there's always another chance. Yeah, there's an there's always a next time. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Hopefully. Well, you did um, a really brilliant job. Of course, of course. And uh, you should be really proud of yourself. Fish, why are you here? Oh. <laughs> We're live on stream. Fish, we've got, you know, an unwanted yeah, pest control. Oh. Hello. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> um, yeah, you know. <laughs> I don't think you realize. Uh, well, Mary, thank you so much for your words. A really nice try today. You guys should be really proud of how you did as a team. I think you did a really good job. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm looking forward to our candlelit dinner later. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm bringing champagne. Oh. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Well, thank right, you so thank much, you. Mary. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Let's get oh, we're just going now. to get a little winner's interview from Sena, and then we will wrap up the stream. Sena! Oh. Hello. Hello, Mr. 400 ACS. I see you. Yeah, I'll do that on How that does day. it feel to win? It feels very good. It actually feels very good. We worked good as a team, and uh, we improved for what we did wrong uh, in the first game, and I'm very proud of that. Yeah, you uh, guys also, are really I want to say... I know some people were saying that farmers league that farmers league oh. this farmers league that, but looks like we farmed their seed one and the rest. Oh. Of their group. Anyways, oh. based. Uh, that's pretty much it. I also want to give shout out some shout outs. Can I do some shout outs? Of course. If it's okay, not me, give, then no. I, I want to give shout outs to Sexy Mode. Shout out to KBC. Shout out oh. to BLM. And I did it for her, guys. I did it for oh, her. Oh, he did it for her. I'm saying K pop. There's no way you can I lose when you're doing it for her, no. It's the like, name change, no but I did it for her, guys. Yeah, Absolutely to... brilliant. Yes. <laughs> Double yeah, you, Sena. Uh, I'd love to know, which team would you rather play tomorrow? As you play the loser of Rizzy Bears versus Pretty in Pink, which one would you rather face? I would rather face... I think facing Mike would be a... It would be like a good uh, game to watch, mm. but facing skills would be... It would be a nice revenge. So Yeah, yeah definitely. We'd love to see if the rematch buff is real in BCT as well. Mm. Yeah, I'd love to know as well. Um, I know that you've been doing a bit of IGLing for this team. Were you calling on that last map as well? Because the fact that you dropped so many kills while playing a supportive character as well was really impressive. And I'd love to know if you were also like the the man behind the magic in the comms. Yes, of course. Every game IGLing. Um, a little bit of micromanaging there because uh, I want everything to be as perfect as possible. But <laughs> yeah, you've definitely IGLing all the time. Uh, calling 95%, maybe not, uh, like 80%. Of the stuff we did, the waffle as well, really good, like second IGL, and yeah, that's pretty yeah. much it. It's pretty easy to frag out on support agent. Awesome. Dapper, do you have any more questions? How would nice it answer. feel if you did not win? Um, I guess I we'll never know. Disappointed? But... No, you answered it the wrong way. <laughs> oh, Jenny got it right. <laughs> he was All making right. a reference, Anna. It's fine. You Anyways. can take some L's here and there, like you've just taken a massive W, exactly. it's okay. Thank you so yeah, much. The, the only L he takes was the one earlier. Of course, of course. Go get also, yourself. I, I want to shout out Ginger, player. best analyst ever. We wouldn't have done this without her. And what about Dapper, the most much. perfect player? We love Ginger. All right, Bob, do something. I love All Ginger, right. KBC, BLM, Sexy Mode. Shout out to everyone. And <laughs> shout out to her. She's the reason we're here. Woo! Goodbye, w forever. shout outs. Goodbye. Absolute legend. Goodbye. Thank you for your time, Senna. And so I guess it's time to uh, wrap up the stream. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If anyone would like a little bit of a recap of the results, we started off this morning with um, Aim Lab was early afternoon even. Aim Lab is free, play Pretty in Pink in the winner's bracket, or Pretty in Pink beat Aim Lab is free 2 0. We had three 2 0s today. Second map, Risley Bears managed to beat Skillage in the Village 2 0. Skillage in the Village just played against Aim Lab is free in the first loser's match, while Aim Lab is free took it 2 0 in a very dominant fashion. Moving on to tomorrow, we will be opening with uh, the winners. Uh, 
with the um, winner's match. So we'll be seeing Pretty in Pink versus Ridley Bears. Loser of that goes down to the uh, lower bracket and we'll play M. That is free. Winner of that moves on to the grand final. So do not uh, miss tomorrow. It's going to be a great day of matches and I think it's going to be super good fun. Thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. You are all absolutely awesome. The best audience ever. I have been Jenny and Dapper has been Dapper. Dapper, you are oh, so wonderful. I've great casting Bob. duo. <laughs> You've been absolutely brilliant. Thank you Me guys too. so much for your time today and we will see you next time. That means tomorrow. That means tomorrow. Watch tomorrow. <laughs>